Hello and welcome back to Dial H for Heroclix. This is episode 455. There's going to be a bit of a continuity break because we did an intro to this episode before we got into the big old long set review, and that's what we're going to be doing this episode. So as you can see, if you're watching on YouTube, oh, where's he at? Calder's not here right now. Um, <laughs> I I don't know what happened, but the the like three five minute intro, whatever, what made us happy, that's all gone in the wind. Luckily, the bulk of the episode, three hundred or three hours and. 30 minutes of it is intact. So buckle in. That's what the whole episode's going to be. It's going to be a long one, uh, but we do cover everything up to not covering the legacy cards and the uh, starter set stuff. We'll go over that later. But this is the commons through the chases, what you will see in pre releases, what you'll see in sealed events. Um, and we talk a little bit about that. Make sure to check out the video. Me, Ian, and Calder, we all. All three open two boosters, and then we make 300-point teams, and we play a battle royal with them. So make sure you check out that video on the channel. It should be right below this one, actually. And yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the episode. Dial H for Heroclix is brought to you in part by CoolStuffInc.com, where you can find cool stuff in stock every day. Isn't that right, Calder? Yeah, that's right. You can find cool stuff in stock every day. That's great, Calder. I can't wait until the video starts so I don't have to talk to my hand anymore. So if you're looking for emotional satisfaction, my advice to you is audience. seek professional hero clicks. No. Like, Are you serious? Thumbs up. Again? Thumbs up. How many people even play this game? Like the hundred? Instant deadpan humor. Oh, how many six yeah. people yeah. think I am funny? It's the hard day's work. Not that you know anything about that. Which absolute fools? It's not witcher nonsense. I'm gonna make hero clicks like that forever. Are you kidding me? <laughs> hey Google, back some more. Let the test in here, because he's a jerk. Wow, wow, wow. Wall crawler trait. Leap climb. Slash slash. Free. Place this character in a square of different elevation within four squares in line of fire. This is pretty huge. I had a few different wall crawlers on my pre-release team. When I first read this, I thought it was you just place them onto elevation. I didn't see the different the word different elevation. So yeah, you can hop from like, oh, elevation one all the way up to elevation like two or whatever. And then boop, hop back down to elevation two. But then you have four squares of reach each time, which really lets these guys go. So like if they, he has an eight speed running shot, he maybe has actually, instead of a 13 square reach, he might have a 17 square reach just yeah. because of the extra four squares he could potentially get. And then he's got leap climb. I think going forward, I know this is probably just a shared trait just for this set, but this might be just already calling it one of the best shared traits of the year. It's also, really good. It's great for Spider-Man. It we've seen thematic. traits like this where it combos like a power and then some effect. If this right. is just leap climb going forward, people actually might like leap climb on like plain, oh my gosh, plain this, printed leap climb on the dial. And this, this would be incredible for leap climb. Honestly, this. not a bad yeah. version. Like it's not overpowered if it's just printed leap climb it would be wild if like everyone that had the combo leap climb charge or whatever um had yeah. now free uh the wall crawler ability but yeah i really like this trait and um can you imagine cool. it on like galador promenade like oh my gosh it, it really so does nice. just boop, boop, extend boop. like not only defensively yeah. but offensively it's it's very very spider-man trait this yeah. guy He's really simple. His only special attack power is incapacitate. And when he uses it after resolutions, hit characters can't make ranged attacks until your next turn. It's getting the guns off the streets, so he's webbing up the gun. And he's just running shot, five range, super senses, the new 50 50 Spidey senses. And then he's got some sidestep super strength, ES, or sorry, combat reflexes and outwit. He's simple. He's nothing crazy at all. I guess I'll read the web shooters. He doesn't come with them necessarily. They're just kind of thrown in there. But right. web shooters is incapacitate. When this character uses it, until your next turn, hit characters can't have their action tokens removed except by clearing, which is really good. Yeah. So it's pretty solid. It I believe it says qualifying keyword is Spider-Man family. They don't have a price. I assume this is five points. Yeah. No, there's no the way. Billy, it's like, or Billy Clubs? More than five points. Not Billy Clubs. kind of ridiculous, I feel like. Maybe they are Billy Clubs. I don't know. But yeah. Um, but that's Spider-Man. Pretty simple. Pretty cut and dry. Web shooters being able to like in-cap like a Colossal, and then they can't remove action tokens on their three through six. Next up, 
super simple. J. Jonah Jameson. He's really fun. He's four range, 25 points, Spider-Man family, celebrity, politician, reporter, keywords. He is your perplex and sealed. And I mean, maybe you build around him casually. He's kind of a fun little piece to, especially, I mean, after the set releases, after the Spider-Man team ability has changed, his rally will actually be something you might want to keep in your back pocket. So it's a rally one. Uh, it's a blue rally one. So if you roll a one, one of your friendly characters rolls a one, you can put it in on his card. And then friendly attack roll. Oh, it says friendly attack rolls. Yeah. Free. Uh, remove one of J. Jonah Jameson's rally dice. If you do this turn when an opposing character uses super senses, they only succeed on a roll of a six. So it has to be a six. It can't be right. like a five and then Plus Spider-Man family. Or, yeah. Or, yeah. Um, bottom dial, willpower, precision strike. I mean, I guess he really hates he's four clicks, man, yeah, right? He's, so he gets the precision strike. He's four clicks long. He can do damage bottom dial, but um, yeah, he's not sticking around for a long time. He's just helping you out a little bit at the beginning and maybe, you know, helping you get one of those big hits off. Police officer, super simple. Our first generic in the set. Five range, one bolt, 15 uh, points, keywords, detective police. He's got no movement, no attack top dial, but he does have toughness and RCE, so he can be a 10 for 3, but he just needs to get carried and dropped into place. And then he goes down to some plasticity and power later in the dial. I, you know, he's just nothing crazy. He's not the best police officer we've ever gotten. He's not the worst. He's just really, he's just really nothing special. So if you wanted to get a police squad team going, you can get him, but there's really not much to say about him. Pretty, pretty bare bones. Yeah. And keep in mind, Spider-Man team ability isn't wild card. So yeah. unless they have team player so in team sealed, ability. So it's, it's kind of okay, but yeah, yeah, no wild card. They won't be, yeah, a lot of these characters won't be copying the police team ability. Uh, next up is Mary Jane. Um, yeah, Spider-Man team ability, 20 points. Spider-Man family keyword, celebrity keyword. She is your prob. She is a 20-point prob, combat reflexes, and technically super senses on a six. She has a rally one that is, once again, for friendly attack rolls. Uh, when a friendly character with the Spider-Man team ability uses super senses, you can remove one of Mary Jane's rally dice to re-roll it. And since if it's a Spider-Man friendly, char friendly character with the Spider-Man team ability, you're probably already doing a four through six super senses. Maybe they have precision strike, so it's only five, six. But being able to re-roll, that's kind of crazy. Um I don't know if you're building around Spider-Man specifically with her, but without theme team probs, probs always good now. And then bottom dial, she does have two clicks of support with some willpower. So I guess she'll be able to use support bottom dial. Uh, nice. If your opponent's already hit her once, then she's probably not sticking around too long, but right. there is that option. All right, Hand Ninja, our second generic. They get Masters of Evil. Usually Hand Ninjas, they used to get like Hydra. But I think with Masters of Evil being close combat and the people of the hand just being more close combat in general, it makes sense. Although, obviously, they're not part of the Masters of Evil. But it's just a, it's a team ability that just makes sense for them. So, Masters of Evil, range 3, 20 points. The hand, assassin, martial artist, and mystical keywords. They have improved movement elevated, which is very nice. They have a special attack power on their first two clicks, which is Smoke Cloud is free, but only to make two markers. So it doesn't give them normal Smoke Cloud. It gives them Smoke Cloud is free, to only to make two markers. It's good, though, because they have Stealth Combat Reflexes top dial, so that can keep them safe. And then later they get some Charge Blades regen. Really simple generic, but, you know, I wouldn't say, again, kind of along the same lines of the police officer. It's not the best hand ninja we've ever gotten. But they're really solid. They're really defensive with the free smoke cloud. Yeah. And that can also catch your opponent off guard if you play it, you know, a little uh, aggressively, smoke clouding under them. Because once you get, like, I don't know, they're 20 points, you get five of these guys for 100 points, something crazy, tons of smoke cloud on the board. It could yeah. be something there. There's a few people that can bring these guys in. So Oh, that's true. Being so, a, yeah. a 19, out. assuming your, like, opponent can't see through stealth or through hindering and you're, like, in stealth and... Then you also give them like a minus one attack. With right. One of the markers, maybe. Next up, plain old Matt Murdock. Uh, this is Lawyer Matt. Spider-Man team ability. Zero range, 30 points. He's got Marvel Knights, Spider-Man family, celebrity, and martial artist keywords. Full dial of leap climb. Full dial of combat reflexes. Decent stats, tens with only a nine attack at the end. Uh, and then he's got a full dial of perplex, but the first two clicks are his special perplex. And when he uses it to target an opposing character, that character's combat values can't be positively modified or replaced until your next turn. 
But like some people have said, um, this can potentially help, help your opponent. Your opponent. A lot. Yeah. yeah. So if you use this perplex on your opponent, um, they wouldn't like half speed for running shot and charge because they can't replace it or modify right. it. So that is something to keep in mind. Um, obviously, this is like to prevent like defend yeah really big defend combat or, reflexes yeah, stuff like their that attack value or something crazy but yeah yeah if they have charge or running shot yikes for 30 points um he's a little expensive for a perplex but again matt murdoch has a place on a lot of teams and it's cool that marvel knights got a few figures in this set so see now i wish he had team player yeah you know <laughs> instead of spider-man i think matt murdoch's a team player i think he could have given it to him uh I guess he's a Spider-Man ally, but now that that isn't, you know, yeah, wild copy card. team building mm -hmm. wild card, I would free a team player. Spider Gwen, Gwen Stacy, she's got a Spider-Man TA, although she has no super senses on her dial, so it's only on a six. She has a wall crawler trait, which we already said, so we're not going to say it again. She's improved movement characters. She's the first outwit we've seen in the set so far. She has a special speed power, her entire dial, so five clicks of it, which is drive by webbing. Sidestep. When Spider-Gwen is given a move action, after resolutions, you may give an action token to an opposing character she moved through during that action. This can be really good in helping out with your tempo in Sealed, I think so. I don't think I'd pay 50 points for this necessarily in Constructed, unless I'm doing a Spider-Man family theme team. But tempo in Sealed, we've noticed there's kind of sparse leadership, uh, sparse carrying, you know, flight, whatever. So giving action tokens to people is really, really good. And there's like Spiderling we'll talk about later. Her giving action tokens is also great. So Spider-Gun's pretty cool. She's nothing crazy. She's got some willpower. Like I said, the Outwit is probably one of her biggest draws for Sealed in this set. Yeah. But outside of Sealed, she's just kind of a, a pretty meh, pretty meh character. She's got a lot of Spider-Gwens to choose from. This there's one's just, a lot. This one's more of like a finesse piece. And with how easy it is to remove action tokens... Um, if you comboed her with the, who was it that we just talked about that makes it so you, uh, the web shooters? Yeah, yeah. Web if shooters. you combo combo her with the web shooters, somebody hits somebody with in cap, and then she goes through them, and then they can only clear. Um, really good. That's something, but yeah, it's good to note the wall crawler ability will not trigger the right. uh, giving an action token. Place, side step won't action. trigger it. Yeah, side step yeah. won't trigger it. So she can move all over the place, but it's only when she's given a move action. You yeah. Can do the whole special thing. Next up, it's Venom, the first of our Sinister Syndicate characters. So, Sinister Syndicate team ability and Spider Man team ability. Sinister Syndicate, Spider Man family, symbiote, and monster keywords. 50 points. He has got a six click long dial. First half of the dial is charge, super strength, exploit, and invulnerability. Last half of the dial is plasticity, blades, Battle Fury and Toughness. He's got improved movement for elevated terrain. And then he's got a single trait that is, I know your secrets, Parker. Precision Strike, Steel Energy. When an opposing character uses Super Senses after resolutions, you may heal Venom one click. Which, in Sealed, is going to happen incredible. all the time. Like, if he gets hit once and you just want to, you know, hang back for a little bit, make some other attacks, I guarantee your opponent will roll Super Senses at some point and he'll be healing back up to top dial in no time for sure. Right. Yeah, he's really freaking cool. Next up is Black Cat. I will say in the dial and evidence thread that we're using right now, uh, her attack power, her trait is mistyped in. It's not correct on here. But I'll read it out really quick. So 40 points, you do get six clicks of life, which is really nice. She's 40 or 20, both, you know, first three clicks, last three clicks. She has Spider-Man team ability and Underworld, which I forgot about. She's Heroes for Hire, Magia, Spider-Man Family, and Martial Artist. She has zero range. She does have Giant Reach 2, thanks to her trait. So she's got a little bit of stealth. She's prob her entire dial. She's combo reflexes her entire dial. Stealth on her first three clicks. Blades on her first click, and then Precision Strike the rest of her dial. Her trait is Giant Reach 2. Opposing characters, this is where it's mistyped in, within four squares have Safeguard, Friendly Probability Control. At first, you know, if you were to just read this without knowing that within four squares, holy smokes, that's an insane team ability. This 20-point figure should be on literally every single team because now an opposing character can't prob a friendly character. And that's it. So don't think that they can't, like, prob themselves. They still can. Um, but it's like you can't prob another friendly character because friendly characters have safeguard 
friendly probability control, which is wild. So yeah, if you have a team with a bunch of prob, they can only ever use it on themselves or an opposing character. They cannot prob other friendly characters in their attacks if this black cat is within four squares. She's also a super cheap uh, probability control, just like Mary Jane, except she's got a little bit better defense, and she can kind of, you know, she can make attacks a little bit better. She's got a 10 attack, 2 damage, so Precision Strike also helps on that lower dial. But yeah, she's really solid and sealed. Underworld, again, helps, because it's one of the few ways you can carry somebody in sealed, so yeah. I, I really like this Black Cat. Also, her sculpt is really good. Yeah. She has the, uh, I don't know, Cat of Nine Tails whip thing. It looks like, like Simon claw. Belmont's, yeah. like... I don't know if you've watched the, the Castlevania whip. series. Yeah, yeah. it kind of looks like that. Simon, and, and it's not Simon really Belmont's posable. not in the Castlevania series. It's it Trevor Simon? Belmont's oh. in the Castlevania series. You nitwit. One of the, the Belmont's. <laughs> yeah, get a load of this guy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you, can, you can't You can really pose it, but like it is flexible enough that yeah. you can me like mess with it. It's kind of cool. Uh, next up is Spiderling. Uh, Spiderling, what is that? May Parker, right? I think it's May. Yeah, it's yeah. May Parker. Uh, Spider Man team ability, four range, one lightning bolt, 40 points. Spider Man family keyword only. Uh, it is a pretty simple dial. First three clicks is running shot, full dial of super senses, last two clicks of uh, good old flurry. And then the special damage power for the first three clicks is perplex. And then the damage power for the last two clicks is also perplex. But the Front three clicks is, in addition to perplex, when Spiderling uses it to target an opposing character, after resolutions you roll a d6, and on a five or six you give that char target character an action token. I should have known that like with how good the Baron Mordo that did the perplex outwit and then like one pen in Disney Plus was, I should have known. Oh, Baron Zemo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baron Mordo is a completely different character. They're both Barons. I, yeah, I get them confused <laughs> constantly, but one's green and one's got a sock on his head. Yeah. So um <laughs> I should have known that like this figure would pop off way more often. And yeah, just double she actioning did. somebody <laughs> from use already using perplex, already like hurting somebody with perplex, and then yeah, giving them action tokens. It's just really good, really solid and sealed. Um also has the raw wall crawler trait. So yeah, this is like a you know decent enough little attacker. Mm -hmm. She only has two clicks on her dial, where she's only two damage. Bottom dial, uh, her flurry with the uh, ten attack, three damage, and eleven attack, three damage, and perplex. It's pretty solid. I mean, also I mean fifty fifty super senses once right. again. Like we're we're gonna keep seeing that, but yeah, that's definitely yeah, it's good. Makes dials longer for yep. sure. Oh my gosh, it's you would think it would make some dials longer. Yeah. For some dials, it's almost <laughs> like it's not even there. Anyways, Sandman, I really like this guy. Sandman's one of my favorite Spider Man villains in the first place, so I really like this figure. I gotta play him on Sunday. Sinister Syndicate team ability. He's got two range. Sorry. Zero range, two targets, 75 or 40 points, seven clicks long at 75 points, or four clicks long at 40. Avengers, Frightful 4, and Sinister Syndicate keywords. He has charged his first four clicks and then plasticity. He has a special attack power on his first three, so you're only going to get that if you pay 75. And then he has poison the rest of his dial. He has close combat expert on his first three, and then he has exploit on his last four. He's got some invulnerability on his first five clicks, and then on his last two, he has regeneration. So his rally... Is he six? So a lot of the Sinister Syndicate have a rally trait. We're going to start seeing a ton of that. So his gives him super senses, just straight up, period. And it's a red six, so on opposing attack rolls. When Sandman uses super senses, that's okay. So super senses, when he uses it, after resolutions, generate a hindering terrain marker. So it's adjacent to himself. Uh, free, remove one of Sandman's rally dice to place him in a square with one of his hindering terrain markers. If you do, you remove the marker and you heal him on click. This gives Sandman... A lot of life. You're already just making hindering terrain all, all on the map. Every time he uses yeah. Super Senses, doesn't have to succeed. He just has to be able to use it. So it can't be outweighted. It can't be pulse waved. But as long as he rolls for it, you just get to make a hindering terrain marker. It's really cool. And then if you ever need to heal him without wanting to waste like a regen roll or whatever, you can just free remove one of his rally, move him over there, and heal him a click. What is his special attack power when he's got charged close combat expert? It also gives him giant reach two, quake, and poison. So he'll have uh, poison his entire dial, which is really nice. And then, yeah, Especially Giant Reach in this 2 set. and Quake, which is really solid. So Giant Reach 2, two targets. I liked him a lot. I played him in Sealed. He's really good against Spider People and then people in this set in general because he has poisoned the entire dial. There's not a ton of reducers with the Spider People. 
So it's like, I don't want to roll that super senses. You just get Sandman in there to lock him down, poison him, quake him, giant reach, whatever. Giant reach kind of works against poison technically, but if you need that extra reach, it's always good. It's not a bad thing. So yeah, him having poison the entire time, you know, he didn't die. I think he only died in like, did he die in our game, Simeon? No, no so I dealt yeah, him he, a lot of damage. He only died in, he, in one of my games. That ability so, to yeah. heal yeah, the healing and then really nice. regen bottom dial. He, yeah, he's tough cookie to crack. But that, yeah, that's Sandman. And now a very similar <laughs> yeah. to Sandman. I will say uh, he has Pulse Wave on his first three clicks, not Quake. Hydro Man does? Yeah, yeah Hydro-Man. that makes a lot um, more sense. Yeah, so it's again, truck. we're going to try to, what we know is misprinted in this dial and evidence thread, we'll try to bring up. But if we didn't bring it up, then it's just we didn't know. So sorry, guys. Yeah. So go ahead, Simeon. All right. We'll get to Hydro Man right after this quick break. All right. Remember that time when I thought I unpaused the recording, then we recorded for like 50 more minutes and oh yeah, it wasn't unpaused? That was awesome. Delete it all. Yeah. <clears throat> Anyhow. It's, okay. it's moving. Hydro Man. Uh, he is also Sinister Syndicate. Four range, two lightning bolts. Uh, 75 points and 40 points. Most of them are 75 and 40. Frightful Four, Sinister Syndicate, and Masters of Evil keywords. Uh, he has the dolphin symbol, which is, I think... I'm not going to scroll up, but Maybe one of the I only think it's the first character that didn't have boot so far. It is the first character that didn't yeah, have boot. That so, is true. But also, in this set, probably the only dolphin that we'll see. Um, so yeah, he has top dial, first three clicks for 75 points. He has running shot, pulse wave, invulnerability, and exploit. I'm hoping that's exploit. But uh, yeah, pulse wave is another power that you really... You get a few options in sealed, and um, it's good to pack them if you don't have like outwit to get around that super senses. Bottom dial is charge, close combat expert... I'm assuming Quake, and vulnerability. That is actually Quake. Okay. And then he has a special defense power the last three clicks that is barrier, regen, and toughness. So pretty decent. I don't know if you're going to be barriering instead of regenerating, but, you know, depends. Yeah. Uh, The only other special thing he's got going on is his Rally 6. So for opposing tack rolls, he gets just blanket shape change, just like Sandman got super senses. When Hydro Man uses his shape change, after resolutions, you generate a water terrain marker, so he can also just hide in that because of his dolphin symbol. Uh, free, remove one of his rally dice to place him in a square of one of his water terrain markers. If you do, remove the marker and heal him one click. These guys usually mirror each other, and yeah. once again, good option. They do. Like, I think I prefer Sandman because of that top dial attack power, but Hydro Man, for similar reasons, he's a little bit more defensive, I think. Um, there's not a huge amount of range pieces in the set, but he is a cool piece. Uh, one thing to note is his sculpt. They didn't go with like a translucent water effect. Yeah. They went with like a metallic blue, which isn't something they've done for a while, like a long while yeah. they haven't done like metallic blue so water it really different or it's cool marker whatever but yeah that's old hydro man we have a moon knight spider-man team five range triple targets 60 points or 35 points a bunch of keywords avengers defenders heroes forever marvel knights midnight suns detective and mystical improved targeting he can shoot out of adjacency and then he has one trait which is hunter's moon it gives him, holy smokes, leap climb, stealth, and willpower. Free, choose an opposing character in range. Until your next turn, the chosen character can't use stealth or willpower. That's yeah. pretty good. Which is wild. You can use that to take willpower and yeah. stealth away from cosmic energy I characters. I would say, ironically, he doesn't ignore hindering terrain for line of fire. So he can't, because it's choose opposing character within, oh, within range. Okay, so yeah. he doesn't need line of fire. So yeah, perfect. Never mind. That's totally fine. Uh, so, 60 points. What, what does 25 more points get you? It gets you two more clicks of pretty good stats. 8-speed uh, running shot, 11 attack, precision strike, 18 toughness, 3 damage for Plex. Versus on his 35-point line, he's only a 6-speed, 10 attack, 17 defense, 3 damage, with all the same powers. And then he goes on to keeps pre- precision strike his entire time. And then he goes to some charge, CCE, and combat reflexes on his last 3 clicks of life. 6-click long figure for 60 points, 4 clicks for 35 pretty fun budget moon knight i think if you're a moon knight fan you're like you know this isn't my iconic end all be all moon knight but he is solid yeah i definitely 
I like him. I'm glad I have one. He's, you know, common, so... Cool sculpts, too. Yeah. Like throwing his... He's, like, lining his up a shot moonerang. with his moonerang. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, um, another character I really like in this set. Uh, I think they did some decent service to Mr. Bullseye here. Uh, he's got the Sinister Syndicate team... Or, Team ability, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, five range, one lightning bolt, 60 points is his only point line. He's got Dark Avenger, Sinister Syndicate, The Hand, Thunderbolts, Assassin, and Martial Artist keywords. He has four clicks of running shot with two clicks of sidestep at the end of his dial. Um, to go along with those four clicks of running shot, he has Precision Strike, and then it goes to Blades for the last two clicks. He has top three clicks of Just Plain Willpower, and then bottom three clicks of Super Senses, and then he has RCE for his entire dial, but he has a special one for his first three clicks, and that is range plus three and range combat expert. So he actually has eight range on those top three wow. clicks. He ignores characters for targeting, which is big um, and sealed. Like, if he can survive a hit, like this guy single handedly, well, not single handedly, but with a little help of my opponent rolling out really bad, not doing any of the rollouts that they needed, he pretty much took out a uh, Venom Thanos all on his lonesome. Dang. So he was on his he was on his blades 12 for 3. So second to last click. Uh, and I had Electro using Enhancement and I had Jessica Drew with the shield TA to boost him to 6 wow, damage. 13 for 6? 13 for 6, oh. yeah. With a prob oh, yeah. on it. It was pretty good. Uh, but... Anyhow, uh, last thing about him is his Rally 6. So, once again, opposing attack rolls. When Bullseye makes a range attack, you may remove two of his Rally dice to replace both dice in the attack roll with those, like, sixes. So, you can just instant crit hit wow. somebody. And it's, in this set, it's, like, really good and sealed. So, yeah. those four through six uh, super senses don't matter. Your rolls don't matter. You do have to get two of them before you can do this. You can't replace one die in the roll. You can remove mm. two to replace both. You can't replace one with, you know, he doesn't say anything about that. But, yeah, just saying, like, my roll doesn't matter because I'm going to replace both dice with a crit hit. Right. And this will come after all opponent probs, so their probs won't matter for this. Yeah, just save them. Yeah, it's pretty gnarly. Um, he's not hard to take down, obviously, but man, is he fun and sealed for 60 points. Next up, really simple, and that's why she's so great. It's Aunt May in her first ever, like, hero clicks. That's not Spider-Man, that's not a pog, just straight up Aunt May. It's very simple. Uh, three clicks of life, zero range, 10 points, Spider-Man family keyword, Spider-Man team ability, even though most of the time she doesn't even know she's on Spider-Man's team, but <laughs> she, she finds out a little while later. Uh, willpower for three clicks, support for three clicks, those are her only powers. And then she has Red Rally 6. When Ame uses support, after rolling, you may remove one of her rally die to choose one. You do not have the result or... All other friendly characters adjacent to Aunt May are also healed the result. If the target has Spider-Man team ability, you can choose both. So let's say she rolls a gnarly six. You can choose to heal one person the full six damage, which yep. is wild. Very wild. Or you can heal everyone adjacent to her yeah. three damage. Holy smokes, For ten man. points. Or you can do both. Huh? Yeah. To be fair, it's all other friendly characters, so you'll heal the one person six and everybody else three if you do both, which is cool. But yeah, for ten points, I we kind of showed off in the Battle Royale video that we had up today. Again, we'll put a link in the description if you haven't seen that video yet. But she puts in some good work. My, our boy Peter Parker was hurt, and she she gave him some wheat cakes, whatever. Had him, had him feeling full and ready to fight again because, holy smokes, ten points for support with the buffed support just yeah. being a power action roll, very strong. The way support... Insanely strong. ...works now, not to muddy the waters about support, but the way it used to work and the way it works now, uh, opposing characters being adjacent doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. You don't have to roll anything other than the D6 once. It's just, you know, power action, I have healed you, you know. It's a night and day difference, man. Wild. Very good figure for 10 points. Uh, obviously a little squishy, but, right. man, I, I can't wait to run a spider-man like centric kind of team and just leave her in the back yep. for the entire game until something bad happens uh last common is miles morales 
Spider-Man team ability, four range, one lightning bolt, two point values, six clicks long at 50 points, three clicks long at 25, so perfect split. He has Avengers, Champions, Shield, Spider-Man, Family, Keywords. Uh, he has two clicks of running shot top dial, and that goes along with his energy shield deflection and range combat expert for his first three clicks on those. And then in the middle of his dial, click three and four, he has a special wall crawler. Or no, that's that's his trait is wall crawler. So yeah. the whole leap climb free place. Um, he has adaptive camouflage in the middle of his dial, which is sidestep stealth. And then if you want to start him at 25 points, he starts on his click four and he'll have... Uh, close combat expert instead of range combat expert and instead of ESD he will have combat reflexes for three clicks and then he gets charge on his last two very economical little Miles Morales he's not the greatest thing that we've seen he doesn't have any um, super senses other than the Spider-Man team ability but from what I see that's more of like the Miles Morales version he's not as spider sensey as he is like electro blast dude right but yeah a fun little piece yeah, pretty neat. It's kind of weird seeing like the special power mid in the middle like that. Yeah, totally in the middle. But it makes sense. It'll start on the uh, second starting line. Mm. But uncommons, we get another Spider Man. So if you didn't like the first Peter Parker, well, we got another Peter Parker for you. I think this is a good budget friendly one that can be kind of a semi iconic or go to Spider Man if you don't end up getting like the two hundred point super rare, which we'll talk about later. But he's sixty points, four range, triple target. Crazy how this is a close combat Spider-Man. Gets triple target. In cap Spider-Man's got one target. Interesting. Uh, Spider-Man team ability, of course. Wall crawler trait, of course. Spider-Man family reporter and scientist. He has a special defense power his entire dial, which gives him super senses. When he uses it and succeeds, after resolutions, you deal one penetrating damage to an opposing adjacent, sorry, to an adjacent opposing character that didn't make the attack. And this does give his super senses protected outwit. So he's got 50-50 protected outwit, his or protected super senses, his entire dial. He has charged super strength on his first three clicks. He has flurry precision battle fury on his last three. And a four damage. He's got a three damage his entire dial, except on his last click, he bumps up to a four, where he's rolling up the spider sleeves and just really letting the haymakers fly, oh, I yeah. guess. Battle Fury on a Spider-Man feels kind of wild. But he, there it is, I guess. Yeah, and we'll never know why because no flavor text. No flavor text, yeah. No no <laughs> clue. Yeah, I had to go against one of these. Um, and for whatever reason, I allowed him to deal the one pen to like an adjacent oppo uh, one of my friendly characters, but like one of his opposing characters just because of the way I positioned. And I was like, ah, yeah, maybe I should have just based him with only one character. Because if you attack him with one character... And he they makes super think, senses. Yeah. He can't deal them the pen, but yeah. All right, next up, Mr. Negative. He has the Underworld team ability. One other character with, that can carry. Uh, we're up to two. Two? Two characters, <laughs> two can, characters carry can carry now? Now that we enter the uncommons. Yeah. Uh, he has five range, one lightning bolt. He's 45 points. He has two dials in his little dial, but uh, keywords are Magia, Sinister Syndicate, Martial Artist, and Politician. He has a singular trait that is the... Mr. Negative and Martin Lee, so shape change, period. And then free, turn Mr. Negative's dial to the same click number of a different color. So his first dial is mind control, uh, telekinesis, mastermind, and leadership. Also, I think the first leadership yep. that we've seen. So, yeah, probably worth putting on your team just for that 45 Honestly, points. Yeah, TK leadership. Yep. Yeah, the bottom half of that mind control TK dial is charge blades, uh, combat reflexes and empower so uh, he's got some 10 attacks top dial with that five range three damage and then bottom dial he's got some 11 attacks 10 attack with the blades and the empower pretty solid dial if you can you know mastermind until you only get hit for two or poisoned for like, until you get to that click and then you've got a 20 defense for close his other dial that he can switch to is a full dial of stealth almost a full dial of steel energy of course, it wouldn't make sense to give him it on click one, but right. aesthetically, I wish they would have. Uh, <laughs> then he has a full dial of defend and a full dial of support. So that dial is just, um, I'm going to shape change, hide in stealth, and heal my friendlies. Maybe heal himself up if, I guess, 
you know, you want to make some attacks. The problem with his steel energy on this dial is he has a printed one damage. Yeah. And in order for steel energy to kick off, you need to damage your opponent. So it is going to be very hard to get through most characters. I mean, if they have any reducer whatsoever, it's just not happening. Yeah. Unless you crit hit, I guess. But uh, not for nothing, a 19 with defend on the bottom yeah. of that dial. So the very last Something. click is kind of cool. Um, if you want to pick up one of these guys for a reverse dial night, just to have that 19, I guess. But yeah, he's a cool Mr. Negative. He's got a cool sculpt. I like it. It's pretty simple and utility for sure. Next up, we have the Chameleon, our second character with Outwit in this set. He's got the Sinister Syndicate team ability. He has four range, one target. He's 30 points. He's also the first character with the Modox 11 keyword yeah. in a few years. Uh, Sinister Syndicate keyword, Assassin and Spy. He has a Red Rally 6 because he's, you know, Sinister Syndicate, which gives him shape change. Free, remove one of Chameleon's Rally Dice to choose a single base standard opposing character within four squares in line of fire. Chameleon and the chosen character are placed in each other's squares. So you can just do a little square swap. Go on. And then, what's his dial kind of look like before I get to that next trait? He's got three clicks of stealth, three clicks of super senses, three clicks of outwit. And then he goes on to sidestep, combat reflexes, and uh, exploit weakness on his down dial, which is kind of interesting. Uh, no crazy stats, two damage to an attack, nine attack, one damage down dial. He's not really an attacker. He's more of an outwitter, tie up, shape change, super senses type piece. His second trait is access granted. Friendly characters with the Sinister Syndicate team ability have team player. This is huge. Wild. Gives everyone with Sinister Syndicate wild card. So then you can try to throw on. I can't really think of anybody that they share a keyword with right now. They could give them a different team ability, but it's there. They could also I mean, just copy Spider-Man. Venom has Spider-Man team oh, Venom's ability. Venom's got Spider-Man. So, Boom. Perfect. Yeah. So now Sandman. It's got 50-50 super senses. It's kind of wild. Yeah, Chameleon. Chameleon's 50, got 50-50 super yeah. senses. Yeah. So it's really, really good. For I think 30 if you're points. playing a Sinister Syndicate theme team, strong, strong consideration. If you got 30 points, definitely put them on there. Yeah. I think, yeah, that's basically the reason you play him. I mean, he does have outwit and stuff, but yeah. the reason that you would put him on a team is for that my whole team gets team player, and that's wild. Uh, next up is Gwen Stacy. What's that? Oh, yeah, it's the other leadership piece in yeah, the uncommon geez. spot. Uh, so Gwen Stacy has the Spider-Man team ability. Uh, she's got three range, one lightning bolt, 20 hole points. She's got Spider-Man family and celebrity keywords. Uh, first two clicks are Super Senses and Leadership, so 50-50 Super Senses top dial. And then last two clicks are Shape Change and Combat Reflexes. So rollouts her whole dial, pretty solid little 20-point piece, especially in Sealed. She has a single trait that is a Gwen through time and space. When Gwen Stacy would be KO'd by an opponent's attack, instead you may replace her with a character named the, or character with the Agwengers trait on their last non-KO click. This game, that character can't be healed, and when it is KO'd, it scores 30 points instead. Protected Pulse Wave. So this Gwen Stacy can turn into the other uh, Aguengers, which I think are all chases, right? I yeah, don't think there's, there's yeah, anything out. Yeah, sure they're all chases, yeah. Yeah, get this uncommon and then collect half of the chases so that you can fully use yep. her trait. But, Incredible. Um, let's see, it is replace... So, so it's, it's well, it's when she would be KO'd. Would be KO'd. So, yeah, you're not going to score her 20, but when you bring in a Gwenger, they will score 30, 30 points instead. for when they kill that thing. Yeah, but it's not generated, so it would take up a sideline spot, I'm thinking. Uh, replace her with the character. Uh, it would make sense if it was for a character with the Gwenger trait on your sideline. This might be typed in wrong. Yeah. But yeah, it doesn't say generated, so I assume it would be a sideline thing. But, um, that trait protected, is protected yeah, pulse wave which for. Is good. Yeah. So they can't just. Pulse wave you and not allow you to switch in a, a Gwenger. I'm sure there's at least one. We'll get to them, but we'll find right. one that's worth doing this. It's just kind of weird that a uncommon uh, I know, right? only works with chases. It's really funny. The Hand Ninja, second Hand Ninja, I believe this one's in all black, or maybe this is the red one. I don't know. One of them's all black. This is the one black all, one. This is the black one. Yeah. Okay. He's got Masters of Evil as well, three range as well, 20 points as well. The hand keyword assassin, martial artist, mystical keywords, improved movement, elevated. So far, all the exact same, but this is where it gets interesting. Special attack power for all three clicks. Blades, claws, fangs, giant reach two. And they have sidestep and empower with super senses on their first two clicks. And they just have that special attack power and regeneration on their last click. It's a novel idea that they'll ever just take two damage and be able to regen and not just get totally <laughs> wiped off the board in one hit. But, you know, it's maybe could happen. But, yeah, yeah. super. are you kidding me? Uh, sidestep, giant reach two, so they've got a four reach 
isn't crazy, but it's solid. With Blades, Claws, Fangs, and Empower, it's really, really, really good in Sealed for 20 points. Just... If nothing else, it's an empower and sealed with some sidestep, which is just great for positioning. Improved movement elevated with a sidestep is also huge, so like that's super helpful. So I really like this guy. They are the best generic in the set so far. I think they're the last generic probably, so they're just the best generic in the set. They're really good. Last generic other than the rare that we'll get to. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. so I really like this hand ninja. So he's really yeah. solid. Um, Maybe the best hand ninja they ever made. I don't know. I'd, I'd have to compare, yeah. but it's I'm gonna really collect. Good. I'm probably going to collect double, whatever I end up collecting, I'm going to get double of this one that I do the common. The common's great, because obviously it can help with... It's great, uh, in, a, it's great in a different way. Yeah. Like this is just the stuff. attacker guy. Yeah, this yeah. one's just, obviously, like, this is the one that you want to generate with 022 Matt Murdock. Hey! Yeah. So, he has the Masters of Evil team ability what? and the Underworld Matt team Murdoch? ability. Yeah, he's, this is an evil lawyer by day. I don't actually know if he's a lawyer in this comic series, but ah, he's probably a not. District attorney. <laughs> yeah. I understand. <laughs> uh, Sixty points, so only point value. But uh, he has the hand, celebrity, martial artist, politician, and ruler keywords. So this Matt Murdock can uh, has improved movement through elevated terrain. He has three clicks of charge with three clicks of blades, eleven attack. Three clicks of super senses with 18, 18, and 17, and then three clicks of outwit with two damage. His bottom dial, he has flurry with seven speed, 10 attack, two damage with close combat expert, and 17 defenses with combat reflexes. So, very simple little dial. He has two traits, though. The first is Matt Murder Doc. I dig it. Makes a nice hashtag. Leadership, mastermind, stealth three powers wow. and a single trait and that's not all when matt murdoch uses leadership and succeeds you may instead generate a 005 hand ninja that's the stealth one with smoke cloud on click one or a 021 hand ninja on click one so you get your pick and then if a six was rolled you can generate both Dang. so pretty solid yeah. i think if i roll a six i'm probably not removing an action token from someone i'm probably making two hand ninjas then his second trait is 10 steps ahead. Matt Murdock takes a maximum of one damage from attacks if he and the attacker share a displayed standard power, which you very well might. Who knows? Um, and this sealed set, he probably yeah has a displayed power, like super senses that other characters will have. But yeah, I just really like this guy. Uh, in Avengers Forever, we saw all the people that generate people. Yeah. And once again, we're getting some awesome generators in this set. So... Very simple, but obviously, if you're collecting the hand ninjas, you'll want this guy too. Absolutely. We get Silver Sable for the first time since Earth X. Tiny Finally. Silver Sable. Very small. Yeah, her sculpt. <laughs> for some reason, she she missed the update back in House of X, and they said all the sculpts are going to be a little bit bigger, going to be more detailed. Instead, she's just kind of tiny. She's a little. She's a little gal. She she's standing straight up. She's standing upright, holding her gun, but she is just like half the size of everybody else. She is very. She's very small. Um, 60 points, Spider-Man team ability, 5 range, 1 target, Here's Fryer, Spider-Man family, assassin, martial artist, soldier, and spy, keywords, she's got a trait, I hired you to do a job, at the beginning of the game, you choose another friendly character to be Silver Sable's mercenary, this game, perplex, but only to target her mercenary, regardless of range and line of fire, or line of fire. So she's got a worldwide, map-wide perplex to target her mercenary, so they can totally split up, which is really cool. She has a special defense power on her first three clicks out of her six, which is combat reflexes, mastermind, and toughness. She also has combat reflexes on her last three clicks, so she has it her entire dial. She's got running shot, precision strike, and a ranged combat expert on her first two clicks of life. Uh, sadly, pretty low combat value. She has six speed her entire uh, dial. She's got a 10 attack for the first four clicks, two damage her entire dial. So she's only an 11 for three top dial with running shot rce and precision strike which is not amazing she goes yeah. on to some sidestep with energy explosion and then she gets some charge blades on her last two clicks sidestep energy explosion clicks she gets at wit and then charge blades she gets some very late dial leadership so maybe if your leadership died sometime earlier in the battle and she's now taking damage you have to lead her back which is kind of cool but it's a very uh wonky dial we haven't really seen a design like this it's Kind of yeah. different. It's very interesting. We haven't seen a Silver Sable design like this at all. She always usually gets Mastermind or something, but this is kind of this is kind of neat it, in a weird way, I guess. It's a very strange dial. I don't really know I, what to I, say. It's not a great attacker for sixty points. No, which is kind of a bummer. It's yeah. 
I feel like they put a lot of the cost of this character into that like map wide perplex Must for have. the mercenary. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'd be picking uh, Sicarian Iron Man as the mercenary. Ooh, so good. then I could have Simcarian, Sicarian Iron Man, Sable. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, her Simcarian, Simcarian military yeah. territory defense. Yeah, I guess that's Just, the. She's from Sakar. Simcar? Simcar, yeah. Simcaria? I'd never heard of it, but. Yeah. Uh, next up, Speed Demon. This guy's super simple, so I won't take too long. Team ability is Sinister Syndicate. 50 points, 0 range, 1 lightning bolt, Masters of Evil, Sinister Syndicate keyword, Thunderbolts, and Speedster keywords. Improved movement for characters and a Red Rally 6 that is free. Remove one of Speed Demon's Rally dice to move up to 6 squares. Note it's not place, so you do have to break away. Oh wait, he ignores characters, so you don't. Ha. But uh, he doesn't have like flight or anything, so you will have to walk upstairs or something. Right. Uh, full dial of Hypersonic, full dial of Precision Strike, full dial of Super Senses. And that's it. Uh, he's got three, yeah, three damage for his first two clicks. Goes down to two damage for clicks three through five, and then one damage on his last click. But obviously, precision strike the whole dial. Uh, he's got an eleven attack top dial with nine speed. Some clicks of eighteen defense that goes to seventeen for the most of his dial, and then last click is sixteen. Does drop down to a nine attack for his last two clicks, which. Makes me feel like he should be a little bit cheaper, but for 50 points, you're getting a hypersonic in like new map size uh, world. He's crossing most of the map on his yeah, own and making an attack. A, remove a rally die, it's 15 squares, yeah. so he's hitting the whole map basically. Yeah, for sure. Uh, he's got a cool costume. I like Speed Demon, um, but yeah, he, he is a very simple dial. Yeah. And he's just good at what he does, which is the old hypersonic Being precision fast. strike combo. Yeah. yeah, moving around. No, he's simple, but he's really good and, you know, got that flavor for Speed Demon. Next up, we got Prowler. And I got to say, every time I see a Prowler that's not Hobby Brown, I get a little sad inside. Mm. That's my favorite. 616 Prowler. This is sadly Ultimate's, you know, Miles' uncle Prowler, who I'm like, I don't care for as much. I like Hobby, but that's okay. Uh, Sinister Syndicate team ability, three range, one target, 45 points. Magia, Sinister Syndicate keywords. He is a Red Rally 6. Smoke Cloud. Just straight up, and then free. Remove one of Prowler's rally die to use Smoke Cloud as free. So, eh, whatever. No, you're probably not going to give him any of your rallies. It's not. It's not great. But he's got charge, sidestep, stealth for his special speed power for his first three clicks of life. Paired with Blades, Claws, Fangs, and Exploit Weakness, he is a ten for two. Staying a little safe. He's got toughness his entire dial. And then on his last two clicks, he loses that ability in his exploit. He picks up Perplex and Sidestep instead. For 45 points, I think he's a very budget tertiary attacker on yeah. your sealed team. Outside of sealed, I don't really think you build much with this guy at all. But I think within sealed, I think he's very solid. And I think he's worth looking at. But I don't think, sadly, sadly, I don't think... Uh, I don't think old Davis here gets any gets any of the rally dice. Sorry, bro. No. We'll see some that... I mean, Bullseye, obviously, is yeah, probably who I'm giving them to. Exactly. But we'll see some Bullseye, people that have Sandman, really good options. Hydro Man, yeah. anyone else but him. You know, those guys. Yeah. Next up is normal good Matt Murdock. So this is 026 Daredevil. This is his uh, mustard... Red and yellow. Yeah, ketchup mustard. That whole, condiment yeah. condiment costume. The condiment costume. Uh, so, yeah, he's got the Spider-Man team ability, which goes great because he has a trait that is radar senses, or radar sense that gives him super senses. So, whole dial of 50-50 uh, super senses, yeah. Unless it gets outwitted or something. But uh, four range, two lightning bolts, 45 points. He's got the Heroes for Hire, Marvel Knights, Spider-Man Family, and Martial Artist keywords. Um he has a special attack power, his whole dial, that is incapacitate and precision strike, disarming and disabling my opponents. So basically, uh, four range, two lightning bolt, precision strike. Yeah. I mean, you can in-cap if you want, but I preferred to use precision strike with him and then having a 50-50 super senses, his whole... I mean, it's only five clicks long, but it feels a lot longer because... Yeah, it does. In sealed, they're probably not going to one-shot him, and then, yeah, he's going to be a... Well, I'll, I'll get into his dial. Running shot for the first two clicks with 11 attack and that special attack power. And then he's got 18s with ESD. Last three clicks, he has flurry with an 11 attack on click three. And then he goes to two clicks of 10 attack. 
but he also has close combat expert on all of those. So he's actually a 12 for three and then 11 for three, the last two clicks. And then he's got a 17 with um, combat reflexes. Jeez. Uh, combat reflexes. So he's a 19 at close and probably closed the gap at that point. He's a very simple daredevil. Uh, and then I guess mine did come with the Billy Clubs. Ooh, okay. um, but I also had two daredevils in the pack. So it's hard to tell if it came with this guy or if it was the other one or gotcha. you know, what exactly was going on. But the Billy Clubs are real simple. They are uh, qualifying name Daredevil, no qualifying key- keywords. So any Daredevil can start with these for free. It gives them leap climb, and then they get an extra lightning bolt. So I didn't Pretty put solid. it on this one. I put it on the rare with three lightning bolts. So he had four lightning bolts. A bit which, excessive, but okay. Yeah, very excessive, but... Uh, quadruple targeting and precision strike is well he doesn't have four damage so he can't assign four damage but still it's interesting this daredevil though very good 45 point piece very economical daredevil if you like this outfit this is a great piece to pick up yeah i think so i like him and then yeah billy clubs are five points indestructible yeah yeah Next up is Spider Woman. Again, I'm always sad to see when it's Jessica Drew and not Jessica Carpenter, who's way cooler, but also gets zero screen time in Marvel Comics. Uh, Jessica Drew here gets the Shield and Spider Man Ally team abilities. She's five range. She can be played at 75 or 45 points. Avengers, Hydra, Shield, Sword, Spider Man Family, Detective, and Spy keywords. She has a wall crawler trait. And then she has this special attack power, her entire dial, which is incapacitate, but also deals normal damage. She can always deal her normal damage whenever she incaps someone. I did forget to mention she only has one target. Uh, First four clicks, she has charge. Last three, she has sidestep. First four defense powers, she has super senses. Last three, it is toughness. First four clicks, it's perplex. And then last three, it is exploit weakness. So her 40 point line is going to be on her charge super senses and perplex click the very last one she gets of that. So that's what I played her at in sealed. Uh, You do lose plus one to attack and plus one to defense. And of course, three clicks of life playing her there. But I think she's still really solid. I will say don't, you know, the shield team ability, I didn't use it in all my games, but to help give me extra damage that, and to buff some range. That range boost is was, big. It was really big, yeah, with these uh, small maps or however you're playing the game. It's just really nice. So I really like that. Also, she's very cheap perplexed at 45 points. That can also make some attacks. Uh, incapacitate, we kind of talked a little bit about tempo and how helpful that can be. So her in-cap is also very huge because it doesn't feel like a wasted attack because it deals damage, so I really, really like it. Uh, but she's not really a competitive figure. She's a casual piece. I think she's a fine Spider-Woman. If you want a more in-depth, crazy spy switching sides, Jessica Drew, you're going to have to go back to Nick Fury, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Great but sculpt, this one, it, yeah, yeah, really good sculpt. But this one is a great version of Jessica to bring into the modern age. Yeah, I'm surprised her Venom Blast didn't, like reduce attack from everyone oh, that gosh. she could see. Good lord. Thank you, Simeon. <laughs> Snap. Uh zero two eight is Boomerang, our first flyer. Wow. Zero two eight. Why does Boomerang fly? Uh must have like a boomerang suit or something. Boomerang jetpack I just shoots boomerangs. I played out against this figure fast. and when I first yeah I first saw that oh. and I was like I thought the same thing. I was Why like, he... when did Boomerang yeah, start flying? In the world? Like, it's not Mach X. It's not no. Beetle. Like, yeah. what the heck? But I All guess right, maybe Fred I just... Myers. Yeah, I didn't uh, me. keep up with the comics, I guess. So, Sinister Syndicate, team ability, six range, two lightning bolts, two point value, 60 or 45, a very uh, economical 60 points because you're only paying 15 points for three more clicks, and they're pretty solid ones. So, keywords are Masters of Evil, Sinister Syndicate, and Thunderbolts. Uh, of course, Red Rally 6 wouldn't be Sinister Syndicate without that. Opposing attack rolls once per turn. When Boomerang makes a ranged attack after resolutions, you may remove one of his rally dice to make a ranged attack targeting a single different opposing character. A different single opposing character. Um, so you can't double target and then retarget one of them. You have to target somebody else. But yeah, it's his Boomerang coming back to him essentially. Uh, special attack power for the first four clicks, so that'll get you it at the 45-point line, and then obviously the three top clicks. And that is, uh, once per turn when Boomerang would miss a ranged attack by two or less, you may re-roll that attack roll. I think we had some Boomerangs that did that previously. I thought 
didn't we have some that did There's that? The TMNT ones. Uh, oh, gosh. Yeah, the yeah. boomerang elites and the... <laughs> Yikes. Whatever yeah. the other ones were. Different um, kind of boomerangs. Yeah. For 60 points, you get 10 speed running shot uh, with an 11 attack, 18 defense with ESD, and 3 damage with prob. It immediately drops the prob, keeps all the stats except the defense goes down by 1, down to a 17, and the speed goes down to an 8, but you pick up ranged combat expert so you're now at 12 for 4 then you go to a, a 11 for 4 with that ranged combat expert because it gets a 10 for 3 uh, 45 points you start with 6 speed which is way way slower a 10 attack for 2 damage with RCE but you get that 18 ESD again and then the last 3 clicks are sidestep toughness and 3 damage with prob so it's hard to pick him like which one you want to play I'd probably go with 60 just to guarantee that prob yeah I'd go with 60 as well I yeah. agree but yeah uh, and then I guess boomerangs boomerangs wow uh <laughs> His boomerang qualifying name is boomerang. No qualifying keywords. So these are probably five points as well. Uh, the effect is minimum range four. When equipped, place the boomerang bo boomerangs boomerangs in the circle on the back of the card. It's got four quadrants. We've seen this before uh, with the arrow indicator pointing to one of the effects. Free roll a d6. Turn boomerangs boomerangs clockwise a number of times equal to the result. Or if the equipped character is named boomerang, they may turn it clockwise any number up to the result. This character can use the listed effect until your next turn. It's 10 points. The effects are Razor Rings, which is Blades Claws Fangs, but may use it for close or range. Hmm. Gasser Rings, Smoke Cloud is free. Screamer Rings, Incapacitate and Precision Strike. And Shatter Rings, Energy Explosion, Improved Targeting, Destroy Blocking. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, this guy with the Boomerangs. Oh, those are 10 points, by the way. Yeah. Um, with the Boomerangs, this guy's way better. Yeah. Like, obviously, okay on his own, but with the Boomerangs, he becomes pretty crazy. If you get the Boomerangs and sealed with him, yeah, absolutely. Because it doesn't increase his point value. You don't have to pay for him if you're playing it with him. But even not playing it on him, Blades Claws at range or close, Energy Explosion with the improved targeting, Precision Strike, those are things that you'll want in this sealed. So I really like him. Uh, I like the equipment more than I like him, but yeah. I think he's a solid uh, Sinister Syndicate. I think he's really good in sealed. Yeah, you know? for Fills sure. Sinister Syndicate a little base, nothing crazy. Just, I should bring my, you guys over some of my ground beef. Let you guys cook with that one time. Yeah. All right. Next up is Shocker. This has to be a misprint. There's no way he doesn't have the Sinister Syndicate team ability, but for some reason it says no affiliation mm -hmm. on this thread. I think this thread is just riddled with errors. Sorry, Caden. Error. Um, but, you know. Anyways, he's got four range, triple target, 50 points or 35 points. Both legitimate point lies, if you ask me. Magia, Masters of Evil, Sinister Syndicate, and Thunderbolts keywords. Improved targeting destroys blocking terrain, so he gets to shoot through one square of blocking and destroy it after resolution, so that's pretty huge, as I found out in a few of my games. Uh, and then he has Red Rally 6, free, remove one of Shocker's Rally Dice. If you do this turn, friendly characters with the Sinister Syndicate team ability have knockback. Yeah, he definitely has Sinister Syndicate team ability. Yeah. yeah. So it gives everybody knockback, which can be huge for a ton of extra damage. I'm so happy. Oh, so Especially freaking happy knockback damage is back. sealed. Oh, yeah. In sealed, uh... Not a lot of reducers, as yeah. you find out. A lot of spider people. Lot and as you know, senses. you'll you'll be playing on the... Uh, yeah, apparently. You you'll have be to play on the <laughs> Munich Escape or Munich the Escape Void map. Disney Plus map. That was just a silly thing that we did at our sealed, because they finally were like, oh yeah, we have the Doctor Strange Disney Plus OP kit. We gotta sure. get rid of all I hadn't maps. seen either of those maps, but... No, I didn't know Munich they... Escape existed either. And I was like, oh, they did make a Falcon Winter Soldier map. I was yeah. so stoked. That was pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, anyway, Shocker uh, Shocker Gauntlets, I don't know if he necessarily comes to them, probably doesn't, gives him Force Blast, Real name, the qualifying name is just straight up Shocker, they're five points, so Force Blast, if this character can already use Force Blast, when they use it, they may also knock back each opposing character that was adjacent to the chosen character, so power, this makes a power action Force Blast huge, so let's say there's whatever, three people in a row, you target the middle one, you get a knockback, all three of those characters with Force Blast, just, oh, 
that feels this feels like some cool shocker abilities and i really like it uh and then just force blast and knockback being better make him even cooler so what is his dial look like he's running shot penetrate second blast toughness he has toughness his entire dial running shot and pen cipher his first three clicks and then he has sidestep and exploit on his last three clicks his 35 point line starts on his third click where he still has running shot pen sci he does go down to a six speed and only a 10 attack on that one but still, a running what's shot. It, what's his side. attack on the last click? Yeah, oh weird. yeah, that's that's actually true too. <laughs> is it? Really? Yeah, it's uh, on dial. Oh he has gosh. a six attack on his very. So it goes from a ten wow. on his second to last click to a six on his very last click, Shocker. which is just funny. Why even give him a damage value at that point? Uh, but yeah, at that point, it's like you better hope you saved up a six or have the shocker gauntlets because you're not you, you're not going to make an attack with a six attack, no, right? Like that is, crit hit is that is knockback time only. Yeah, knockback yeah. only, bro. Um, but he's fun. He's cool. I think he's probably a little overcosted at fifty points if you were to play him at fifty. I think thirty five is a five po- fine point value for him though to add some you know some utility i think yeah. to some sinister syndicate teams he's nothing crazy but he's pretty fun yeah we saw this with like Kinda batman team shocker up should be and sinister syndicate getting the same treatment that a similar treatment that the teen titans batman did enemy and, yeah, very titans. cool yeah um yeah batman enemy too yeah it's cool that like you know if you play this team even though you don't get theme team probs you do get right. all these bonuses synergize together. yeah it's it's wild how you it's can exactly make... It's exactly what we wanted them to do, though. Yeah. It's like I mentioned that every time we talked about no theme props, and I still dislike no theme props, but they're doing... They're making dial design synergize yeah. with teams. So it's like, okay, okay, so they, they, they don't have theme props. Sure, you're right. But they synergize in other ways, yeah. which is cool. So I'm happy with that. Uh, next up is Rhino. He has got a long, a nine-click long dial. Yeah. He is a powerful part of the Sinister Syndicate. So... Obviously, Sinister Syndicate team ability. He has the Sinister Syndicate uh, keyword, animal and brute keyword. He's not actually an animal. Surprising. Uh, It should be like armor keyword, I think, instead of animal. But um, anyhow, he's got improved target. That's improved movement destroys blocking, not improved targeting. He's zero range, one lightning bolt, 75 points and 50 point line. And you might play him at either because honestly he is stacked with reducers his rally die is a red six and when he remove or when he moves or destroys one or more pieces of terrain after resolutions you may remove one of his rally dice to deal one damage to each opposing character that was adjacent to one or more pieces of destroyed terrain Hmm. this is a great way to uh like ping damage the spider people with like super senses but i mean obviously it's not pen damage so not a great way to deal with like someone like himself. So top dial, he has, right. well, he has charge his whole dial, but top dial, he's got 10 speed charge, 11 attack, super strength. First two clicks, he's got four damage. And then he's got 18 with invincible. Those first three clicks. If you want the more economical version for 25 points, less at 50 points, he has eight speed charge, 10 attack, super strength and impervious with an 18 defense, three damage. And then he drops down to a 17 defense for the next three clicks. Um, he gets invulnerability on clicks six and seven, mm-hmm. goes to quake on those clicks and has quake the rest of his dial there as well. And he also gets battle fury, the rest of his dial, which will help with some characters that you'll run into in sealed, but obviously yeah. precision strikes the, the real winner power that you want in sealed. Um, battle fury is always kind of welcome bottom dial, I think, because you maybe you carry him, but at least you can carry him and then he can get knocked onto the battle fury. Uh, it goes down to toughness. So full dial of reducers, obviously some top heavy ones. And then bottom dial, he's still an 11 for four last two clicks. Pretty decent little dude. Um, honestly, he's, I mean, if you pull him, I'd play him at 75. I think yeah, he's worth it. Outwits his one weakness, but that's true for most characters. So, yeah. All right, finally get into rares. We start off with old Dr. Michael Morbius. Sinister Syndicate and Spider-Man team abilities. He's only 50 points, which is really cool. Midnight Suns, Sinister Syndicate, Spider-Man family, monster, scientist, keywords. He has the trait hunger for Plasma, which is a wild dial vampire trait. So he starts the game on click four. Steal energy when Morbius uses it. He may heal past his starting line. He has three extra clicks. Uh, that he can heal up to. So he starts off with Charge, Blades, Toughness, and Exploit. 
And then if you heal once, he'll have the exact same stats, but one click healthier with Charge Blades, Toughness, and Exploit. And then his top two clicks, you heal another time, you gain a plus one to attack, but then you get Impervious, Hypersonic Speed, still have Exploit. And then all the way at top dial, he gets plus one to Speed and Damage, with a 9, 12, 18, 4 with hypersonic impervious and exploit. So really cool. Uh, after he takes some damage, he keeps that charge, blades, toughness, exploit until about uh, his last three clicks where he goes on to flurry with blades, regeneration, and outwit. The outwit is kind of huge. Down dial, actually, yeah. a little flurry outwit is really, really helpful for old Michael Morbius here. So I, I do dig that a lot to help him try to heal back up without using regen. And then another huge thing is he has a trait called It's Morbius' Time, uh, so which, Morbius gives him, time. <laughs> which gives him stealth. So the designers worked in a It's Morbin Time reference without straight up using the meme. I think yeah. Marvel might have got mad if they just said Morbin Time because <laughs> the whole point of the meme is that no one saw Morbius. So they'd be like, why would you say that? Uh, so yeah, it's hilarious. He's really good. I played him sealed. I think he's really solid. Uh, solid side attacker, secondary attacker in sealed. You know, he's an 11 for three. Blades exploit. It's very handy. The stealth keeps him safe from any shooting. We haven't seen any ignores hindering terrain, mm. uh, except for that one daredevil that can shut off stealth. Right. But besides that, there's really right. none. Moon Knight, yeah. Oh, that Moon Knight, sorry. Yeah. But yeah, that's Morbius. He's simple. He's effective. It's Morbin time. It's He's hilarious. Yeah. Uh, next up is Mysterio. Great sculpt. I did not pull one. I didn't even play against I one. I haven't seen his sculpts yet, man. I don't know what it looks like. Really? I had zero clue what oh, it looks like. Oh, yeah. I've seen it online. But, oh, nice. Uh, yeah, it's... I mean, it's uh, so somebody like compared the new one to the Superior Foes one, and not okay. only is the new one like bigger, but the effects for like, like the for them both being stuff. a rare or whatever. I think they're both rares. Yeah, like his like cloud and stuff is like it's just a nice. lot more going on. Uh, but yeah, Sinister Syndicate team ability, four range, one lightning bolt, forty points is his only point line. He's got the Sinister Syndicate and Celebrity keywords. Uh, he does one thing. Well. I guess I'll get into his dial before I go into anything else. Top three clicks are Stealth with Smoke Cloud printed, uh, Willpower printed, um, 17 defense, 10 attack, 6 speed, and then he's got three damage for his first three clicks with a special damage power his whole dial, and that is Master of Illusion, a probability control shape change. When Mysterio uses shape change and succeeds, after resolutions, you may generate a Mysterio bystander and Good news, you don't really have to like make these because they just duplicate his bottom two clicks. So you Basically, can just yeah. yeah, other than damage, but yeah. um but they're also in the dice token pack. You get like three. Oh, of that's these. right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh so his bottom two clicks are mind control, poison, super senses, and that same damage power that instead of three damage, it's two damage. 16 defense with super senses, nine attack with poison, and then six speed, his whole dial with uh, mind control. But yeah, so his little Mysterio illusions can mind control, they can poison, they can super sense shape change. They get really up in your face and uh, just annoying. And I think... If you can pop a few of these guys out against a sealed team and start poisoning and maybe yeah. mind control, I mean, they might as well take a costed action if you want them to. It's pretty solid. Yeah, I like this guy. Uh, what is this? Please note the combat symbols aren't there on the bystander. The ones on the card and there for coding. I don't know what that means. No, you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. All right, next up, Beetle, our second flyer in the set. Number 33, uh -huh. and we're at two flyers. Yep, this is old Abner Jenkins, so it's the male Beetle. He has Sinister Syndicate team ability. He's got five range, two targets. He's only 50 points. Take it or leave it, man. Frightful 4, Masters of Evil, Sinister Syndicate, Thunderbolts, Armor, Scientist, Keywords, six clicks of life. This Beetle's pretty cool. So he's got a special damage power, his first four clicks of life. We've got to work together. Leadership, period. So he's also, man, he's a flyer and a leadership in this set. Woof, he's double whammies here. Yeah. When a friendly character the Sinister Syndicate team ability would remove a rally die, they may instead remove a rally die from another friendly character with the Sinister Syndicate team ability instead. So even though you're kind of like handing these out to all sorts of people, uh, you can just choose to like, all right, well, we're going to bully Shocker and steal all his rally dice or something. Maybe he'll hold on to them for us to keep them safe, you know. So this is kind of huge. Actually, that, that would be probably the best way to play this is you can keep the rally dice on somebody else to like keep them safe, maybe keep them out of the fray. But in order to trigger it, though, they still have to have a rally die themselves to remove. And they just instead remove from somebody else because if they don't have any rally die, then there's like there's no point. 
I was just double checking that he does have running shot poison, but yeah, yeah, yeah. running shot poison. Yeah, it's <laughs> incredible. Uh, and then his rally is again red rally six. When a friendly character that is adjacent or has a sinister syndicate team ability attacks, you may remove one of Beetle's rally die to re-roll their attack roll. So it's just a little bit of prop, kind of a pseudo prop that's only for sinister syndicate people. So adjacent sinister syndicate people. So it's something though. He has sidestep energy explosion on his first two clicks, toughness on his first four clicks. Then, like yeah, what Simeon said, he has running shot poison on his next two clicks on three and four. Then he gets sidestep, pensai, ESD, and perplex. And his last click is running shot, pensai, ESD, perplex, with the two damage, seventeen defense on those two last clicks. A wonky little little dial there yeah. toward the end for Beetle. But a little sidestep energy explosion with two targets, five range is very solid. Sidestep of flight is very helpful in this set. Leadership is also huge in this set. I think this guy, he's kind of an iffy. He might go on your Sinister Syndicate team. He might not. I think it just kind of depends on how you've played Sinister Syndicate before. I think you kind of have to mess around with the team first, kind of play it a few times, and then be like, okay, I do really like Beetle's ability. You know, try it without him. Try it with him on it. Figure it out if he makes your main Sinister Syndicate roster. Because it's a really cool ability. I just don't know how often it's going to, like, pop off every single time. But it's it's neat. Yeah. I just, yeah, I just don't know how useful it will be. Although I will say, giving Prob to Sinister Syndicate on his normal rally is also huge. So That's maybe true. he just makes it for that and flight alone, honestly. But he's, he's I, very solid. I like him. Personally, in like a silver allowed kind of format, For I'd sure. still be playing the um, Earth X one that gives when characters use the Sinister Syndicate, they get plus one attack. Oh yeah, that one is so good. That's yeah. For, yeah there's for not 50 a lot points. of abilities that are working off of the team ability, like yeah. the effect of the team ability. I mean, a lot of them right. are working off of if they have it, but not so much the whole replacing attack. We also haven't seen a Sinister Syndicate person with above an eleven attack yet. That's true. Just give us one guy with twelve. Yeah, that's all we ask. All right, next up is uh, the crusher of my legacy card dreams, Bombastic Bagman. Oh, so uh, sad. That's all right. That's all right. At least we got him. Uh, it's Peter Parker. He's got the Fantastic Four and Spider-Man team abilities. So that's, uh, I think, the first and only Fantastic Four team ability we'll see in this Probably, set. Yeah. But four range, one lightning bolt. He's got a 75-point line and a 35-point line. So we... You'll have to be the judge of if his top dial is worth the 40 extra points. Uh, he's got Fantastic Four, Spider-Man Family, and Celebrity keywords. He's got two traits and a special defense power on two clicks. So that'd be the last click of his 75-point line, and then his last actual click. So click three, and then also click seven. But uh, yeah, so top dial, he starts with Charge, Super Strength, uh, obviously, Super Senses, and then he's got the spider-man super senses and then he's got good old shape change so double rollout and one of them's a 50 50 which is wild and then if he gets hit to click three so yeah it keeps that 11 attack charge everything's the same but if he gets hit to click three that is stop super senses when bombastic bagman uses it and fails after resolutions you may deal damage to the attacker equal to the result so to fail for him specifically unless they have precision strike it would be a one two or three dang if they have precision strike it could also be a four so it's not as much damage as the old bombastic bagman could deal but it's still something it's still like better than most mystics uh, if Bombastic Bagman has four more rally dice, the damage dealt is penetrating. So, yeah, it is just deal damage. And then, yeah, if he's got four more, you don't have to remove them, but damage becomes pen uh, pen damage. Yeah. Um, so his first trait... Oh, I should get into his bottom dial, I guess. If you play him, play him at 35 points, you still get a stop click because there's another stop click with that same whole thing on click seven but if you pay 35 points you start with charge super strength he's an eight speed 10 attack three damage with perplex instead of shape change still has super senses still has the spider-man and fantastic four team abilities so probably decent just kind of depends what else you pull and sealed or if you just really want to stop clicks um goes to leap climb for the rest of his dial keeps super senses his whole dial and keeps perplex for the last four clicks so Goes down to a two damage. He's not doing a whole lot those last three clicks, but maybe you'll get a good super sense out of that whole thing. I don't know. Uh, first trait is my kind of allies. When establishing theme teams, characters on your starting force with the Fantastic Four keyword, gain the Spider-Man family Incredible. keyword. 
the Spider-Man family just keeps growing. Yep. We were going for generics this and generics that and, you know, soldier and past and what ruler. Now the fantastic whole four who still have shifting or swap. swap they yeah. still have swap available. Yeah. They can also join the Spider-Man so family. So much fun. Uh, and then he's got a Rally Fours. This is for all attack rolls. Free, remove one of Bombastic Bagman's Rally Dice. If you do, until your next turn, Bombastic Bagman has. When a friendly character within range is KO'd after resolutions, heal all friendly characters one click. So he gives everyone okay. Fantastic yeah. Four. It's a little hard to play around mm-hmm. because maybe your opponent just decides not to kill a friendly character. Right. But I think I said this in a previous podcast. You can just straight up free remove this and then move like somebody away from a uh lantern construct and the lantern construct oh, will true, die yeah. and then everybody heals one so yeah that that is one way that you mm. can use this guy uh 35 points i think is worth that first trait for sure and then if you just want a good uh spider-man to play yeah that top 75 is pretty Decent solid attacker. i think yeah a little more survivability all right right on Next up, we got Scorpion, or Kron Stone here. Kron. 50, 50 or 30 points, Sinister Syndicate team ability, three range, one target, Sinister Syndicate keyword, animal, and future. Red Rally, six. Giant Reach, three and poison, so period, so that's cool. Keep that in mind. When Scorpion hits, you may remove one of his rally dice to have a hit character gain immobile until your next turn. Pretty huge. And then he's got a special speed power, uh, despite what Caden is trying to tell us here. On his first four clicks, he gets charge and leap climb. So keep that in mind. He's got a four speed charge because he's got eight speed on all those clicks. He's also got giant reach three. So that's seven square reach. Can give someone a mobile, which is also huge for poison. Keeping him next to you for poison is pretty cool. He also, on his first four clicks, he has blades, claws, fangs, and toughness. And then the difference between his 50 and 30 point line is he gets two clicks extra on his 50 point lines. Like I said, those first four clicks are all similar except for on 50. He has exploits on those first two clicks. He also gets a plus one to attack and defense. So it's pretty huge. So an 11 for three exploit versus a 10 for three normal blades. But I could see you play, you know, if you want to save 20 points and just play him at 30, he does the same thing. Just no exploit. You just want to play him more for a poison tie up piece. That's solid too. And then on his last two clicks, he gets force blast, steel energy, combat reflexes, and empower. If he's ever lucky enough to see those last two clicks, it gives him a little bit of a survivability in there. Helps out, you know, your friendly characters making close attacks. I really like this Scorpion. It's the 2099 version of Scorpion. You can kind of tell by the sculpt, and of course, it's real name, Cron Stone, not the Matt Gargan that we're used to. Right. But I really like him. The sculpt is freaking incredible. I, I think he's really cool looking. So for that alone, I am keeping one of these uh, Scorpions. If not, he's very cheap Sinister Syndicate to go ahead and put on a Sinister Syndicate team. And yeah. he's more more poison in this set with all these no reducer super senses. So I, he gets my vote of confidence there. I kind of wish he had plasticity instead of uh, Force Blast on his last two clicks. Like, yeah, I agree. There's all the, like, I mean, he can already do knockback if uh, Shocker is like on the team or True. whatever. But it's like, I have combat reflexes. I have empower. I have steel energy. I all these stay, powers that work off close. of close yeah. poison. Well, he still has giant reach three. That's so true. Even if he I does, could knock him back. Knock and back. Then, yeah, but yeah. yeah, you see what you mean. Combat reflex isn't as useful at that point anymore. But yeah, yeah, solid little dude. Next up is Daredevil. Except this is the Electra Nachos one. So she has the team ability uh, Masters of Evil and Spider Man. And then, of course, four range, one lightning bolt, 60 points. And because she has Spider-Man team ability, it's just, you know, it's a 50-50 if she has super senses. And she does. Top dial. Three clicks of super senses, three clicks of blades, three clicks of her special speed power. That is, let's save the world, Matt. Charge, leap climb, stealth. When Daredevil hits with a close attack, modify a hit character's defense minus one this turn. Okay, um, nice. Yeah. She's got the Marvel Knight's hand, uh, the hand. Assassin, martial artist, and warrior keywords. Uh, and then her bottom dial is flurry. All three, all the last three clicks. Uh, Eleven attack, eighteen defense with combat reflexes, and three damage with empower. So honestly, obviously the best rollout is up top. But right. that twenty defense from close bottom dial with yeah. flurry also very good. Um, she has a trait that is the weak shall fall. Friendly characters with the hand keyword can use exploit weakness, which means she has exploit weakness her whole dial. 
good to combo with flurry yeah. or blades. Like yeah, she's kind of a threat at she all times. Is. Wow. Yeah. For sixty points, fifty fifty rollout, also Masters of Evil. Just she's got a lot going on for sixty points. She's a very solid Daredevil. Um yeah. obviously this is the, like very electro version because Matt wouldn't usually use blades but exploit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess the hand version of him would, but Probably. yeah. I I dig her. All right. We get zero thirty seven A Kingpin. Sinister get team ability, no range. Uh, 45 points. Power Elite. I love seeing the Power Elite keyword come back. That's awesome. Sinister mm-hmm. Syndicate keyword, the hand, politician, and ruler keywords. He has two traits. My sparring partners don't always live long. Free, turn Kingpin's dial to the same click number of a different color. So he has, uh, what does he got? Five clicks on two different parts of his dial that you can switch between. So we'll get into that in a little bit. Second trait is financier or financer or financier or whatever the heck you want to call it. The kingpin and friendly characters in six squares are considered adjacent to each other for the purposes of the Sinister Syndicate team ability. So he does what the old Fast Forces, Superior Foes of Spider-Man kingpin used to do, oh, yeah. which is make them all adjacent within six squares, which is really cool. Maybe you could also give them a buff to attack because you only got yeah. an 11 attack, Wilson. Wilson, you only have an 11 attack, Wilson. Uh, but it's still still really cool, and I'm glad I had that back in a modern age. And this guy is, I think, a little beefier than that one. I don't know. I haven't looked at him in a while. So on his first five clicks of life that you're going to be starting at, he has six clicks or five clicks of stealth, mastermind, and then a special damage power, and then he has no attack power. What's his damage power do? Leadership outwit. When Kingpin uses leadership and succeeds, you may instead generate a 003 police officer and click one because he kind of owns the police force mm. uh, in New York, which is kind of cool. Well, it's not cool, but it's cool that he can generate a police yeah. officer on click one. Cool game mechanic. Uh, cool game mechanic, yeah. And then on his second half of his dial, you can free swap to. This is more of his um, punching you now versus being a kingpin of crime. This is now I'm going to sumo wrestle you and punch you and whatever. And it's all charge. No attack power still. And then he's got 17 defense topped out with invulnerability for two clicks. And then he goes on to some 18 toughness on his last three. And then he's got close combat expert the entire time. Except, ironically, he doesn't start off with great values. He's only a 10 for two, so an 11 for three with close combat expert. He yeah. does get down to a 11 for two or an 11 for three, which will be a 12 for four on his very last click. So there's kind of certain times where you're going to want to swap to attack or swap to not attack. But kind of comes down to... Uh, you want to use the outwit? Okay, they outwitted a little bit. Now I'll swap to Kingpin. He's going to do some punching, and now I'm a little safer. Or maybe, oh, I got a police officer, so I'm okay with staying on Mastermind. I can't really get into the thick of it anyways. So, yeah, just kind of got to play around with this Kingpin. He's 45 points. Makes him very easy to put on a Sinister Skin at theme team, especially with his whole share it uh, within six squares. Yeah. But he's nothing crazy. Except his prime counterpart is something crazy. So why don't you? I, I love that you're talking about him too, Simeon. It's hilarious. I, I had to play against both, like both Did versions both? of the kingpin. Oh, oh, nice. Um, so yeah, who's, the, who's worse to play against? Who's harder? Mm, which one do you think is better? I mean, it's really tough to try to figure out which kingpin it, it, is well, better. This one's 45 points, so you could technically play two of this. Oh, that one. is true. We'll For see. Ten if, clicks of life. If two of this one could beat the 90 point prime. Um, nope. I do like that the certainly could non-prime. Uh, his dials like flip, so the eleven like flips, and then the uh, seventeen like flips. So like, oh yeah, if you right. get damaged a little bit, you can kind of like mess with which dial you're at for yeah. whichever reason. But yeah, I already talked about the prime. I don't want to get like super in depth with my analysis of him, but he he has the sinister syndicate team ability. Uh, he does have a different keyword than the non-prime, so he gets the Hydra keyword, Power Elite, Sinister Syndicate, and Brute. Ooh, Hydra and a Brute. Yeah, he's definitely a Brute. Yeah. Uh, he is 10 clicks long for 90 points, one of the most economical point-for-point point piece that we've seen. So his dial must not be very good, you say. Well, you're you're dumb if you think that, because he is Charge Flurry, his whole dial. Sure, his speed goes down a little bit, but... Um, doesn't really matter. He has a special defense power that is on three clicks, the end of each point value. So at the end of 90 point line, the end of the 65 point line, and then his final 10th click, it is stop impervious. The kingpin can reduce penetrating damage regeneration when the kingpin uses it and has no action tokens don't have the result. (laughs) I will tell you the prime I played against never even hit this. So, yep. Uh, he stayed on the 19 Invincible the whole game. Uh, he has super strength his whole dial, 
with 12 attack top dial. Hey, there's our first 12. Yep, we there's that, in a syndicate that super 90 point 12 attack. So for 15 points more than like Rhino and other people, he has a 12 attack. Much better values. His damage is the one thing that's not like crazy high, but yeah. an 11 attack from click 3 all the way to click 6, and then also an 11 attack on his 10th click. Otherwise, he has three clicks of 10 attack in the middle. Uh, outwit the whole dial except for his last three clicks where he gets exploit because you know he needed that with his charge flurry. Just, you know, this guy's so hard to take down and sealed. It's, I wouldn't say impossible, but like you're better off going after the rest of the team and just hoping that he's slow enough or you can tie him up with like a few things because he will just keep wrecking you. And then uh, it's hard to tie him up though because he has a trait that is, this is my city. When the kingpin hits a single opposing character, you may roll a d6. If you do, instead of dealing damage, knock back the hit character in a direction of your choice, a number of squares equal to the result. So... Kind of like slingshot, you know. I mean, you're not dealing damage, but like you maybe you knock him off something or knock him into yeah. something, or just the map edge. If you knock that character back into a square along the edge of the map, gain mission points equal to the number of squares they were knocked back. So potentially, it'd be hard, but potentially six square or six squares. Yeah, you could do yeah. the like I said this in the podcast, but he is a better mission point piece than the uh, Ultron from Disney+. Plus. Oh, absolutely. Because, yeah. yeah, he can potentially he get six seconds. mission points a turn with Charge Flurry. Um, if you do... Actually, yeah. You could actually get potentially 16. If you did... If you rolled, like, well enough, you could potentially get 16 because he has Flurry. Um, but, yeah. Oh, yeah. If they were knocked back into their starting area, you gain one additional. So actually, let's boost that to 14. Um, you do get to choose the direction of the knockback, which makes it easy. Obviously, rolling a six isn't something to bank on. But, I mean, you knock them back to like closer to their starting area. Let's say like you only roll a three. Right. And then next turn, you charge, flurry again, knock them back again. Why Ooh, not? Cool. Like, why not? Yeah, he's... Yeah. He's nuts. He is what he is. That's Kingpin I, on vacation, ladies and yeah. gentlemen. That's Hawaiian shirt Kingpin. Real name, Wilson the Terminator Fisk. Yeah, dude's insane. Yeah. All right, uh, Craven the Hunter, another one of my favorite Spider-Man villains. Sinister Syndicate team ability. Range is three. 50 points. Take it or leave it. Sinister Syndicate keyword, animal martial artist warrior. I don't know if Craven would like having the animal keyword. I don't know if he agrees with that. But He wears a lot of animals. He does wear a lot yeah. of animals, so maybe you're just going give to <laughs> give it to him. Uh, so he has a Red Rally 6 free. Remove one of Craven the Hunter's Rally Dice to give a prey token to an opposing character. Calder, what do prey tokens do? Well, thankfully, we have a second trait. The Grand Hunt. When Craven the Hunter makes an attack targeting one or more characters with prey tokens, modify his attack and damage plus one and hit characters gain a mobile until your next turn. So that's huge. He's already an 11 for 3 top dial, so that makes him a 12 for 4, which is really gnarly. And then his speed power, he has his entire dial, which is awesome, is charge, stealth, flurry, but only the target characters with one or more action tokens. That's fine by me. Uh, if they have an action token, you get a flurry. If they don't, no flurry. I think you can probably be able to pick and choose targets most of the time to make that pop off the best. So he's got stealth. What pairs well with stealth? That's right, combat reflexes, which he also has an entire dial of. He also has four clicks of Outwit top dial, and then after he loses blades, he gets three clicks of Precision Strike. Once he loses Outwit, he gets two clicks of Close Combat Expert. I really, really like this Craven. He's yeah. on the hunt. He is being a good hunter. He's staying camouflage. He's staying in the bushes and the shadows. And then when it's time to strike, you know, aka they have an action token, getting the prey. Boom, charge, boom, flurry, blades, maybe outwit them, you know, deal some yeah. crazy damage here with Craven. I like that you don't uh, have to remove like the um the rally dice until like it's a free action. Yeah. So it's not something that like uh you have to give them a token and then it's like, okay, well I have to attack them for my plus like it's like no, I just you're my prey this turn and now I'm gonna charge yep. flurry you potentially with yeah, twelve for yeah. four or I mean yeah, whatever. They, I mean, it helps his bottom this dial too. Really feel like a craven on the hunt, on the prowl, stalking his prey, strikes yeah. when the time is right. And I really like that. This craven is awesome. He feels great for 50 points. 
I think he is a super welcome addition. Also, improve him and elevate it, because why not? Yeah. Uh, super welcome addition to the Sinister Syndicate. I like him a lot. I think he's really cool. Yeah, I do too. I'll have to get one for sure. Next up, the Lizard. This is Dr. Kurt Connors, Sinister Syndicate team ability, zero range, one lightning bolt, 90 points, and 50 points. Sorry, I was just remembering Ian being up in my face talking about slapping me with a like lizard tail, <laughs> tail or whatever kept doing that. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um so lizard here has a 90 point or 50 point line uh this is the first one that goes all the way up to 90 that's not a prime <laughs> yeah yeah most of them have that like 75 50 split or 75 45 sinister syndicate animal monster and scientist keywords uh Second character in this set with dolphin symbol, so he pairs oh, yeah, well with Hydro is. Man. Yeah, didn't even think that the lizard might have that, but that makes sense. Yep. Um, he's in the sewer. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's swimming. So he has two traits. I'll get through those before I get to the dial because his dial's fairly simple. First one is a Rally Six opposing attack rolls. Uh, he's got regeneration period, and then he gets free. Remove one of the lizard's rally dice to use regeneration as free. So can roll regeneration yeah. and then remove a rally die to regen again. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's pretty solid. He does have a nine click long dial, so plenty of stuff to regen to uh, plenty of good clicks that he can get to. Obviously, I think that's the benefit of playing him at 90. Probably why it's a more inflated top dial yeah. for those three clicks than 50. But um, yeah, if you play him at 50, he still probably survives long enough to do that once, maybe twice. Uh, then his second trait is Time Ship Free. Make an attack targeting a character that has targeted the lizard since your last turn. Yeah, just yeah. free attack. It's really good. Um, one way you won't be able to use that is if he hits Shape Change, then he does like, he can't be targeted. Sure. But you do target with Prob, Perplex, Outwit. There's a lot of things that you target with that aren't attacks. So, yeah. I, I like it. I like both of these traits. I think he's a very decent character to run on your Sinister Syndicate. Top dial, he has three clicks of hypersonic. He's just motorboating through the sewers, ah. just yeah, dude, blazing a fast. trail. Um, full dial of blades, he has 11 attacks. Top dial for those first three clicks. Uh, six clicks of toughness is top three clicks are 18 and then three clicks of shape change top dial with three damage his 50 point line also his fourth click starts him with charge blades uh charge the whole dial after that and then he's got three clicks of toughness that goes to three clicks of combat reflexes with 17 defenses and then 16 on the last two clicks he has battle fury for the first three clicks of his 50 point line that's clicks uh four through seven no, four through six. And then uh, clicks seven through nine is combat, close combat expert. So he'll be an 11 for three and an 11 for three and then a 10 for three on those last couple clicks. But obviously the goal is to keep him top dial with that shape change. Uh, the goal is to make free attacks and just keep healing, getting rally yeah. dice. I like him. I don't no, know I if he's, he's worth really 90. Good. And sealed, I think he's probably worth 90. I would definitely say so in sealed. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I think you definitely get a rally die on him as soon as possible, and then I think he just needs the one because yeah, once he gets a one, that you can six. yeah, you can regen at any point. But yeah, yeah. Next up, we got Electro. Since you get team ability, five range, two targets, seventy-five or fifty points. Frightful four or Sinister Syndicate keywords. His red rally six is once per turn when Electro hits with a range attack. After resolutions, you may remove one of his rally dice to make a range attack as if he occupied the square of a hit character. This is pretty cool. I can mm. dig that. And then he's got a very simple damage power, which is enhancement and probability control. What's his dial looking like? So his first two clicks, that's a 75-point line, and then after that, his 50-point line starts for his last five clicks. So seven clicks in total. Uh, first three clicks, though, so his last one will be the start of the 50. Running shot, pulse wave, ESD, and then that special damage power. So prop, this is really good in sealed. Running shot, pulse wave, prop is great. And then his next two clicks uh, after those first three is sidestep, pensai, RCE with super senses. Last two, really interesting, last yeah. two clicks for an electro. Charge, pull, uh, yeah, charge, poison, toughness, and then exploit weakness. So it's a pretty cool electro. He gives off the vibe of the old one that used to like target through objects. And instead, it uses rally to then target as if he occupied the square of a hit character, which is really cool. 
and he's pretty simple. I think also his sculpt's really cool. He's doing yeah. a big zigzag electro thing between his hands, a little lightning effect, which looks nice. So it's a pretty solid electro. We haven't had Max Electro since geez. Amazing Spider Man? Was he in Superior Foes? Uh, he wasn't Superior Foes. Yeah. So we haven't had this one in nine years because Electro in Earth X was the female Electro, and we didn't oh, yeah. get an Electro in the last Spider Man set. So it is a welcome return to normal Electro, which is pretty cool. Everyone thinks I'm a loser, Peter. <laughs> no one thinks you're a loser. My name's Andrew Garfield. Perfect impression. Uh, <laughs> that was really good. 041. Doctor Strange, another character with cool effects. He's, I mean, it's just the little hand oh, things, yeah. but colors are cool. You can kind of see a little symbol in it. Uh, so Doctor Strange, is he's got the Mystics team ability. He's got six range, two lightning bolts, one point line. That is 75 points. Um, he's got the Avengers, Defenders, Marvel Knights, Midnight Suns, and Mystical Keywords. Four clicks of phasing with four clicks of energy explosion to accompany that. Four clicks of a special defense power. And then four clicks of prob control. So he's mostly 11 attacks, mostly 3 damage. His fourth click is 10 attack, 2 damage. And then he's got 18 defense for the first three and goes down to 17 for click 4. That special defense power is defend. I know, Doctor Strange with the defend. What? Uh, if Doctor Strange can use energy... Oh, if Doctor Strange can use energy shield deflection, adjacent friendly characters can use energy shield deflection. That can't be. If he can use energy shield deflection, yeah, because he gets taken. Oh, away because, because of the, the trait. trait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Jeez, I was like, mm, I should have read the trait first. So yeah, yeah if he it. if he can still use energy shield deflection, then uh, he gives the catcher's mitt to himself and adjacent friendly characters can use it yeah uh so his trait that i should have read first is the shield of seraphim energy shield deflection invincible which is always welcome on mystic characters characters with mystical or mystics team ability is awesome when they can reduce damage uh when dr strange takes damage from an opponent's attack give him a broken spell token if he has three or more broken spell tokens he can't use esd or invincible so Gets That's tapped cool. three times. Neat. Yeah. Yeah. To be fair, uh, if you get hit three times, he's probably about out of the game yeah, anyhow. He's probably going to be gone here but, soon. But yeah, that defend. So bringing everyone up to an 18 and giving out ESD. I know range isn't as big as it used to be, especially in this set. It felt like, felt like a lot more close combat stuff. But right. everyone on your team having a 20 that's around him. And sealed, that's Good. pretty crazy for just one character. You don't have to pull anything special or anything like that. Bottom dial, his last four clicks, he has force blast, no attack power, uh, super senses, and outwit. So still a good utility. He's not dealing a whole lot of damage. Really, he's not dealing damage most of the time. He's more so, I, I guess, yeah, he does have flight. So he's more so like taxi, defend, yeah. that kind of thing, which he is a expensive version of that. But in sealed, I think he's worth it. He's got the prob. He's giving everybody an 18 with ESD for yeah. at least a little while. And then your opponent's probably taking, I want to say, at least... At least three Mystics damage. Yeah, at least three Mystics three damage. Maybe four. Yeah, unless they've got... Unless they're packing an outwit, you know, maybe. True, yeah. But, uh, yeah. All right. Good take. The Punisher. This is the first Punisher we've gotten since Punisher War Machine uh, mm-hmm. in 2020. Or, I guess, the LE last year. We had the... True. Uh, rated the avengers like trophy room punisher which is kind of cool but either way this is a new version of frank castle always happy to see it he has the masters of evil and team player team abilities he's got six range one target so he can copy spider-man sinister syndicate all sorts of cool stuff police whatever you have so that's cool he is marvel knights the hand assassin martial artist and soldier keywords this dude's a big beefy seven clicks of life Toughness on his first four, sidestep on his first four. He goes into charge, blades, regen, and outwit on his last three. He also gets blades on his uh, fourth click, which is interesting. And then for his first three clicks, he has a special attack power. And on his first four clicks, he has a special damage power. So his attack power is blades, claws, fangs, and penetrating psychic blast. And then his damage power is in power and ranged combat expert. So he kind of works at either or. He's Mm -hmm. a 12 for four 
Uh, pen Trace Second Blast, which is really solid yeah. with six range, eight square reach. Not bad at all. I really dig it. It's pretty dang good, actually. So that's a very solid I'm shooting you type Punisher ability. Or he could be I'm stabbing you, and I'm helping that guy stab you too with Blades and Empower. So he works with both, and you're like, oh, why does he necessarily need Blades and Power? Well, he's got the hand keyword. This is uh, his, actually his Punisher logo has like, weird horns and stuff on it too to look like uh, very hand-ish this is like hand punisher yeah. which is really cool so he does work well with those generics which is why his trait kind of comes into handy which gives him leadership mastermind and stealth so top dial he's got one two three four five six seven eight nine powers top dial yeah wild <laughs> uh so yeah leadership mastermind stealth when Punisher uses leadership and succeeds, you may instead generate a 005 hand ninja on click one or a 021 hand ninja on click one. And if a six was rolled, you may instead generate both. So it's just like Electra. You can instead make both. So he's another hand ninja generator, which is really cool. So yeah, yeah I like this Punisher. He is not your normal Punisher. He's the hand Punisher, but he's still really good. And he still feels and plays like a Punisher should, I think. So I like it. And making that common hand ninja when he's got traded or yeah he's got traded stealth and then the hand ninja has stealth yeah he can two use smoke his clouds. two smoke yeah. clouds to help him and punisher. so not only are they both mostly protected from range but he's also got mastermind so yeah i think he's a uh, obviously in sealed it depends if you pick up a hand ninja along the way as well but even without that he's dealing a lot of damage on his own yeah uh next up is our last generic or I mean, it is if you generic. consider it, it or not, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is the symbiote, so symbiote. If you're, what, the Venom movie, symbiote. Uh, they do say symbiote, yeah. He has a trait that is finding a new host. When symbiote is KO'd after resolutions, you may equip a special object, S006, symbiote black equipment from your sideline onto a friendly character within four squares of the square it last occupied. If there is no friendly character within four squares, you may instead generate that equipment from your sideline in the square the symbiote last occupied. That's really cool. Yeah. So you drop, like he doesn't start with it, but, or he could, I guess, mm -hmm. but uh, he doesn't necessarily, I guess if he did have it and he was KO'd, you'd make two. You'd drop the one that he had equipped and then you'd also generate one, or not generate, but you'd uh, pull one off your sideline. But yeah, he can, uh, essentially possess like a character after yeah, he dies it's really so it's, it's really pretty cool. cool uh he has a special speed power his first three clicks and then a special defense power his whole dial he's five clicks long for 30 points he has a single click of blades and then the rest of his dial is steel energy a full dial of uh, shape change last two clicks he gets leap climb instead of instead of his speed power speed power for the first three clicks is charge leap climb plasticity stealth it's a big old speed power for a 30 point guy. Yeah. And then his a little insane. Defense uh power is super senses toughness when symbiote is dealt damage from energy explosion or quake also give it an action token. So he doesn't like the uh sonic Sound vibration. Or fire. Yeah. yeah. So that kind of makes sense. It's a little weakness thing, but I mean I'm glad they gave him something to kind of like tone him down to kind of, you know, knock him down a peg because he's still insane for 30 points. super senses shape, shape change, change plasticity leap plasticity climb. Like he uh, is the ultimate tie up guy and he tied me the heck up uh, yeah during our sealed games on sunday so yeah i really hate this guy honestly i wish he didn't have toughness because then i could have poisoned him it would have been so easy yeah he kept saying man tied up the entire game this is bs i hate it <laughs> uh yeah symbiote's crazy good for 30 points all these rollouts five clicks of life for 30 points mm -hmm. and he's got at least blades top dial to yeah. do some damage and he can heal he can heal up to All it way yeah. Back. yeah uh i mean he is only dealing two damage on his last two clicks nah. but other than Whatever. that you know he's got potential to deal damage his whole dial yeah, yeah he is insane Next up, the Prime is Spider-Man. He's got Spider-Man team ability, of course. He's four range, two targets. He's 80 points or 50 points. Avengers, Spider-Man family symbiote, reporter, and scientist keywords. He has the wall crawler trait. He also has, second trait is subconscious crime fighting. Free, if Spider-Man has two action tokens, give him a costed action as a free action. If you did, after resolution, steal him one unavoidable damage. Pretty cool. It's kind of like uh, Colossal Stamina. Kind of not really, but sort of. Yeah. It works. He's got a special speed power 
sprinkled throughout his dial is the best way to say it, I'd say. Uh, amid the chaos, there comes a costume, so straight from the uh, Secret Wars storyline. Charge flurry and sidestep, so he does start with this on his top dial, which is really nice. And then he has a special defense power on his first four clicks, so it'll be on his first click of his 50-point line, which is Super Senses Impervious Protected Outwits. That's 50-50 Senses plus Impervious. Both are Protected Outwit on this power. Really good. So, top dial, what is he looking like? Like I said, he's got Charge Flurry Sidestep, that speed power. He's got Super Strength, his first four clicks. He's got that defense, his first four clicks. And he has Perplex with a four damage. Man, he is really stout. Top dial, he can be a 12 for four, flurry, charge, whatever, sidestep. So he's got great reach. Uh, so if you consider that's a seven square reach, it's actually an 11 square reach if you consider the wall crawler trait. Yeah. Or it's a seven square go out there and then a little four squares pop back with the wall crawler trait depending on positioning of the map and whatnot. So that's really good. I mean, depending on action tokens, you could also move action 10 squares if that's your oh, second yeah. action token. Get two actions. And, and then, then free charge again flurry yeah yeah holy crap yeah this dude is awesome yeah uh, and then he gets close combat expert his next two clicks and then on his 50 point line he gets back to perplex but he doesn't get his cool speed power on that one in his second two clicks he will get his speed power his last four clicks of life he has uh battle fury again man spider-man are getting angry he has normal super senses and then he has steel energy he is a 12 for four on his last two clicks this one at least really makes sense for yeah, being angry because he's because it's black symbiote. suit yeah. yeah it's getting angry it's kind of yeah. mean evil peter parker so yeah really really strong spider-man it feels like him with the symbiote it makes him feel like you know because the whole thing is that oh i'm so much faster stronger better now i can stop so much crime it's crazy and yeah that's kind of how he is he's just moving and attacking like nuts man it's really really yeah. sick i love the fact that you can potentially get four attacks off with this guy in one turn yeah you give him the second action token to like flurry yeah and then you do the free charge flurry, yeah, flurry free again, charge flurry again. and then unavoid like you take unavoidable, but that might be worth it for top dial four damage. Perplex yourself to a twelve attack. Yeah, I think that's worth it. Impervious super senses protected out wit. It is gnarly. Yeah. All right. All right. The last rare we got is Daredevil. I actually I pulled this guy. He's got triple target, six range, and if you give him the old Billy clubs for five, uh, well, he gets them for free. Right. But um, he gets four targets for whatever reason and leap climb. I think they worked for like the uh, the two Daredevils. They didn't give him any kind of leap climb or like improved movement. Right. For like well because of the Billy clubs. Yeah, because of that object. So. Um, He's got the Spider-Man team ability. He does not have traded super senses like the other Daredevil. He is 75 points, but I actually like this one for different reasons than the other one. The other one I I think is a very good 45-point line. This one's also good for 75 points. So just kind of depends on what niche you need to fill. But he's got Heroes for Hire, Marvel Knights, Spider-Man Family, The Hand, and Martial Artist. He has improved movement characters, which is very important because he has a very good trait. Yeah. Um Top dial for his first four clicks. I guess, yeah, his first four clicks, he has charge with incapacitate. And first four clicks are super senses. So that'll be a 50-50 super senses. And then the first four clicks of his damage power is uh, three damage with outwit. But he may target a character regardless of line of fire. So anyone within six squares is uh, up for grabs if he wants to outwit them. Uh, he has a 12 attack on his first click and then a 12 attack on his last click. His Last four clicks are all sidestep with precision strike, 18 defense with combat reflexes, and three damage with empower. And then he has a single trait that is a good night's work that's stealth. And then once per turn, when Daredevil hits with a close attack, after resolutions, he may immediately move up to four squares and make a close attack targeting a different opposing character. So if he has the Billy Clubs, you can charge quadruple target with in cap and then potentially move another four squares ignoring characters and target some more people. So as long as they weren't original targets. But yeah, I really like him. I think, you know, bottom dial, I honestly like the precision strike with three damage. If I'm triple targeting, I'm getting through reducers because they can't reduce it below one. Um, I can just assign one damage to each hit person and they're unless they roll out, they're taking the one damage. Yeah. I, Honestly, I really like this guy. I pulled one, and I'll probably keep him because, I mean, he is just a rare. So it's not like I'm like, oh, I'll keep this. I'll keep this rare, I guess. Yeah. But uh, I do really like him, and I think I'll try and find a niche for him. 
great. I, yeah. I honestly think he is like the go-to Daredevil. Like we, um, we'll talk about it later, but like the fanboy Spider-Man dial. I think this isn't necessarily a fanboy Daredevil dial, but I think this is a very accurate and just solid representation of Daredevil as a character. Where if we didn't get any more Daredevils, which would be a shame, but I'd be very happy with this one just being the go-to Daredevil. Honestly, I think it's a great dial. I think it captures normal Matt Murdock as Daredevil, and I like it a lot. Yeah. And, I mean, he's not the, like, running shot that the other one is, but six range, triple target, or quadruple target. Yeah. Um, wild. Yeah, if he's got line of fire, then in-capping four people at range is also <laughs> yeah. just gnarly. All right, getting into these super rares, starting off with the old Hobgoblin, Sinister Syndicate team ability, five range, two targets, 50 points for six clicks of life, Magia, Sinister Syndicate, and Celebrity Keywords. He has, for his first four clicks, it's Running Shot, Energy Explosion, Toughness, and a Special Damage Power, which gives him Leadership and Ranged Combat Expert. He can fly also, so there's our like third or fourth flyer, yeah. I think, in this set. It's very sparse. Uh, but Leadership RCE, so he'll be a 12 for 3 top dial. Nothing crazy. He only has two damage on his, on his entire dial, actually. His last two clicks, he gets Sidestep, Poison, ESD, and Outwit. Red Rally 6 is Shape Change, so he's got traded Shape Change the entire time. When he uses it, before rolling the die, you may remove any number of Hobgoblin's Rally Dice to increase the result by plus one. For each Rally Die removed, uh, yeah, plus one for each his Rally Die removed, still fails on a one no matter what. If you do and he succeeds, after resolutions, turn his dial to click one. Oh, wow, that's cool. Yep. So, yeah, protected outwit, uh, I guess his shape changes, because the rest of the trait is right. also protected outwit. It doesn't matter. It's a trait. Um so yeah, I, this is actually I did have this used against this me. This is actually really um, sick. Yeah, you think he hadn't he's been out of the game. He hadn't been damaged, so oh, sure. it was just like using the uh, rally to increase just the shape change. But yeah, it he re ended up rolling a six anyhow, so <laughs> none of it really mattered. But like, I yeah. was like, oh wow, like because I hadn't really read his card before. Yeah, and, yeah. He heal all the way back up from the old brink of death here. So actually, I really like this. This is really cool for Hop Goblin. I'll just go ahead and read the pumpkin bombs. Uh, so qualifying name: Green Goblin or Hop Goblin. Give it to both for free. Energy Explosion. This character can already use Energy Explosion. When they use it, they deal three damage instead of two. Oh, I love that. Yep. That is awesome. Holy smokes. Yeah, so it makes his Energy Explosion way better. So now he's a 12 for three damage, but it's dealing three damage to everybody in that Energy Explosion cluster, which is huge. Yeah, so I like this guy a lot. He's got Shape Change normally. I think you definitely feed him your red rallies, uh, your six rallies on a Sinister Syndicate theme team. He's just like, could be a potential unkillable 50 points. I think he's balanced a little bit by being 50 points and only six clicks of life. So, you know, he could take some damage. Maybe you weren't able to gain enough rally yet. Uh, but man, that is wild. Yeah. If, but if he uses it and succeeds, you go him all the way back to click one. So, I mean, you give him enough man. and your opponent just man, realizes it's like, outwits. So it's if, only Battle Fury. if I attack him, He's going to roll shape change. He's going to heal all the way back to full. And he's going to heal all the way back to full. So that's wild. And he's not like something you can really one shot. No, six clicks is tough to one shot, yeah. man. Ugh. It's not easy wow. anymore. That's really good. Yeah. Simple and effective, this guy. That's crazy. Next up, we've got Dr. Octopus, old Otto Octavius. He's got the Masters of Evil and Sinister St Syndicate team abilities. Um, zero range. One lightning bolt. He has a hundred point and fifty point dial. Uh, he is ten whole clicks long. Yeah, so geez. he is, I think, the second or ties for first longest Sinister yeah. Syndicate dial. Uh, but yeah, Masters of Evil, Sinister Syndicate, Thunderbolts, and Scientist keywords. Full dial of Mastermind. Almost a full dial of Sidestep. He doesn't get it on his last two clicks. Uh, full dial of Leadership in one form or another, and then. What is that? Uh, five clicks of precision strike. Yeah. And then he loses it after click five and doesn't have an attack power the rest of his dial. But uh, he has improved movement for elevated terrain. He has three traits and a special damage power. So special damage power on first four clicks and then last two clicks. Um, so I'll do the special damage powers in power, leadership, and perplex. So he's filling quite a few roles. Obviously, this is normal auto just leading the sinister syndicate kind of auto but yeah his first trait 
is the Rally 6. Opposing attack rolls. Free, remove one of Dr. Octopus's Rally Dice to choose one. Generate an Ock Arm Bystander, max 4, or choose an Ock Arm Bystander, and it makes an attack. Um, also, he has a trait that is the Arms of Octopus. Uh, the beginning of the game, you generate four Ock Arm Bystanders, max 4. You have Passenger 4, but only to carry the Ock Arm Bystanders. And Power, generate an Ock Arm Bystander. So you can make four at the beginning of the game, you can carry four whenever you move, and then you can power generate uh, one Yeah. if you lose one. And then obviously you can either remove a rally die to make one or remove a rally die to just get a free attack with one. And then his last trait is another Sinister Six. Again, friendly characters with Sinister Six. Sinister Syndicate team ability have the Masters of Evil team ability, which is Dang. wild. Yeah. yeah. I think the Ock Arms also have. I think they're supposed to. Masters of yeah, Evil? Yeah, I'm not seeing it on. I. Oh, I see Realms here. I think they do. Clicknecky say. Uh, no, oh, they, they don't. don't. Oh, okay. Shoot. Uh, so, yeah, they just have uh, zero speed, 11 attack with Quake. 17 with invulnerability, which is a pretty big reducer for a bystander, and then three printed damage. They have a trait that is giant reach of three. At the end of any action, if Ock Arm is not adjacent to the doc to Dr. Octopus, you KO it. So just like the, well, not just like, well, yeah, just like Medusa from ABI. Yeah, just like Medusa. Similar to the, con the lantern constructs, but obviously a lot less range. Um, but yeah, uh, this guy is kind of wild i i would love to play him at 100 points in constructed but i don't think i play him at 100 and sealed unless i just pull wild yeah dude um, it's it's such a cool yeah. dial man i love this dude's dial so much. masterminding to his awk arms yeah. masterminding to like other uh sensor syndicate people everybody the, on the team having the masters of evil except the by i mean other yeah. than bystanders but then yeah his empower being but boosting the awk arms to a four with that you know it gives them a, the, yeah. whatever target of minus one they Perplex get a an four. opponent down plus yeah. masters of evil plus my empower my awk arms are essentially a 12 attack against you yeah almost a 13 because i could perplex and masters of evil you down oh right yeah. twice so that's I mean, essentially the same as giving the Ock Arms a, tw or yeah. a 13. And then, yeah, four damage. So it is wild. They do have Giant Reach of three. Um, I really like this guy. I think in yeah. Constructed, he's going to be a ton of fun. I obviously haven't seen one yet. No. He's a super rare. I want to see so bad. Gosh. Dude, he's awesome. So this good. Is, I, again, I think this set is cranking out a lot of the most iconic version or hero clicks version of a character. I think, like, Daredevil's a win. This Dr. Octopus, like... He actually plays exactly how a normally dude with a Doctor Octopus. He has, has them, like flurry, right? But rather than the arms. rather than Doc Ock himself attacking, right? Just like in the comics, his arms his are arms attacking. are doing attacking, and yeah, yeah it's, like, it's oh, really man, cool. Why is Doc Ock's you know attack value so bad? Why? Because he doesn't throw a punch ever. It's the no. Ock arms are yeah. always you know doing stuff, so that's why his Ock arms get an eleven attack with Quake, and he only has a ten attack. And he's just a, the Brainiac guy who is who has the Ock arms attached to him, and they're doing more of the work and stuff, which just makes just makes sense. Yeah. So yeah, I love also it. the you know I mean I love it. The mastermind, you know, like blocking a punch with his Ock arm makes tons of sense. Too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no reducers himself, but again, like the Ock arms are really like yeah the actual thing. Just so thematic, so cool. Yeah. All right, less thematic, less cool. Iron Spider, Aaron <laughs> Davis, whatever. I don't even know if this one... This one isn't Aaron Davis, I don't think. This is uh, Peter. Yeah, it's Peter Parker. Avengers, Spider-Man Family, Stark Industries, Armor, Celebrity, Reporter, Scientist, Team Ability, Spider-Man, for range, two targets, 125 points or 65 points. Wall Crawler trait, you know what that does. First, five clicks of life. Activate, insta-kill, charge, flurry, power, make up to three attacks. It's pretty dang cool. Pretty cool. Doesn't combo with charge, just does in not, case. No, yeah. Does not combo with charge. It's a power action. Just like uh, the... Also doesn't combo with flurry. All uh, caps doom just, had like the just same three thing. attacks. Yeah. Yep. So it does not combo with charge. Does not combo with flurry. You just make three attacks. So it could be range or close, though, which is cool. And then his defense power on his first four clicks is it smells like a new car in here. Impervious super senses. When Iron Spider is missed by an attack after resolutions, you may place him into an adjacent square. It's kind of fun. 
So what's he look like? Top dial. I believe he's got shape change and precision strike. He's a 12 for 4, 10 speed, 18 defense, top dial. On his second starting line, unlike the other like Waldo Spider, like arm Spider-Man, the second starting line is quite different. Uh, instead of losing like, actually it's very similar in a way. Uh, instead of getting a 12, he's an 11. Instead of getting a 4, he's only a 3. But he's got super strength instead of precision strike. But he does still have his activate insta kill and his defense power, his defense and his speed power. And then he goes on to four clicks of super senses, four clicks of outwits. He still gets his speed power for one more click after it, and then he gets one click of precision strike, and then he gets some super strength, one of his last three clicks, and then he has sidestep on his side. Side of super strength or it's incapacitate. I'm pretty sure it's super strength though. No, I think it's incapacitate. It might. I mean, it looks yeah. like incapacitate on this. Computer's a little funny. Yeah. It's incapacitate. It's, yeah, yeah, it is incap. incap. Sorry, guys. It's incap. Uh, and then sidestep on his last deep click. So I think it's a very solid version. I don't think it beats out the ABPI uh, three on oh, yeah. Spider Man. But I think this is a very, very solid version of that Spider-Man. Yeah, I agree. Honestly, I in sealed, he's pretty killer too. Oh yeah. Just uh, I mean, the charge flurries with uh, double rollouts and good reducers. It's, good. it's wild. Uh, the Prime version. This is yeah, the Aaron Davis one. Five range, one lightning bolt. So he loses a lightning bolt, mm. but gains one range. He's got a 75-point and a 30-point line. He's got Magia, Sinister Syndicate, Armor, and Spy keywords. A special speed power his whole dial. A special damage power his whole dial. And then his dial is split the 75-point line for the first three clicks. He has Precision Strike. And then if you start him at 30 points, he has Poison. Uh, top dial, he has Invincible for the first two clicks. Goes on to Invulnerability. Starts with Invulnerability at the 30-point line. And then goes to combat reflexes for the last two clicks. That special damage power is leadership outwit shape change. When Iron Spider uses leadership and succeeds until your next turn, he has opposing characters within range can't use the effect of equipment. So that's hmm. five range. That's pretty cool. Okay. Um, it's not something that like I I need for my team to work, but it is like a little like ah like yeah you don't get to use that because I made leadership. Um. And then his special speed power he has this whole dial is uh, Charge Flurry, Plasticity, and Stealth. Which, man, Charge Flurry is all over the place. Uh, it's very welcome, though. Improved movement for elevated and characters, so he gets around the map very easily. Yeah. And is dishing out four damage printed on his first three clicks. Goes down to a three printed damage on his fourth click, the start of his 30-point line. And then goes down to two damage the last two clicks. But then he's got a trait that is welcome to the Sinister, Sin Sinister Syndicate. Friendly characters have Sinister Syndicate team ability. If they already have the Sinister Syndicate team ability, they have Safeguard Outwit. So Dang. anyone, if you play him on Sinister Syndicate, any like a theme team, then your whole team has Safeguard Outwit, which is wild. That is for 30 points. It's super wild. It's but really good. Yeah. It's really good. Um. Yeah, he doesn't have any super senses to speak of, but he does have that shape change. And then, yeah, man, I just... He gives himself... Wait, if they already have a uh, friendly character... He's friendly to himself. Yeah. yeah, and he already has it. So he has safeguard out with... Like, I I don't want to say this is like a piece that you have to pick up, but like, if you really like playing Sinister really Syndicate, Syndicate yeah. man, it's hard to beat that 30-point like investment or even 75 if you want to make him like a big attacker. But gosh, think of like any of those figures that we've talked about I this know, episode just outwit. completely protected from outwit. Oh, uh, the, I was going to say the prime kingpin, but this is already a prime, so that yeah, doesn't... Yeah, you can't. Nah, yeah. Nah, 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 nah. Uh -uh, <laughs> no cheating. But other than that, like, well, I mean, just like that Doc Ock we just talked oh, about. Oh, yeah, that Doc Ock. Can't get rid of his... Uh, Ooh, can't get rid of his... Mastermind. Perplexed yeah. power is mastermind. Yeah, Oof. absolutely. Uh, that Venom is like near impossible takedown out, or yeah. like Sandman or Hydra Man with a protected out witch, shape change, super senses, and vulnerability. Like, yeah, There's, really helpful. Yeah, quite a few of them that become a lot more difficult to deal with. All right, now we got Vulture, team ability, Sinister Syndicate, zero range, one bolt, 50 points. He's scientist and Sinister Syndicate keywords, improved movement characters, which is really nice for Vulture. He's got the Red Rally 6 free, remove one of Vulture's Rally die to move up to six squares. 
After resolutions, you may choose a standard character he moved through or adjacent to during this action and place that character adjacent to him. So that's pretty cool. He's picking you up, moving you with him, yeah. kind of carrying you without actually Opposing you. or friendly. So oh, Yeah, opposing or friendly. That's true. Yeah. And then his second trait is gravity suit, super strength. When Vulture hits, hit opposing characters, modify speed, minus three until your next turn. So he's got a full dial of super strength. Keep that in mind. It's pretty cool. Top dial, he's got a special speed power. He's also got a close combat expert, and he's got energy shield deflection. He's an 8, 11, 17, 3, so he's 12 for 4 with CCE. His speed power is swoop, charge, sidestep. When Vulture uses charge after resolutions, he may immediately use sidestep as free, even if he's already used it this turn. So you can sidestep up, charge, and it's maybe a little sidestep back, and then maybe also a little red rally 6, move back. He's got all sorts of movement. Feels like he's flying all around the place. Pretty cool. Yeah. And then he's got sidestep, and then... Uh, combat reflexes with two clicks, and then he goes back to kind of his top dial, special speed power ESD, and then his last three clicks he has in power, goes back to sidestep and combat reflexes. Very simple vulture, pretty cool, gets the job done though. Also, think of that, super strength, he's kind of, yeah. you know, a glass canyon heavy hitter. He could be picking up something, hit you for six damage right away, and then try to move back when, to safety. So with a rally die, strength. he's super mobile. Yeah, very mobile. So Like able to move terrain canyon, and whatever. But, you know, try to, try to catch him. Catch him if you can. I want to say that like somebody wanted him to have like a twenty-five point line, and someone and was like, like "No," because no. yeah, it no. looks it definitely looks like they wanted. Looks like he repeated there. that front thirty yeah. or twenty-five point line. Yeah, yeah. they're like, "No, nah, I don't think so." All right, the prime vulture. Oh, I'm just kidding. Did I give you PTSD? Oh, yeah, I was like, "Wait, what?" Uh -huh. like, uh -huh. Yeah. No, not again. I can't do this again. Yeah, he's got traded flurry when he KOs. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, actual number 049 Fortune is... Start playing in the background, I start spacing out. Yeah. <laughs> thousand right. yards there. Yeah. Uh, sp -der, uh, it's SP slash slash DR. So good old Penny Parker in the mech suit. Spider-Man team ability. Keywords are Spider-Man family, robot, and scientist. Yep. Six range, one lightning bolt, 80 points. Uh, only point cost, only point line. So... Uh, good old Spitter um, has two clicks of running shot, special attack power, the whole dial, two clicks of running shot that are accompanied by two clicks of invincible, four clicks, top four clicks are all close combat expert, uh, clicks three and four go to charge, and instead of invincible, it gets impervious, last four clicks are all the same, though, they're all flurry, that special attack power invulnerability with 17 defense and two damage without wit, uh, the attack value is 11s for the first four and 18 defenses for the first four three damage for the first three pretty solid dialed just on that i don't know if i'd pay 80 points for that probably in sealed but um luckily old penny here has some traits and that special attack power so that special attack power is incapacitate when spider hits with a range attack after resolutions you may place a hit character in a square adjacent to spider then spider may make a close attack so you can run mm -hmm. running shot Bring six him range yeah, well, place well, them well, next well, to you yeah. and then close combat expert 12 for four so you know normally that wouldn't combo but in this case it really does and bottom dial when you lose like your moving attack if they're within six range and you can shoot them you can place them adjacent and then Flurium next turn, pretty mm -hmm. solid. Um, first trait is Spider is still intact. When Spider would to be KO'd by an opponent's attack, you may instead turn it to click eight. Uh, that is the last click. So yeah, turn it to click eight. If you do, generate a Penny Parker bystander, Mark Max one, not Mark one. Uh, it's the first edition of Penny Parker. In a square that is five squares from Spider, if Penny Parker is on the map, Spider can't be given actions and has a mobile and immune. So she gets kicked out of the mech and it can't move or do anything. But it also can't be killed. So if Penny Parker is KO'd after resolutions, KO Spider protected pulse wave. So that bystander has four speed, eight attack, 17 defense with super senses, and one damage with a special damage power that is outwit power if penny parker is adjacent to spider remove her from the map hmm. so then you get to you're basically climbing back into the mech suit right. and then you have another trait that is system reboot at the beginning of your turn heal spider one click spider can't be healed by any other game mechanic or game uh. effect so actually while she's out uh the the actual figure while the bystander is on the map the actual figure has a mobile and immune 
but it's still healing every still turn. Heal. Yeah. And then if she can get back inside and pilot it again, yeah, I actually think that's a really fun mechanic. It I don't is. know if it's competitive, but that's something that I'm going to definitely play if I pull. That's something I, I could not necessarily worth building around, but it's just like a right. fun 80 points. It is. You know, have somebody taxi and like protect Penny Parker for a while. Obviously, I'm not going to waste 10 turns to heal all the way back or whatever, oh, but but still like that is yeah. Also, I mean, you're just healing throughout the game before you even get KO'd yeah. or would be KO'd the first time. So, yeah. That is wild. Yeah. I really like the style, man. It's really cool. It's a like, very it's unique a take. Yeah. Man, in Seal, this thing's got to be hard to put down. Yeah. I know someone pulled it, but I didn't, I didn't play against them. But, man, that thing is gnarly. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, I didn't know it did all yeah. that. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of cool stuff. <laughs> yeah. All right. Carnage. Oh, Cletus Cathody here. Uh, zero range, two targets, 75 points, maximum carnage, symbiote, monster, keywords. Improved movement, ignores elevated terrain. Red Rally 6, when Carnage rolls a single D6, you may remove one of his Rally dice and use it as a result. Big shocker, he's got Blaze and Super Senses, so that's what you're going to use his little D6 replacement for. It's cool. He's got a special speed power. His entire freaking dial, all eight clicks of it, which is gnarly. It is Paint the Town Red, Charge Flurry, Giant Reach 2 with Protected Outwit. He's got eight speed top dial. He later goes on to six speed on his last four clicks. Charge flurry, dang, giant reach two. Whole dang time. Maybe he's gonna, you know, keep uh, he's also got blades his first five clicks. You know, maybe that's your replacement is charge flurry. Boom, there's blades. Uh it's gnarly. It's not even free to remove one of his dice. So you could if you had two sixes on there, you could do two six damage blades in a row. Which oh is man. Disgusting. Uh and then for his first I mean, quote unquote first, but whatever. His uh six clicks of life, he has symbiote and serial killer, super sense his toughness. Regeneration as free, but only if an opposing character took damage this turn. And then he has wow. regen normally on his last two clicks. He has steel energy on his last three clicks. He has exploit on his first six clicks of life. And then he has perplex on his last two clicks of life. This is a gnarly carnage. He's killing people. He's keeping himself alive with all this crazy regen, free regen. And then, man, normal god, dude. What does the symbiote do again? Uh, symbiote red gives him blaze cost steel energy. This character can already use steel energy. They instead heal one click for each damaged character. So gnarly. bottom dial, he's healing one additional? Yeah, yeah, if he's targeting two people at the same time. Yeah. Okay. And then, yeah, just gives him full dial of steel energy. Yeah. Gosh. Carnage is kind of nasty. Tearing for stuff points, up. Dude, yikes. Uh, I it's gonna like the red rally six is gonna be a hot commodity on these teams. It's like Carnage really is hard. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So they could have given him red rally five if they wanted to. So it's not, it could have been not as yeah. good. But then if you wanted to play him on that team, but I guess it doesn't matter if you play him on that team because he's not sinister syndicate at all. So he's just by himself. He's a lone killer, man. Yeah. Six on yeah. blades. Six on super sense. Yeesh. Or. There's a little object called the ultimate nullifier. Oh, jeez. <laughs> You're right, though. Oh. Good. You get auto six ultimate nullifier. Oh, my gosh. Is, is this hot dial H tech? Did Dude, anyone come up with this first? Amazing I'm sure at least one person else, thought of nope, it. But, nope, nope, nope. nope uh, original. No one else knew it until we told them. And then you regen for free. And then regen for free. Wow. Oh, which is also a D6 roll. You could. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Ooh, Carnage is. Well, one man army. It's I actually kind of need this carnage now, so yeah. I can. Holy smokes, he's Whew. gross, man. Um, I was gonna say, can he be snuck onto an X Men team so that I can he's use monster? Is that so, one yeah. of them? Yeah. And then I can play uh, Moira to monster, give him a rally die. Whatever. Yeah, gross. let's do it. All right. Gross. Uh, gross. We got Madam Web. I guess I just didn't look at these super rares that close. No, before I guess this. not. No. Uh, Madam Web, we've got Mystics and Spider-Man team abilities. Two range, one lightning bolt. Reach out and touch a square away, I guess. Uh, 30 points, Spider-Man family and Ooh. mystical keyword. She is four clicks long for 30 points. Top two clicks are stealth with combat reflexes, 18 defense. She's got eight and seven speed. And then last two clicks are eight and seven speed with... ESD, 17 defense mm. with ESD, and prop control. She has a special damage power. Her first two clicks, 
two damage, her whole dial, ten attack, her whole dial. Uh, but she's not really an attacker, obviously. So her special damage power is seen through the broken web. Probability control. Madam Web can use probability control and additional time for uh, additional time each turn, but only to target a character with the Spider-Man family keyword. That's opposing mm. and friendly. Dang. Um, That's pretty good. Yeah. I, I'm going to look at the improved movement abilities. Apparently yeah, isn't like printed might, on here. I got messed up a little so, bit here. We'll go to my secondary resource, I guess, because we thought this we thought this thread would be close enough. It is. It's it fine. is close enough. There's a little little hiccups here and there. Uh, Madam Web. Yes. Okay. So that's her dial. Her first trait is a Rally Six Super Senses traded. Uh, when a friendly character uses Super Senses, instead of rolling a the D6, you may remove one of Madam Web's Rally Dice to use it in the result, so wow. auto succeed. Um, and then the second trait is traveling through, traveling the Universal Web. Uh, so this is free. Choose a friendly character with the Spider-Man Family keyword within four squares until your next turn. That character can use improved moving movement through blocking and characters. Wild. It doesn't look like outdoor blocking. It looks yeah. like just plain old blocking, so they can like essentially phase. Yeah, not even and since they're, they're when they walk through it. If they have a Spider-Man family it. keyword, they probably already ignore uh, elevated. So yeah, it's like essentially giving them phasing for that uh, second trait. Yeah. But yeah, just a highly mobile, highly uh, supportive Madam Web, giving you a, like a super super senses, an auto succeed super senses, uh, a double prob, and then. Yeah, free give them somebody like the ability to uh, move through walls and stuff. Wild. Yeah. For 30 points, yeah. Not what you want to pull and sealed, but it. I mean, it'll yeah. help. I guess maybe it is, it's not like a heavy hitter, but it is it is like a double prob for mm -hmm. most sealed games. All right, we got Venom Thanos. I'm going to try to go through him pretty quickly because he's got a lot going on, but he's not that... No, cool. Uh, cosmic energy, four range, triple target, 250, 125, or 50 point lines. Black Order means a Thanos symbiote cosmic deity monster ruler. He's the first symbiote in the set to actually have the symbiotic fusion trait, which is the trait from Empire. Plasticity, super sensitive. Super sensitive. <laughs> if Venom Thanos is within four squares and line of fire of an opposing character, he can't be targeted by ranged combat attacks. So you don't want to get too close to this guy. You want to stay back, shoot him, or just get off in his face. Either one. It's up to you, man. I don't care. His second trait is the universe will be ours. Leadership. Free. Choose one to use until your next turn. Phasing Celebrant, Close Combat Expert, Mind Control, Probability Control, Shape Change, or Steel Energy. If Venom Thanos you succeeded with leadership this turn, he has friendly characters with symbiote or monster keyword within range and line of fire can use the chosen power. Kind of cool, kind of neat, nothing crazy, but you know, it's a little, uh, little gemstone thing going on yeah. there. His attack power that he has sprinkled throughout his dial, which is on all of his starting lines except his 50 point line, is the lethal titan, which gives him giant reach three. When Venom Thanos hits, after resolutions, you may choose a hit character to gain a mobile until your next turn. Solid. And then his stop click that he has on two points in his dial, which are right before his 125 point line, his 50 point line, is you will not be disrespected. Stop Battle Fury, Exploit Weakness. He's got a bunch of Invincible. He's got a bunch of Exploit. He's got some Outwit sprinkled in there. He's got Hypersonic Speed with the 10 speed top dial. So he's... Uh, 13 square reach for that giant reach three, which is really nice. And then he's got hypersonic speed on his 125 point line and outwit starting there with impervious instead of invincible on his 50 point line, which I don't think you should ever play him at 50 points. No. He's only three clicks long with invulnerability, no, no stop, stop click, yeah. outwit, and then precision strike. Doesn't have his cool attack power. Still his pick of power, still his leadership, still his plasticity, super senses the entire time. He is. Dang, he is pretty beefy, but I was able to get through him in sealed. It was about, or almost time was called a little shortly after, so it took a minute to chew all the way through this guy. He's got a long dial, but uh, he's just not, you know, he's nothing crazy. I think if you want to have a 250-point Thanos, I think the AF Thanos is the way to go. I think that he's guy has got to awesome. do a lot. Um, he's got to do this... a whole lot for 250. Yeah, you got to do a lot. And does this one really feel like Thanos with... Uh, the symbiote. I mean, kinda a little yeah. bit. Plasticity, super senses, and that giant reach feel enough 
like he has the symbiote, but it's nothing. It's nothing insane. It's cool. If you like Thanos, you wanted a Venom version of Thanos, well, here you go. It's just nothing insane. Uh, if you just want a normal good Thanos, I think I just go with the AF one. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. cool looking, though. Yep, yep, yep. For sure. <laughs> okay, and on to Green Goblin. Number 053A. Norman Osborn. They're both Norman Osborn, I guess. They are. Sinister Syndicate team ability, six range, two lightning bolts. He's got three point values, 100 points, 75 points, and 40 points. For 40 points, you get five clicks. 75 gets you an additional two, and then 100 gets you even two more. So that's nine clicks long if you play him at top dial. Uh, he's got Dark Avengers, Sinister Syndicate, and Scientist. He's got two traits, no special powers, so... I'll just go in order. I think the 100 point line in uh, sealed is okay. Yeah. Kind of squishy, but um, he does have running shot 12 for three with RCE. So he's a 13 for four top dial. He only has an 18 toughness for those two clicks, but he is uh, once again, uh, one of the only characters with a 12 on the sinister syndicate. So sharing that 12 at a premium cost, I guess. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, For 75 points, um, while your defense is technically going up, kind of. Uh, he's a 17 with yeah. uh, combat reflexes, charge blades with an 11 attack, 3 damage. Um, not a flyer. That's got to be a mistake, right? No, oh, that has to be. Yeah, these these are both flyers for sure. Yeah. Um, at 75 yeah. points, I just don't think that ever gets paid. No, there's like, no way you ever play that I'm 75 not, points. Right? I'm not paying that in constructed, and I'm not no. playing that in sealed. Uh, he's just... So much better yeah. either top end or yeah, at his running shot forty wits. point line. Yeah, yeah. his forty point line. Yeah, still an eleven attack, still a seventeen defense, but it's tough in this now. Uh, but yeah, he has outwit and running shot. So yeah, not too bad. Uh, that goes back to a charge blades on uh, what would that be? Four that clicks seven. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. If he takes two damage. Well, two, if he takes two clicks, I should say, because right. he does have toughness. But if he takes two clicks from his 40-point line, he'll go to charge blades, um, keep charge blades, apparently have a missing click of outwit in the middle, and then last two clicks he gets outwit, <laughs> loses charge. Missing click of just like reflexes there. <laughs> it's like a diagonal yeah. thing where he's like missing power, missing power, <laughs> missing power. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, so his first trait, <clears throat> he has... Of course, a red rally six. Just traded perplex, and then free remove one of Green Goblin's rally dice. If you do, when he uses perplex this turn to target an opposing character, he may modify the chosen combat value by negative two instead. If the target opposing character has the Spider-Man family keyword, he may instead modify all combat values minus one, including damage. Pretty cool. Wow. Um, not the greatest I like rally you, six Spider-Man. that we have, but like yeah. I mean, just giving him perplex is solid, and then. Right. Yeah, like a negative two or a negative one to everything is kind of cool. And there's a few Spider-Man figures out there that might just drop down to where they can't damage some of your team. Like they might drop to a two. I mean, there are some two damage ones out there. Yeah, you get down to one damage. Uh, Then his other trait, form the Sinister Syndicate. What could this be? Yeah. Leadership. At the beginning of the game, you may replace up to five other friendly characters with the same number of characters from your sideline on their starting click or starting clicks all replacement characters must have the sinister syndicate keyword and different names the total points of the replacement characters can't exceed the total points of the replaced characters it's swap Um, it's a little bit like the wording's cleaned up a little bit and it's a little different it's not like just an open-ended swap but it is just sinister syndicate swap so um that's why his 40 point line is like the economical option. It's five yeah. clicks long. It's obviously like what he was meant to be played around. Uh, I think they just added those two top lines for <laughs> something. Yeah. yeah I, guess, I mean, yeah. casually, I I play him at 100 all the time. Like, that's a yeah. pretty cool green goblin. And especially since he can start with those pumpkin bombs. No energy explosion on his dial, though. Yeah. So it is just normal energy explosion that he's getting from that. But. At least, you know, he'll be a 13 energy explosion, right. two targets. That's old normal Gobby. Yeah, that's normal Norman. Now we got abnormal Norman, paranorman over here. Five range, one target, 75 or 50 points. 
He gets a few more keywords. He's joined the Cabal Hellfire Club Power Elite uh, this time. Yeah, Hellfire hmm. Club for whatever reason. Also Power Elite. Man, I love seeing more Power Elite keyword stuff. It's really cool. He wasn't in the original run with the Captain America book with Power Elites. Neither was Kingpin. So I'm curious when they joined the Power Elite because they were kind of they kind of did the Power Elite in after that run. Whatever. Anyways, he also has Red Rally 6 for his first trait, which also gives him Perplex. It's free. Remove one of Green Goblin's Rally Dice. If you do, when he uses Perplex to target himself, he may modify the chosen comet value by plus 2 instead. So that's kind of like the opposite of the non-prime, so that's kind of neat. For his first starting line, he starts with Running Shot, Outwit, Toughness. With a special attack power, his first four clicks. His toughness also his first four clicks, and outwit those first four clicks. His fourth click will be the starting line of his fifty point line, where he then gains sidestep. And then his last four clicks, he has charge, blades, super senses, and a special damage power. So, what's his special attack power when he's doing some top dial running shot or sidestepping stuff? It's oh hey, energy explosion. The one the last one was missing. When Green Goblin uses it, roll d six. Hit targets are dealt damage equal to the result instead of normal damage. Yeah. Pretty cool. Blades, energy explosion, taking a little bit of a note from Deathstroke here. Yeah, very so, similar. It's pretty neat. And then he has his damage power that's on his last four clicks is Sadistic Tendencies. Exploit weakness, that's Charge Blades Exploit. And when he KOs an opposing character, after resolutions, you get to heal him two clicks. So he can heal not back up to his top dial starting line, but he can heal back up to his 50 point line and then one beyond that. So he can never get back to his running shot clicks, but he can get back up to some healthy sidestep, toughness, moving around with his energy explosion. So pretty good. He's got a good chance at, well, he's got a good chance of killing somebody. He's, I mean, 12 exploit blades, pretty decent shot to heal two clicks. So it's pretty cool than just giving him like steel energy or something. It's a neat green goblin. I don't think he does anything that's like, this character's a prime compared to the other primes we've yeah. seen. He is definitely the weakest a little prime like, in this set. I yeah, he's say. a little more normal. He's kind of like normal. a like a Winter Hulk prime. Yeah, even, even somehow kind of you know. I yeah, don't dislike him though because I do no. think it's potential he's to have right. like a. I mean, obviously you can have a twelve attack, but you could have like fairly easily a thirteen, a 13 attack. attack yeah, that you know, in like a perfect world, does six damage right. to. A well, group of people. If you're lucky. Yeah. So I don't average think three -ish. If you're playing this guy, they're obviously going to be smart enough to not clump yeah. up. You would hope maybe they will make that mistake. But yeah. maybe a little Stardust action. Ooh, clump yeah, them you clump em yourself. <laughs> uh, you guys aren't going to clump? Welcome to the I'll clumps. make you clump. Yeah. You're going to be clumping all night long. Uh, Clumpy Space Princess all up in. <laughs> my favorite Eddie Murphy movie, the Meet the Clumps. Meet the cl oh, there you go. Is that a... I don't know. It's something like that. Yeah, Crumps? man. Crumps? Clunks? I don't know. Crudes? <laughs> the crudes. Um, but yeah, that is, he is like, I, w I won't say a letdown as a prime, but I'll say. I'll say it. I think he's a letdown as a prime. No, I mean. I think he's, I, I mean, I do think he's the last prime that I would want out of the set. Yeah. Like, it's a very cool sculpt. It's a very cool dial. It's just and not the prime that I want. this is the one where he actually has his mask on, right? Or is this the one with mask off? I think off, this is Norman? mask off. This mask off, yeah. Norman. I think, yeah, the normal green goblin has the, yeah, like the mask goblin on. Okay. mask. Okay, yeah. All right. Number 054, it's Spider-Man Noir. His first re-entry since Spider-Man uh, Superior Foes, Foes yeah. as a chase. Uh, so this is obviously Nicolas Cage, um, real name. Team ability is Spider-Man, obviously. He has six range triple lightning bolts. He's got 75 points. Also of note, I don't know if they put it here, but this is the only character in the set that comes with a oh, uh, yeah. clue card. Detective. Oh, yeah. Whatever mystery card. Mystery, mystery card. card. Yeah. yeah. He can solve a new mystery. So those aren't just Batman team up. We did get one in this set. He has the Spider-Man family detective past and spy keywords. His first four clicks are all special is special speed power he's got incapacitate uh he's got super senses whole dial and then his first four clicks he has shape change as well so 50 50 super senses his whole dial <clears throat> that special speed power is flurry sidestep and stealth wow yeah no charge to be had but he does have sidestep and then he does have the wall crawler trait so he will close the gap faster than you think and then his last three clicks is sidestep um Steel Energy still has super senses and then three clicks of 
perplex with three damage his whole dial he has two clicks uh, on click three and four of 12 attack otherwise he's an 11 attack which is solid his whole dial uh his other trait i guess he's improved targeting um ignores characters yeah. so that is also like really fun and cool um his other trait that's not the wall crawler one is I'll take the case dock free. Generate a bystander on this card that hasn't already been generated this game. Bystanders generated by Spider-Man Noir gain his keywords. Mm. So these are characters from the Noir universe. Checkpoint Red has stealth, 10 attack with precision strike, 17 defense with combat reflexes, and 2 damage with outwit, which is pretty solid. Free generate a outwit piece right before you like flurry. Pretty cool. Um... And then, yeah, stealth, if you can put it in stealth, 19 defense from close is pretty good. And then Hurry, I am assuming. Oh, it's Hurry. <laughs> hurry? That's how I read it. Hurry. Okay. Maybe. But it's probably Hurry yeah, as the... Uh, I have no idea height. who that is, but yeah. yeah. Um, that character has Flurry Blades, 17 defense with combat reflexes, and 2 damage with Empower. Pretty gnarly. So, boosting Spider-Man Noir's damage... Uh, for close attacks and boosting, I guess, Checkpoint Red's damage for close yeah. attacks if you want. Um, be a 10 for 3. And then, yeah, Flurry Blades. They both have 6 speed, 10 attacks, 17 defense, and 2 damage. Cool little bystanders. I don't know. I think he's pretty solid and sealed. I, I mean, he, I really like him. He is a Flurry, double rollout Flurry sidestep stealth. And then the wall crawler ability lets him get across the map. And... Uh, you can't regenerate the bystanders. They're not like no. max one or anything. Yeah. It's just if it hasn't been generated, you can make it. But making like checkpoint red right before you do a flurry attack or making, you know, who re or whatever the other right. one is, you know, move up all the way up and then essentially drop a chainsaw. Like, yeah, actually, it's his own, it's very own little chainsaw flurry blades. So, yeah, I like him. All right. Wow. I get to talk about oh. one of the. Ironically, somehow, three Captain America characters in a Spider-Man set. Spider-Supreme. He's got three team abilities. Mystics, Cosmic Energy, and Spider-Man. So he's got Senses on a six. He's got Mystics. He's got Protected Outwit and Willpower. He is eight range, one target. He is a big, beefy 250 points. Take it or leave it. His keywords are Avengers, Defenders, Spider-Man Family, Warp World, Detective, and Mystical. One of the few Warp World chase or figures that isn't a chase. Uh, let's get into his dial a little bit before I read off all this freaking text. He's got Running Shot, Pensai, Invincible, and Perplex. His first two clicks with a 8, 12, 19, 5. And then he goes on to some two clicks of like Charge, where he's got Charge, Precision Strike, Combat Reflexes for one of them, and then he gets a well his Stop Regen Toughness click on the next one, and then he's got two clicks out Wit. Then he goes back to his Running Shot, Pensai, Invincible, and Perplex, then he goes back to his charge, precision strike, combat reflexes, outwit, and then one click, combat reflex, one click, his stop click. And then his last three clicks of his dial are hypersonic speed, steel energy, ESD, and probability control. Wow, yeah, 11 click dial, kind of wild. So, I already said he's got stop click with regen toughness, two points in his dial, not on his very last click, so a little risky, but they're kind of mixed in there in the middle. I'll read his second trait first. Can't solve the multiverse's problems until we deal with this, so it gives him super senses, which means he has protected, outwit, 50-50 super senses his entire dial. Spider Supreme takes a maximum of one damage from attacks by opposing characters that didn't begin on an opponent's starting force. So we're talking uh, ID card call-ins. We're talking figures that were swapped. Bystanders. We're talking bystanders. We're talking uh, uh, destroyer. Destroyer. The hand ninjas that you can bring in off leadership. Yeah. Anything that comes in off leadership. <clears throat> if it wasn't on their starting force, you know, swap figures as well. Scrappy do. Scrappy do. All that stuff. Yeah. Scroll spies. Whatever. Yeah. You guys know what he comes only in. takes. Yeah. You guys got it. He only takes a maximum of one bit constructs. Whatever. Yeah. Makes max of one damage from attacks by them that didn't start on your opponent's force. So, and keep that in mind. Pretty cool. Helps his beefiness go throughout his dial. His second trait, or his first trait, really, is very similar to a World's Finest and Lex Luthor Joker type trait. So, it's when he is KO'd by an attack. So, he is KO'd. You score 250 points. But before removing him from the game, you may generate up to two characters named either Arachnite, Captain America, Moon Knight, Spider-Man, or Soldier Supreme... Uh, from oh wow, ooh, Arachnite, Captain America, Moon Knight, Spider Man, yeah. Soldier Supreme. Two of I, those are chases. I think Doctor Strange should be in there somewhere, shouldn't it? Oh, is it not? I don't see Doctor Strange, and oh. Doctor Strange is who makes up Captain America and Soldier Supreme, right? Cap, Soldier, 
Captain America, Doctor Strange makes Soldier Supreme, Moon Knight and Spider-Man make Arachnite. I assume Doctor Strange is supposed to be in there. Maybe they they fudged it, or maybe it's not on there. It's, don't don't fail me, Click Nicky. Seems Nikki. wild, yeah. Uh, but basically, you get to make those two characters on their last non-KO. Doctor clicks. Strange is listed. He is listed. Yeah. Okay, yeah, dude, this Caden guy. <laughs> I appreciate all the time and effort that it goes into making a dial and evidence thread. So thank you. But you know, a little check in never hurt nobody. <laughs> uh, so you generate them on their last non-KO click. Uh, generated characters can't share a name and the point total can't be more than 250 which is his points um, this game generated characters aren't scored when they're KO'd so yeah you KO him you get 250 and then you get these guys on their last non-KO clicks so it's their very last click so there's no like heal two clicks like uh, World's Finest or Lexithor and Joker have so keep that in mind but even when he is knocked out your tent pole still brings in two other attackers and yeah. as we saw there's a bunch of spider-man in this set that have good last clicks there's moon knight has a cool last click there's plenty of captain americas and then obviously soldier supreme and iraq are pretty pretty dope but i don't think soldier supreme has a great last click he's got like charge precision strike combat reflexes. yeah it's not I insane i think iraq does iraq knight still have that like flurry he, whatever he's thing? got all his traits that you can choose flurry and stuff. oh that's so right so. is, Probably like one of the best options to bring in for Spider Supreme here, but he's a really cool character. More Warp Worlds is awesome. Four people in one, technically five if you consider the Warp World yeah. versions. He's a really cool character. I don't know. He's one of those figures where if someone figures out a good 50 points, maybe he could see meta play. I could see people messing around with him. I think if swap was more, you know, powerful or whatever. Yeah, but I was honestly, say. with like rune marker existing and stop sign yeah, existing, most, most tent poles, most tent poles fall under the same yeah, thing where getting it's played right now. If they don't have like a phase for free, well, even if they have a phase for free stop sign, yeah, this care. guy can't run away like a little baby like some tent poles. <laughs> <laughs> so it makes him hard to uh, to invest in. But he's still really cool. Yeah. I I want to play him like casually because I he won't feel disgustingly aggressive right like op casually so i really like him i think he's really cool simeon yeah and if you want to see um if you want to oh, yeah. see him in play uh we just uploaded a video where ian pulled him and he plays him and i think it's a good showcasing of his power he does so. not die so yeah not in the time true. limit spoiler i guess sorry uh but i mean i wow. think that you'd, you you wow, would have been wow, able wow. to guess that wow. like in sealed if you pull this guy it's gonna be real hard to put yeah. him down like it'd be tough yeah. Next up, another character that was pulled and played in that video That's is true. the Super Air Spider Man. How many Spider Mans are we up to? Is this five? This is uh, four. Yeah. Five. This is four. At least four. Okay. Common, uncommon, rare, prime, and then this one. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he has the Spider Man team ability four range, two lightning bolts, 200 points. And that is the only point value line that, or right. point line that he can be played at. He's got the Avengers, Spider Man family, celebrity, reporter, and scientist keywords. Um, we've said it before. This is like essentially the. The fanboy edition. Yeah. Like, this is like the the best Spider Man that like he can be kind of thing. And all be all kind of Spider Man. Yeah. yeah, just like the two hundred point Hulk. Um, he has the wall crawler trait, so just keep that in mind for the rest of it. He has a special speed power. His first two clicks, a special damage power. Spoiler: It's stop on click four, uh, click defense, seven, yeah. and his last click, which is click eleven. Eleven clicks long for this guy. He's two hundred points, but I mean click. 11 on a spider-man what is this uh avengers versus x-men <laughs> like, i know right <laughs> this is probably the last Whoa. time he cost that many points uh he was only 125 back then i think oh yeah i mean yeah only only 125 yeah. yeah uh he has super strength for his first four clicks he goes to quake for clicks five and six and then back to super strength for seven and eight then back to quake for nine and ten and then back to super strength <laughs> For his last click, click 11. Uh, he has that special speed power on his first two clicks, on clicks 7 and 8, and then on click 11. And then, again, those three special defense powers, which is stop, regeneration, super senses, Spider-Man has safeguard, outwit. So, it gives Spider-Man safeguard, outwit, Yeah, which I think we agreed last night means like... When he's That's on your that entire dial, <clears throat> on that click, stop has safeguard outwit, but yeah, stop has protected outwit. Oh, has protected outwit. That protects safeguard, the power. Yeah, safeguard gives safeguard you safeguard gives completely yes. protected outwit. Yeah, so that is how it works. On those three clicks, 
nothing can be outwitted from him. Uh, his special speed power is fight like a man. Can I convince you to fight like something? Is that the end of the sentence? Fight like a spider. Yeah. Okay. Fight like a man. Can I convince you to fight like a spider? It's uh, from the uh, 90s animated show. Where okay. It's, uh, Tombstone's like, come down here and fight me like a man. I was like, can I convince you to come up here? And oh, fight like a spider? Yeah. It's very it's pretty Peter good Parker. line. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he's got flurry, hypersonic speed, but when Spider-Man uses hypersonic speed, he may instead make up to two close attacks. So it's a hypersonic speed that lets you flurry. Or if you're just already next to him, you can just flurry. It's pretty cool. Does not let you flurry twice. No. <laughs> don't don't uh, assume so. Uh, he also has a trait that is just, with great power comes great responsibility, toughness, willpower. So his whole dial, he has toughness, willpower. Yep. Uh, for his first three clicks he has super senses with a 19 19 and 18 he has prob on his first two clicks he goes to regular hypersonic speed on clicks four or three and four with close combat expert so he's yeah. a 12 for four on those um again after that he on clicks five and six he goes charge quake combat reflexes and outwit with four damage a lot of damage on this guy uh Let's see, click seven and eight, he gets that speed power with super strength. Uh, he's got a stop click on seven and then three damage outwit. And then he goes to shape change on click, what is that, nine, ten, no, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so from click eight to 11, his last four clicks, I guess, he has shape change. So double rollout and then again, 50-50 rollout. And when he hits his stop click, it's all protected outwit yep. and he's got regen. So he's a pretty rough character to uh, contend with and I think if you watch the video you'll know a perfect 10 point piece to accompany right. this Spider-Man with yeah. Uh, because yeah 200 doesn't leave you a ton of room but at the same time it leaves you just I mean, enough where set, he can really this set gave you enough cheap Spider-Man family support wink mm -hmm. wink wink uh, to help this guy out a lot so, yeah that combined with the wall crawler trait. also cool sculpt it is cool. He's got, like, simple. actual webs it's coming not, out. It's not a crazy complicated sculpt, but yeah. you can, you know, like, his body itself is, like, a big enough size. You can tell it's Spider-Man. We were, like, looking at it compared to the time dilation Spider-Man. He's kind of tiny on that sculpt. Mm -hmm. And this one's big. He's swinging, shooting a web. He's got some of his legs kind of kicking and stuff. It just looks good. Yeah. All right. We're into the chases. Ugh. Round to the bases here, Simeon. We're almost ready to call it a day. Call it a night. Carnage <laughs> Thor. Team Avengers, five range, triple target, points 150 or 50. As Guardian, Avengers, Symbio, DD, Monster, Warrior, four clicks of running shot, turn into four clicks of charge. At the beginning of his charge line is when his 50 point line starts. Three clicks of Impervious with a special defense power spoiler, stop click. Uh, after that, three of Invulnerability, then a spoiler, stop click on his last click. He's got five clicks of Close Combat Expert, then three clicks of Exploit, and he's got a special attack power his entire dial. All the Carnage chases have the same trait. Let there be Carnage. I'm going to read it once and never again. Plasticity, shape change, period, slash, slash. When a friendly character with the symbiote keyword KOs one or more opposing characters, after resolutions, heal Carnage Thor one click, and he may heal past his starting line this way. So that is, if you have all these dudes Let There Be Carnage, if any of them kill somebody, right? All of them. They all get a heal that yeah. one click. So that's important to keep in mind. All right, I already mentioned his stop clicks a few times. Like I said, that's on click four and click eight. Uh, it's stop impervious regeneration. Very strong stop click. Jeez, Thor, okay? It's like you're yeah. god of thunder <laughs> or lightning or something. I mean, it's almost, almost as good as Kingpin's. Not almost quite. as good as Kingpin's. Not quite as good as yeah, Kingpin's. Kingpin's though. a little you're, bit stronger you're no, than... Uh, you're no fat guy on vacation here, Carnage yeah. Thor. I mean, a, as comic accurate, yeah. Yeah. When Thor was overtaken by the Carnage symbiote and his power was doubled, Kingpin was still stronger. Oh, absolutely. Especially when Kingpin was almost <laughs> half the points, uh, or 60 points less. So, what is his special attack power he's got in his entire dial? Well, I'll read it to you. Steel Energy Pulse Wave. When Carnage Thor uses Pulse Wave, if an opposing character was KO'd this turn, he deals two damage instead of one. So, a guaranteed two damage Pulse Wave is pretty nice. Oh, so you KO somebody and then you Pulse Wave. I was like, how would that... So you. KO oh, someone no. with the pulse wave and then everyone takes two oh, out. But no, no, yeah, if they're KO'd yeah. this turn, he will deal two damage. Yep. Yeah. So okay. If somebody else kills somebody, he runs up, boom, two damage pulse wave. So this is one of the few Venom chase or Carnage chases, excuse me, that I would say he kind of needs to be played top dial in order to pop off, or yeah. he needs to be 
kind of like all of them, kept back and wait for something to die first in order for him to actually be effective. He does have the close combat expert. It doesn't combo with his running shot, obviously, but he has it with his charge. But 150 for that extra four clicks isn't a bad value for the extra stop click and the pulse wave and being able to do that right out the bat. He has improved movement, destroys blocking, which is cool. But, uh, you know, I don't know. It's it's a tough thing with all these carnage chases. Is, is it worth playing them on their full point line when you know they can right. heal past their starting click? I will um, say, I think if any of them was going to like have an opening move that could KO something and heal them all, yeah, it'd be this guy. I agree. Because the amount of like bystanders and stuff like that that oh, might be yeah. on the board, if he can get a pulse wave off and just deal one of them one damage yeah. and like clear it. Yeah, it doesn't say <clears> standard <throat> opposing character. It is just opposing character, yeah. period. So, yeah. Also, right, like, infinitely better than Venom Thor, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, Venom Thor is yeah. ugh, gross compared to this. Just crappy. It was a different time. It was. Uh, Carnage Iron Man. Iron Carnage. Except we didn't we didn't do fun stuff like that. We did Carnage Thor and Carnage Iron Man and Carnage Captain America. I don't know why we didn't miss, mix the names. Yeah. We did that with Gwen. Do you have your... Uh, on the whatever sheet, the set list, it says Carnage Cap. Question, question mark, mark? Yeah. yeah like they that? like they didn't uh, know that it was going to be in the set or not they're yeah. like are we putting Same this in there all of the carnage yeah it's carnage Thor. <clears throat> question mark? and it's like maybe do like you not, what, yeah. do you not know yeah we're just a little ooh, maybe yeah. what, keep you on your it? toes is i don't it? know what the question mark was for yeah it's i hope funny. there was like an alternative like they yeah they just didn't like remove the question marks before they sent it to print um so carnage iron man uh once again i think this version is better than the venom version but that's just my personal take. Uh, so team ability is Avengers, six range, triple lightning bolts. Once again, 150 or 50 point line. Avengers, Stark Industries, symbiote, armor, monster, scientist keywords. Top dial, he is running shot. Uh, four clicks of running shot, four clicks of energy explosion, four clicks of a special defense power, and four clicks of a special damage power. He is not one that you want to run at top dial. No. Because unlike Thor, he does not have stop clicks, so you will lose 100 points quite quickly. But that defense power that he has, his top dial, is it's an 18 defense with invincible and super senses. And then that damage power is, we'll paint it all red, exploit weakness, outwit. So... Not terrible. Nice not, little running yeah. shot exploit weakness. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, for you. Yeah, it is triple target energy explosion. He's okay. I just that's not a hundred and fifty point top dial. Wow. Like that should be twelve attack for the at least click one. But if you're paying fifty and you're eventually healing to that, that's perfectly fine right. in my opinion. Um, so yeah, invincible super senses. Uh, the fifty point line will start you with running shot, precision strike, super senses, and outwit. And then he will go to sidestep for the rest of his dial, which is three clicks. Uh, precision strike for the like rest of the dial as well. So that for the whole 50-point line, it's precision strike. Super senses for clicks, um, what is that, five, six, seven. And then yeah. his last click is an 18 defense with regeneration. And then he's got outwit that entire bottom dial where he goes three damage, three damage, two damage, <laughs> four damage, four damage. damage. Uh, with really a 12 attack on the end. That's the only place he... Uh, diverges from his 11 attack. Yeah. He does have improved targeting that ignores hindering, which is the only improved, improved hindering targeting we've seen hindering that we've set. seen in this set. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he has the let there be carnage trait, obviously, which is plasticity shape change and the healing thing. And then his other trait is micro missile symbiote pods. Steel energy when car so traded steel energy period, and then when Carnage Iron Man hits with a range attack after resolutions, give each hit character a symbiote pod token. Power remove a symbiote pod token from an, an opposing character to make a close attack targeting only that character regardless of adjacency, mm. which makes his exploit, exploit weakness, weakness. Top makes more sense. Okay, yeah. I got it. It is a power action, so it's like, I mean, yeah, I can target him anywhere, mm -hmm. but um. You do have to hit with a ranged attack and then power action to uh, yeah. close attack. So, I mean, it's good. It's uh, it's okay. Yeah. I'll say I'll say it's okay. Um, it's not bad for sure. But, right. I mean, as long as you can get an outwit, that precision strike bottom dial is actually like pretty solid. I think for 50 points, he's really solid. And sealed, I would never play him at 150. No. no I mean, I just wouldn't play him at 150 ever. Uh, I think yeah. that's a fine point line to aspire to with the healing but yeah he's definitely like 
a secondary range guy after Thor. Maybe he's taking something small out right off the bat. Mm-hmm. Maybe he's like the one that gets you to heal. And then if he does heal to that invincible super senses, that's great. Yeah. yeah. All right. Carnage Captain America. You're getting all the Carnage? I, all the yes. captains? Yeah, I'm getting all the caps somehow. We, we were like trying to figure out, ah, oh, man, who, do you, who wants to go first? And I was like, I don't know. I'd like to talk about the caps, but... I'm not going to count out. It's hard with primes. With to, primes yeah. to figure out who's going to talk about what. So we, we literally uh, rock, paper, scissors to see one person. <laughs> wow, I'm kind of lucking out. Uh, Cap's got Avengers. He's got full range, triple target, 125 or 50 point lines. Avengers, symbiote, monster, and soldier. Thank you for your service, Captain America. Improved targeting characters. He has Let There Be Carnage, of course. And then he has a second trait. which uh, so, so it says it's a trait on the card. But he also has a spot for a special damage power top right. dial. <clears throat> so I kind of assume this is going to be errated to a special damage power. Right. Um, yeah. It is leader snip. Oh, wow, they have it saying leadership here. Yeah. Yikes. Caden, what are you doing, bro? It is, so it gives him leadership. leadership. When Carnage Captain America uses it, you may place a die on his card. If you do so, no matter what the roll is, you put a die on his card. If you do this turn, when a friendly character with the symbiote keyword rolls for Blades, Claws, Fangs, before rolling, you may choose their minimum result is equal to this die. If the die is used as the minimum result, or at the end of your turn, you remove the die. So you might as well just use it anyways for one of their Blades, Claws, Fangs rolls. Of course, the Carnage symbiote gives out Blades, Claws, Fangs, as well as there's, I think, a few other characters with symbiote. I know Normal Carnage also has Blades, Claws, Fangs. Um, Thor and Iron Man didn't have it, but. The Carnage symbiote just straight up gives it to people, too. So that is a choice you can do. It's cool. Give you some quick blades die yeah. replacement for a you minimum result, which is nice. Don't have to succeed with the leadership. So, like, on a four. Yeah, just any roll. Like, being able to replace it with a yeah, four. That becomes or minimum your... is the four, like, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Pretty solid. And then his special attack power that he has on every click, but his first one is red and white, red, red and blue and red. Quake, Steel Energy. When Carnage Captain America makes a close attack, you may choose an unoccupied square within range and line of fire. Carnage Captain America may target an opposing character with the attack as if he occupied that square. I really like this. They're bringing back how the shield worked in Avengers Age of Ultron. That movie set, I think the starter set Captain America could draw range and line of fire. Uh, and it was basically a close attack within range line, which is really cool. So he has it with four range. That works with this hypersonic, works with this charge, works with this quake. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, and then he's got a special defense power on his last three clicks. I, I'm pretty sure that's wrong. And then he has a invulnerability top dial. I don't think he has it, it on his beginning click. Yeah, no, he would not have regen, regen click top one. dial. Yeah, so I think so. It gives him combat reflexes regeneration on his last. Yeah, three clicks. he has invuln click one he's and invuln. four. Okay, and yeah. then the last three. Are and that, that is defense. okay. That's kind of what I thought. All right, cool. Honestly, Carnage Captain America. I think he's one of the better 50-point starting lines. Yeah, it's kind of coming across probably a little biased. Uh, his Quake Steel energy is really, really solid. I think you can keep him back safer because of that within four squares. Ignores characters, Steel energy, Quake thing. Also, he can triple bolt close attack four squares away around those mm-hmm. squares or Quake from there, which is really cool. I also don't hate his starting line either since it's a little bit cheaper at 125. It's it's tough call, though. It's those Are those three clicks worth 25 points a click, you know, basically yeah. at 125? Like... That's a really, really tough call. It just depends how much you want that leader snit power right away. If they do end up making that just a trait, then I'd say there's no point to ever play him at 125. Just play him at 50, and then, of course, heal up to 125. I think that's kind of the point of a lot of these guys is that they heal up to something better. You don't even really want to play him at full. It's a choice, but it's probably more fun to put in the work to get them to full than actually just paying for it, and then maybe they get rocked right away and get sent down, but He's fun. He does feel like a Captain America that is possessed by Carnage, a little more violence, a little more serial killery, I guess. Yeah. The exploit and the, uh, like, four, like, basically a. It's basically Giant Reach 4. Yeah. Not not quite, but, like, yeah. Yeah. Um, What's fun is, like, it can go around corners and stuff. Like you pick the the square within range and line of fire, but if there's someone right. like on the like you oh, know, right, that would that be out be of line see. of fire, yeah, you can still hit him. Pretty cool. Um, yeah. So yeah, he's neat. I'm I'm pretty excited to add him to my cap collection. For yeah. sure. Yeah. 
Hey, look right. at that. Yeah, I actually uh, played this one. If you watch our video, uh, this is what I pulled. I was excited when I pulled it. That excitement did a lot last. Uh, so, Carnage Clea. Clea Strange. She's got the Mystics team ability. Six range, triple lightning bolts. 125 point line and 50 point line. That is not the same 125 points that you're paying to get some of these other characters. No. But that 50 point line isn't terrible. And especially in sealed, it's pretty darn good for 50 points. Uh, she's got the Defenders, Symbiote, Monster, Mystical, and Ruler keywords. So... Uh, she's got a special attack power, her whole dial, and that is Mayhem Portals, Telekinesis, Penetrating Psychic Blast, and Steel Energy. Um, yeah, I think TK and Pensai and Sealed is both good options. Mm -hmm. uh, she has Super Senses for her first four clicks, Mind Control for her first four clicks, and Prob for her first four clicks. Click four being the first line of the 50-point line. Stats do not add up to 125 top dial. She has... Mind control and flight, which just having mind control for 125 as like your printed speed power is kind of rough. She has no yeah. other way of moving herself other than like TK, and that's also a power action. Um, so she has the let's there be let there be carnage trait, and then she has the eviscerator supreme trait, which is when an opposing character would be dealt damage from carnage Clea's mystics, instead roll a d6 and deal that character penetrating damage equal to half the result. I think this is a really fun one. Uh, after resolutions. Friend the character with the symbiote keyword KOs one or more opposing. I think this would count for KOing an opposing character. It would be in effect because Mystics oh, yeah. triggers retail. So, yeah, yeah. if uh, if you roll like a three Kills and KO mystics, somebody with yeah. yeah her Mystics pen, she would, I mean, everyone that's on your team, if you're running the full Carnage chase lot, um, everyone would heal. She doesn't get much better uh, as she heals from the 50-point line. Like I said, like clicks one through four are all basically the same. She mm -hmm. goes up to an 18 defense on clicks one and two, uh, where she starts with like a 17 on click four, and then click three is also a 17. She gets a little bit faster on click five, or on click four, she's a seven, and then she goes up to eight speed. But like her attack value only goes up to an 11. And then if she takes damage from her click four so clicks three or no not click three uh click five six and seven her last three clicks she gets force blast keeps that attack power she gets esd on six and seven with a 17 and 18 respectively and then three damage with perplex those last three clicks and then she gets one click of regeneration at the very end uh as far as the chases go i think this is probably the best one. I would definitely buy it if someone has it listed for eighty dollars. Oh gosh! Um, plus shipping, I would definitely buy mm. it right now. Please buy it. Uh, no, like this one's. She's a good tech. Piece. Like Whatever I'm not gonna lie, she's meant by that. She's a good tech piece. She's got flight in sealed. If I had pulled this in sealed, she's probably like top. Oh, okay. Uh, I do support agree with piece. that. Yeah. Um, but like TK as far as light is yeah, nice. as as far as the carnages you want to pull for constructed, I don't think she's it. She's not yeah. dealing a lot of damage. She's not healing to some super cool click. She doesn't have double rollouts. She doesn't have protected outwit. She doesn't have any of those kind of things that you're looking for. And like, mm -hmm. she is just your the prob for your uh, carnage clan Basically. team, I guess. Yeah. Except for the next character that also has yep, who also has <laughs> probability <laughs> control. All right, Carnage Rocket Raccoon. So he's got first trait is oh the stuff I'm gonna make out of your bones. Very creepy. <laughs> Thank you, Rocket. When Carnage Rocket KOs one or more opposing characters, friendly characters the symbiote keyword modify attack and defense plus one until your next turn. And then he has on every click, but his first click is it's a gun that eats people and it's hungry. Steel energy, but with close or ranged attacks. Pretty good for you, Rocket. So what's he looking like? I'm already loving this guy. Wow. Uh, running shot, first three clicks. So he's got 75 or 50, which is the least differential we've ever seen in any yeah. of these carnages, right? So only 25 more points for those two clicks. And I think uh, I, yeah. I think they're easily worth you it, You absolutely honestly. play that guy at 75. Uh, this likely. guy is like your carnage. He opens the can. He gets the first kill. He is improved targeting, destroys blocking terrain. He is running shot pen side. Four damage with outwit, 18 defense, super senses, top dial. 
that's insane. If that doesn't say, all right, here's boom, here's the first easy kill, and then we all heal, and we all start getting rolling, because I think Rocket, he's your can opener. I think he's he's the guy that runs up, gets the party started. 11 for four, That's yeah. really That's just really solid, you know? Uh, so he's got super senses for three clicks, and he goes on a willpower for two, and then regen for his last one, outwit for his top two, and then second two is prob. Well, so he will start with prob if you want to play him at 50. And then he has a last two clicks of RCE. Like I said, running shot for his first three, and then his last three he has stealth. Yeah, I think shape change super senses top dial gives him good survivability. I think you can play him at either one. Uh, he does have team ability for Guardians, which is really good to note. So oh, yeah. his common values can't be negatively modified by opposing effects or can't be modified, period, by opposing effects. And then, yeah, man, him being able to, when he KOs somebody, gives you all plus one attack and defense. I think he's he is easily, easily your opener. Yeah, Carnage Rocket Raccoon. If you're going to build a, a Carnage team, I think you need Carnage Rocket. 100%. Yeah. 100%. I didn't wow. look at his dial. I didn't realize but how I, good he was. Yeah, yeah. Man, he's really good. Yeah. Um, Man, yikes. I'm confused because the next character has a 50-point line, but it... It ain't the same 50 points. Yeah, I don't well, know. I'm paying a much different 50 points for this guy. I don't know what guy. the discussion was for what 50 points means in this set, <laughs> but it means some pretty wild things. Man. Yeah, so Carnage yeah. Silver Surfer, he's the last of our Carnages. Uh, real name, Norin Rad. Nice. Stands for radically attack you because I'm current. I don't know. Uh, he's got the cosmic energy team ability. So willpower protected at wit. Six range, triple lightning bolt. You'd think that the cosmic energy guy, maybe like he's the one that only has like a 75 point line, but I think they wanted you to be able to play them all together. So he yeah. got the 50 point line. Even though his 50 point line is six clicks long, where everyone else's is four or three or something. Um, so he's got a 775 point line. And then a 50 point line, which is unlike Rockets being the smallest difference, this is the largest. He is 125 yeah. points for three extra clicks. Uh, you might play that in sealed, though. Like maybe. Uh, it's probably maybe worth it. We'll get maybe. into it. He has a special speed power for his first five clicks. And then on his last click, he has three clicks of uh, just hypersonic thrown in there. The like clicks. Uh, six, seven, and eight. He has a regular hypersonic. On uh, click one, he has uh, penetrating psychic blast, and then the rest of his dial, he has a special attack power. His first three clicks, he has invincible with a 19, 18, 18. His first five clicks, he has ranged combat expert. On his 50-point line, he starts with that special speed power, that special attack power, and instead of invincible, he starts with super senses and ranged combat expert. And then on those clicks with hypersonic only, he gets toughness and exploit. And then his last click, he has a single click of regen with that exploit. Mm. So obviously he has the let there be carnage trait. That is his only trait. Uh, he has improved targeting through elevated, which is, I think it's the only character in this set that. It's the only one yeah, I really noticed. There's really not a lot of improved targeting in this set. No. Um, so he has, unlike the gun eats people, he has a board that eats people. The board must feed. Hypersonic speed is his special speed power. When Carnage Silver Surfer uses it and hits after resolutions, he may make an attack. So similar to that Spider-Man, he can flurry, essentially. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. Ranged flurry. Yeah. Yeah. Also, yeah, he can also just do it from range. So it'd be three range while using hypersonic yeah. triple lightning bolts. Uh, and then he his special attack power is penetrating psychic blast, steel energy, but with close or range attacks. So he has a good way to heal up. If you start him at 175 points, you are going to lose 125 points if he's dealt damage to like you know click four. But it might be worth it because you can heal back up. Right yeah. yeah, the difference is at 175 points. If you get knocked below that, you can heal back up to that with steel energy. Where if you start on click 50, you can only heal up to that from KOing opposing right, characters. Exactly. So I really like him. I don't know where he fits with the rest of them. Obviously, hypersonic speed and then um, being able to like do a secondary attack with it is pretty solid. I still think Rocket is possibly like the can opener. Maybe Thor is the one that does it. I would really like to start this, this guy at 50. Candidate. Yeah, at I mean, 50, though. He's a 12 for 4. I mean, yeah. so better than Rocket at 50. 
Yeah. Versus 75, no penetrating psychic blood. No, he does have penetrating. So, yeah, yeah, he's actually better than Rocket at 50 points versus 75. I guess no outwit, I suppose. But he can make two attacks yeah. versus just one. Yeah, a little I range. Know, card surfers. In, I think he's just the money chase the set, right? He's got to be the most sought after. I think if anything, he's this the set one I'm looking at like the most. Yeah, meta. I think he goes on a lot of alpha strike type teams. I mean, and his, you uh, don't have man, to his run low dial is just long enough to not be easily yeah. one tapped. So there it's are huge. other symbiotes outside of the chases that you could run and potentially KO stuff with. But right. alternatively, if you're just running one of them, they can kick that KO thing off themselves and heal themselves over their starting line with that. So it's just kind of cool. I don't know if I said his keywords, but Defenders, Symbiote, Cosmic, Herald, and Monster. Herald. Yeah, Herald Green Lanterns are going to have a wild friend to help them out. Yeah. All right. Now we're in the Gwen chases. No, no, don't don't turn off the podcast yet. No, there's a lot of cool (laughs) stuff still. Don't don't go. Don't go. So it goes Spider 2099, Gwen Stacy, Team Ability, Spider-Man, Range, 4, 1, Target, 75 points, Avengers, Spider-Man Family, and Future. She's a trait, Lone Vigilante of the Future. At the beginning of the game, you roll a d6 and give Ghost Spider 2099 a number of Vigilante tokens equal to the result. Free, remove a Vigilante token to move Ghost Spider 2099 up oh. to her speed value. Wow. Dang, so she's got a lot of free move right away. So she gets, yeah, equal to the result. So potentially six got just free moves. That's Six grand entrances? Yeah, dude, it's kind of insane. All right, uh, her second trait, we're going to read this once, because all of them have it. It's a Gwengers. Yeah, remember that co- uncommon Gwen we talked yeah, about? from two and a half hours ago, three hours yeah. ago? This is the payoff, baby. Uh, when Ghost Spider is hits, after resolutions, you may move all friendly characters with this trait one square. It's very simple. Yeah. If they got a Gwengers trait, you got to move them one square if they hit. Pretty cool. Helps them kind of move a little bit more as a team. It's, it's neat. And then she has a special damage power on her first three clicks and her very last click, which is important because Gwen Stacy can maybe go to her last click. Yeah. Holographic masking tech. It gives her shape change, outwit. When Ghost Spider uses shape change and succeeds or uses outwit and targets an opposing character, after resolutions, you give her a vigilante token. She can get more? How, more, how much more does she need? She can move wow. so far, so much. Movement's the name of the game. I will say uh, something to note. She has no lead climb. She has no improved movement at all. She's mm-hmm. a, just a boot. Uh, but so what is she, what's her dial look like? She's got charge, precision strike, and combat reflexes for her first three clicks. Then she goes to sidestep, quake, super senses, and close combat expert on her next three. And then her last click is a mirror of her first three, which is charge, precision strike, combat reflexes with yeah. that special damage power. So yeah, she's got some shape change. She's got some outwit. She'll get 50-50 senses on those middle three clicks there. She's pretty cool. She's nothing crazy for 75 points. I think the Gwenders are going to be really fun. But, man, that moving, that is wild. That is, like, yeah. I definitely, if any of you listeners, like, play her and mess around with her a lot, like, give us some good stories or tell us how much this free movement impacts the Doesn't game. say up to your, like, printed speed value either. Just so, up like, to her speed value. tempo gives you a plus Ooh, three, yeah, and plus then all three. of a sudden... I'm going to free move 11 squares, oh yeah, charge yeah. to the, like, that's literally a full map move. Yeah, with tempo. I mean, I mean already on she the, has a 12 on the square, small maps, yeah. like, reach, right, on the top. So she's oh, yeah. punching the 13th square by herself already. Yeah. Uh, and she's guaranteed at least one vigilante token, this crazy lady. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, man, she's dope. Go ahead. Okay, now we've got Guacai, Hawkwin, um, Yeah, this is the one with the arrows. So Mm -hmm. this is Spider-Man team ability, seven range, triple lightning bolts. Okay, it does outrange the other one. Uh, Seven range, (laughs) triple lightning bolts, 75 points, Avengers, Spider-Man family, martial artist. Uh, So she's got four clicks of running shot as a Hawk Gwen should. Four clicks of a special attack power, four clicks of ESD, four clicks of enhancement. Last three clicks, so seven click long dial, are sidestep. Uh, two clicks of precision strike on clicks five and six. And then three last three clicks are super senses and ranged combat expert. And the last click goes back to that special attack mm. power. So 12 attacks, top dial, 11 attacks in the middle. Last two clicks are 10. She starts with an 18 with that ESD and then goes to 17s the rest of the dial. Uh, top three, she's got three damage and she goes down to two, but not too bad. I think she can she can damage people the whole time. So uh, she has a bass guitar, keeping the beat, willpower. When Hawk 
when Hawk Gwen hits after resolutions, action total plus one this turn, which is pretty solid. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't. I'm assuming one specific one will have leadership. Right. And so yeah, this will give you the ability to do plus like two five actions. actions. Yeah, yeah, five action turn. Uh, well, in a 300 point game at least. Right. And then she's got the Agwenders trait, obviously. And then her special attack power is Trick Arrows. Free. Choose one to use this turn. Energy Explosion, Incapacitate, Penetrating Psychic Blast, or Precision Strike. So full dial of Precision Strike or um, she can have pul- uh, not Pulse Wave. Energy Explosion, Incap, Pensai on most of her dial, except for those two random clicks at the near end. So yeah, if the uh, what uh, Gwen Stacy uncommon turns into this one. She's got sidestep or RCE. So she'd be an 11 for three with maybe energy explosion or psychic blast or precision strike. I don't think you're going to rain or maybe you end cap because she does have triple target. That's true. Maybe it's not a terrible one. Again, it is weird, but again, this one doesn't have any uh, improved movement. Yeah. I think even Hawkeye would normally have improved movement. So for improved targeting. Yeah. Yeah. Something. All right, the Ingwenable Hulk. Incredible. Wow. Just amazing. Uh, Team Spider-Man, of course, 125 or 75. Now, I don't know what the difference was between the Gwenders designer and the Carnage designer, but I think this one understands 125 to 75. A little bit more. No offense. Yeah. Uh, Well, I don't think the Carnages are... At least most of them aren't like really meant to be played at the top dial. Ever. That's true. That it's is like, very true. well, you you can, I guess, but yeah. like, really, so we want you to random number. To... We want you to play them at fifty and heal, right? <laughs> Obviously, but uh, so yeah, Gwen of a Hulk here, one twenty five or seventy five. She gains four whole clicks of life with impervious uh, if you add fifty more points to her. So her first five clicks, her fifth click is the starting line of her fifty point line. She has charge, super strength close combat expert and a special defense power for her first five clicks she also gets that on her last click which i think i mean wow this is the one you turn into yeah right? so is her it, last how is it is a, not is an eight speed 12 attack charge super strength 18 defense so like i said she has pers- impervious and then close combat with five damage she's a 13 for six eight square charge but that's not all, folks. I'm with super some strength. Pretty gnarly, yeah, with super strength. I'm going to get some pretty gnarly traits that will make you blow your mind. So that special defense power, impervious, she can reduce penetrating damage, and it has protected outwit. Pretty dang freaking good. So she's just rolling that impervious. You, get, yeah. you don't get a choice, bro. Uh, pulse wave is your only option at that point. Yeah. So she has that for first five clicks or on her last click, which we've already said is definitely what Gwen Stacy needs to turn into. Her lead vocals front man trait gives her flurry. So now she is a 13 for six flurry. Just saying. And then that trait also gives her during the first attack of an opponent's turn. If the Gwenable Hulk is not the target, you modify the attacker's attack and damage minus one. So if you don't wow. shoot her or attack her the first attack in your turn, you have minus one attack and damage. Yeah, this one is kind of insane. So she's got like a three damage most of the time. She gets, so in those three clicks where it's a break between her charge, super strength, all that wild stuff, she's a sidestep, quake, invincible, battle fury. She does go all the way up to a four damage um, on those uh, bottom two clicks there. On seven and eight before she gets to click nine where she's her freaking psycho mode click. I'd uh, pay 30 points for that last click, yeah. Yeah, I would absolutely pay 30 points that last click. Are you kidding me? Holy, sp- I mean, you pay 20 points. You I give guess, up yeah, you pay, yeah, you give up 30, but you yeah. only pay 20 for it, yeah. Wow. That, I mean, how do you not, right? Yeah. 13 for six. Four Twice. square. Charge flurry. <laughs> impervious. Protected outwit. Super senses on a six. Can reduce penetrating damage. Yeah. Holy smokes. All right. She's probably got one of the hardest to chew through dials in this set. I agree. Um, Insta just seal, because the and play. yeah can reduce pen with impervious, and then she only gets uh, super senses on a six, but yeah. still. Dang, that's really good, man. It's really. It's not like meta or anything, but man, it's good. I mean, yeah. It's really solid. Makes me want to like play that Gwen Stacy and K-Ware myself. Maybe at 50, she could see some play on some... Or I guess she's 75. Man, if that was, if that was yeah. 50, then yeah, I would say so. But nah, 75, probably not. But man, that is such a solid dial. Yeah. The problem is I just... I want that last click. And I just want that last click, too. And without Gwen Stacy turning into this, you're 
probably going to get knocked over it. Yeah. Your opponent probably won't let you land on it. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Yep. All right. I get a captain now. Captain Gwen America. I've never heard of it. Uh, <laughs> Spider-Man team ability. Five range, two lightning bolts, 75 points, and 35-point line. She's got the Avengers, Spider-Man family, and Black Hole Suns. Yeah, I, was, I just saw that. I was like, Black Hole Suns. Won't you come wash away a rain? Is this, is this a real in the world? Is it? I don't know. Is this a joke we're being they're playing on us? Hujibo has been messing with us yeah. so much in this set, dude. <laughs> I'm checking. I'm checking. Click Nikki. I went to AC Realm. There's dude. no black hole suns. There's no black hole suns <laughs> keyword. What is this? What is that? Uh, what are you so it's actually to... Avengers, Spider-Man, Family, and Soldier. I was somebody say, was somebody was... trying to look up some music while they were yeah. typing these out. Something tells me there's a little bit of a difference between the soldier keyword and the black hole suns keyword. What is this dude on? <laughs> All right. She's got the Avengers trait. She's got the rhythm guitar trait. Um, so she's the rhythm guitar of the band. Power Leadership. Core. When Captain Gwen America uses it and succeeds, she may also remove an action token from a character that shares a keyword with her from anywhere on the map. Mm, so, that's cool. yeah. Cool. We've seen other caps do similar stuff. Um, yeah, that's right. She's a cap. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. She's got a special yeah. speed power, her first four clicks. She's got precision strike, the first four clicks, defend the first four clicks, and outwit the first four clicks. Uh, pretty static value. She has a 19 defense on click one, then goes down to an 18 for clicks two, three, and four. Three damage, those first four clicks. Eight speed, those first four clicks. 10 attack. She keeps a 10 attack the whole dial. Her last three clicks, she gets sidestep, incapacitate, toughness with 17 defense and two damage with close combat expert so she'll be an 11 for three uh two targets to in cap if you want um yeah that special speed power is charge running shot and stealth hmm. super soldier covert ops except i don't think she is a super soldier uh but yeah she has i think the best part about this one is that it's like the 19 defend right you oh yeah 75 absolutely. points for 19 defend giving her like the carter shield or something yeah, that'd be really nice um i don't think the 30 maybe the 35 point line has a place i think it's yeah i mean, the fact yeah. That I mean it does 10 attack it does give you leadership dial, outwit and you know you still get all the same stuff you're just missing the 19 yeah that's literally the only difference oh yeah i guess yeah now that you say that yeah her attack value doesn't yeah Maybe that is the better line. It's kind of like you're doing Captain America dirty little. Uh, this is not the only... one that you turn into. No, hundred percent. No, the absolutely. Last not. click is not designed like the others. It's where not actually, it's... these her and Iron Gwen aren't really designed like the others either. No, so she just has yeah, sidestep, in cap, toughness, and close combat expert. Where huh. all the other ones kind of parroted their earlier dials. Yeah, or at least like one of the powers Some kind of communication thing. Communication wasn't happening. <laughs> like, yo, let's not tell the guy that's got to design Iron Gwen, Gwen America. Yeah, this is so funny. <laughs> kind of yeah. kind of how it looks but yeah she's simple i think this yeah. is if you're gonna pull a chase and sealed fine. this isn't the worst one no um it's it obviously worse. not like the big bruiser kind of like hulk was like the right. inguinable hulk yeah. was but this is a very good 35 points to build around and sealed yeah. or and constructed all right, black, all... black hole suns keyword. Get black out of here! Sun. What is this? I'm firing you from HC Realms. Yeah, I don't know how they choose who gets to like do these. <laughs> I don't know right? either. It's like, oh, I call dibs. You know, do they have like a beginning? Of now the I'm year? wondering how was like, any of this correct? I, we need to. Yeah, like... dude. Now I'm really scared about this whole yeah. set review. I, I think it's probably all over mostly again. right. No, we're not doing that. Uh, <laughs> we're just gonna issue an apology. <laughs> Okay, Iron Gwen. Again, mostly probably correct keywords. Uh, Team Spider-Man? Maybe? <laughs> I'm not going to do that the whole time. But uh, range, six, one bolt. Points, 150. Keywords, Avengers. Spider-Man family, armor, scientist. I hope Stark Avengers is or Stark Industries is missing from Iron Gwen. It'd be weird if she didn't have Stark Industries. Caden. <laughs> uh, so she's got a few traits. Obviously, Gwenger's. Uh, keyboard, keyboards, creating synthesized harmonies. She does this sculpt is actually really cool. Yeah. She looks very Daft Punky. Um, yeah, very yeah. '90s like uh, what is that? Uh, house music, techno. Yeah, or, yeah whatever. And she's got the cool visor thing and like robot aesthetic. 
free. Choose one to use until your next turn. Empower, enhancement, or perplex. So she's kind of a glorified support with her trait. She also has a damage power for her first four clicks. Uh, click number four is her starting line for 50 points. This gives her probability control. When Iron Gwen uses it, after all rerolls and replacements, increase or decrease the attack roll result by plus one or minus one. So she's kind of like your super support for a you're a Gwenger's team, which is really cool. Uh, so what's her dial look like? Well, on her 100-point line, she is running shot, penetrating second blast with invulnerability. She is an 11 for 4 and 8 speed with an 18 defense. Uh, then she, after those two clicks with the same power, she goes on to some sidestep toughness with uh, Pensai with that same damage power. And then her last three clicks, she has force blast, energy explosion, ESD, and then uh, range combat expert. She's pretty solid. I actually kind of like her as a support. She's the only prob, I believe, to get on an Aguenger's team. She can also give out in power, enhancement, or perplex. Sadly, not all three. I, I wish you could choose two and then use them to your next turn. Yeah. really help her out a lot. Make me Maybe she feel more like a chase or more like my big support. But the prop control is really good. With all the dire replacements and whatnot, uh, being able to be like flat plus one, minus one after like last say is really cool. So I, I like her. I don't think she's crazy, but I think if you do play in a Gwenger's team, you probably do need her probably at 50 just to be sidestepping around, helping out, taking some pot shots just to help out, I would say. But yeah, she's nothing crazy. Sealed pull wise I'd probably play her at 100 if I got her in sealed. Perplex of her own defense, keep herself alive for a pretty long time with that probability control, I'd say. Uh, she can get some good kills in probably. But yeah, Iron Gwen, pretty solid. And she looks cool. I do like yeah. her sculpt a lot. All right, it's the first Gwen we saw yeah. way back way back at Worlds. Yeah. It's Gwen, Goddess of Thunder. Um, Spider-Man team ability, 5 range, 1 lightning bolt, 85-point line, and 55-point line. The 85-point line will get you two additional clicks. The 55-point line starts on click 3, mm -hmm. so I think this is one of the better ones to start low dial, but yeah. uh, that's also losing out on uh, two clicks of Invincible, so... Mm -hmm. Clicks one and two, running shot, special attack power for the first four clicks, two clicks of invincible, and then she's got prob her whole dial. So <laughs> as Guardian Avengers, Spider-Man and Spider-Man family and DD keywords. Uh, she is the lead guitar face melting solo, which is traded pulse wave when Man. Gwen Goddess of Thunder uses it. Uh, friendly characters gain safeguard pulse wave during this action. So <laughs> wow. I think that's the I don't know. That's a really good pulse wave power. There's characters that do like, you know, plus one damage. So they do like two damage or um, like Deathstroke can roll for it. But like this is like really good where you don't have to break formation. You don't have to send her out on her own. She just pulse waves right in the, like the middle of everything. I think she's got the flight symbol, even though it shows it boot. boot here. Yeah, Kaden. I'm pretty sure it's flight. Um on clicks three and on, so on her secondary starting line, she has running shot with that special attack power. Oh, I haven't said what the special attack power is. Yeah, bro. For the first four clicks, it's precision strike knockback, oh, all caps she's knockback. Pulse wave knockback. Yeah, so she does pulse wave cool. knockback, possibly knock people into walls, off ledges, mm -hmm. whatever. Um, she instead of invincible, she has a seventeen toughness, which is real rough for for thirty points less. That's Basically, That's what you're losing is yeah. you're losing the uh, the reducer. Uh, she goes on to on click four. She goes on to charge. Still has that special attack power. So she becomes a charge precision strike knockback pulse wave whatever. Uh, and then yeah. she gets pulse wave yeah, on her dad. That's either a uh, John Stewart type. Mix up, or that is a Caden type mix up. <laughs> we we can't be too sure. We got to double check again. Yeah, geez. Yeah, man. I hope we got the set mostly right. <laughs> Gosh, I think. I mean, I think we did, but yeah. Um, yeah. Man. So we're gonna say that's pulse wave. That's quake. Quake. It's supposed to be quake. Maybe it just looks weird. I'm that gonna, makes sense. I'm gonna hover. Nah, because that's what lime green looks like to you normally. Oh, it's not going to show. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that's that's, that's Pulse Wave. That's supposed to be quake. quake. That makes way more sense. So she gets Caden. Charge Quake for her last what three cl three clicks. Uh, 12 attack top dial, 12 attack bottom dial. On her last two clicks, she gets a four damage with her uh, prob and 17. She goes back to the 
Invincible for her last two clicks, so 17 defense with Invincible. Um, she's not a terrible option compared to the Ingwenable Hulk. She's probably not the best option, but she is a charge, pulse wave, four damage, quake, like got a lot going on. Uh, she does lose the knockback. Well, I guess she gets knockback from Quake if you want to do that still. But yeah, I don't know. If I was going to rank them, I'd say Ingwenable Hulk is the first one to pick up. Easily. Goddess of Thunder. Oh, I, I like that Pulse Wave. I really like that Pulse yeah. Wave giving Safeguard Pulse Wave to your That's friendly so characters. That's wild. We haven't seen that Our... since like Superman. You know, it's really weird. I think... I know early on, I was always like, oh, man, the Gwen chases are like the trash chases you don't want. The Carnage chases are clearly better. I think point for point, synergy, everything wise, I think the Gwen chases are like better than all the Carnage chases, like as a team. That's not something we'll probably ever do in person, but we, well, no. we could proxy. We could do it on Proxy though, battle like the, proxy, yeah. yeah. The I, Gwens versus Carnages. You know, I get the healing and everything from the Carnages, and Carnage is, like, a cooler thing than just people named Gwen Stacy are now the Avengers. But, yeah. like, just looking at their dials and their low point line compared to their high point line and everything, man, if it was just chases, I think Carnages need that super Carnage. Ooh, and she's got the deity keyword, so she can she can uh, be Spider-Man family. Oh, dude, thank goodness. Thank freaking goodness, dude. Oh, ew. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... Without Dee Dee, she could have only been Spider-Man family by, like, being on an Asgard theme team yeah. with Spider-Viking. Spiker, Spider-Viking, Spider that's he, right. She wouldn't have gotten it, obviously. Yeah. She'd just been on the theme team. I would say Asgardian Jeez. seems like a... If they're going to go forward with uh, keyword-specific equipment, Asgardian seems like a good oh, bet for something that will eventually get equipment. Speaking so. of equipment... Um, oh, boy. I don't think they showed they us... They Symbiote Black, Symbiote Red. There's right there. Symbiote Black. So we did Symbiote Red we did, yeah. when we were talking about Carnage. Uh, but yeah, the Venom symbiote, qualifying name Venom. Uh, so this is just some housekeeping. We're done with the set. Um, qualifying keyword symbiote. So you actually, with the Carnage chases, you can equip one with the Carnage symbiote and one, one with, with a Venom, Venom symbiote. Yeah. Uh, the equipments are unique, but you can double down like that. Uh, the Venom symbiote, however is Steel Energy Stealth. When this character uses Steel Energy, if a hit character is KO'd during the attack, heal two clicks instead. Mm. Carnage says, Blades, Claws, Fang, Steel Energy. If this character can always already use Steel Energy. They instead heal one click for each damaged character. So they can... That'd be really good on somebody that's got... Uh, like the Carnage Cap, who oh, does yeah. like the Quake. Yeah. The Everybody? Quake exploit, whatever. Exactly, yeah. He, he heals for each, for each one. Yeah, yeah, he, he could like good. top dial... Well, he can't heal past his starting right, line, but he could like top two that. But yeah, with like um, one attack. Yeah, that'd be really good. I guess. Do you want to do legacy cards? No, nah, we're not going to do that. Okay. No, nah, we're going to go sleep. Uh, <laughs> There's a Miles and a Spider Man no, Peter we're Parker. Not do either. So I, I kind of thought of the idea. So like an idea of like ranking the set. I thought of a few categories. So okay. sub theme objects, chases, and then sealed play, and then I would say constructed play uh, would be our way to like rank. A set. Uh, I was I was going for my personal ranks. I was going one out of ten. So if you want to put yours on the slashes beside, so like, what do you think about you know? So like sub themes. My line of like thinking for sub themes was I think they kept them very concise. They kept them very synergistic, mm. and they filled out sub themes that were previously not totally filled out. So Spider Man Family already has a lot of great versions of them, but we did not have an Aunt May before, so she was really necessary. So they filled out that sub theme. They gave us good replacements for Mary Jane and Gwen Stacy. Obviously, this Gwen Stacy, I mean, I would say compared to the uh, Venom Absolute Carnage, Gwen Stacy is not nearly as good with the whole autonomous with everything else. But this Mary Jane, she fits a role that's totally different than the old Mary Jane. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of my idea for sub theme. I don't know, what do you think about? Sub I mean, they did hand well. They had like a bit of a Daredevil sub theme. That's true. A Daredevil sub theme makes sense in a Spider Man set. They yeah. Ally a lot. You know, the Sinister Syndicate sub theme was super fleshed out. Sinister Syndicate we sub never... theme was probably the strongest yeah, in oh, my absolutely. opinion. Absolutely. Um, I'm not going to consider the chase themes as sub themes, even though they technically are they kind of are but we kind of count them as chases themselves yeah um i don't know i i think they did a good job 
The only critique I would have is that there's some Sinister Syndicate characters that haven't been clicked in a long time or yeah. ever. And we do just straight up have like the same ones that we had in Superior Foes and, and Earth X. Earth X and, and like, yeah. you know, we're, we've got some repeats. Um, I think Chameleon's like my favorite. I mean, not not my favorite because of his like what he does, but he's my favorite like returning one because it feels we like haven't we haven't had Superior Foes. Yeah, so yeah we really haven't had one since the, the champ selected one. Uh, what was that? Who was that that won that one? That was, was that George Massey? I don't remember. But yeah, their faces. That Patrick Poco? It's Patrick. It's Patrick, Poco. yeah. Patrick. Yeah. George would have picked somebody like right. like Chameleon would have been choking himself or something. <laughs> Except it would have had half George's face. <laughs> yeah. I'm, only, I'm only poking fun at him. You poking fun at him. <laughs> so out of our one through <laughs> ten ranks, I just I got Simeon. I know he he wasn't prepared for this at all, so I kind of made him rush. Sorry. That's okay. Uh, our one through ten rank of the set, the highest this set can get is a hundred because there's five categories: so sub theme, objects, chases, seal play, and then constructed play. Uh, the set score ended up being sixty three out of a hundred, just between just Simeon and I's opinions. So sub theme. Uh, out of 20, got a 17. That was, I think, the highest scoring thing. We both agree that it killed it on sub-theme. Yeah. For objects, as far as a set that has objects... They're very um, hit and miss. They're very hit and miss. Some are There's... really cool, some are well, and... nothing crazy, and some are okay. Even though it's, it's like the second set that has qualifying keywords for objects... I'm disappointed with how name. few there are. Yeah. Yeah. So like a lot of them are just qualifying names. Yeah. I'm, I'm a little disappointed that like, there's not a lot of, and to be fair, like boomerangs, boomerang, like what would be the qualifying keyword? Like if it was like soldier, it wouldn't make sense. That's no, not like a, like, you maybe know. sinister syndicate. Right. But not all right. of them use his boomerang. So I, I understand yeah. why there's not specific keywords for him, but it does feel like maybe they could have picked. And also, We've had the pumpkin bombs before. We I have. guess we've had the goblin glider before too, so that's not necessarily like I think a great option. Were better before, I, yeah. I would probably say staying at three damage for everything. So objects ended up getting a twelve out of twenty. Uh, chases. This is a pretty lackluster chase set. Both sub themes are pretty rough. I'm a just few winners, yeah. but I'm not a big fan of like the symbiote, I, like symbiote symbiote versions of characters i don't know I'm you done. just slap the goo on a character yep. and i i'm like cool i would prefer to have an iconic version of that character or yeah. i mean literally like anything else like we talked about this weeks oh, ago oh my, about yeah. like alternate versions that you could do for different characters i'd prefer we like do more warp world stuff or oh, absolutely more like time displaced whiz kids invented stuff those like are the best chases those, those are were usually my super favorite cool. kind of chases that whiz kids does is their own original characters oc oh, chases yeah so chases scored a nine out of 20 Oof. sealed play we both played in a sealed pre-release it's a really rough set to play in i actually sealed. i think i should have scored oh, this one higher you think so because well so you and Ian got uh, Ian got first. You got second. Right. You both pulled two rares. I was basing it on like there's a lot of figures in here where if you pull that like you're just at, you have like a huge advantage. Right. But you guys managed to like beat a lot of that stuff with rares. So really, That's I true. shouldn't have. Maybe you should have given it higher. I maybe should have given it higher. But I still think that there's you can get some terrible pulls and then there's certain things in here that you're just never like that prime yeah. kingpin. You're never killing that in time no. in sealed. Um, I don't know if I'd be able to kill a Dr. Octopus in sealed. Yeah. That doc Oc is all like, that mastermind without like an outwit without. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that this iron spider. Yeah. Uh, he's ridiculous and sealed. Um, that's this spider also ridiculous oh, yeah, and sealed. Spin, I mean, yeah, slash, we, slash DR. we went through yeah. a lot of characters that are just kind of crazy and sealed. And I mean, not Venom. Thanos, it's even crazy. But... That, yeah. Venom Thanos, who <laughs> seems crazy on paper, but because it was able to play against him. Sorry, Kyle. I don't, I don't mean to be rude to you. No, uh, I, I will say, I think I didn't realize this part of the trait. The, uh, if he's within oh, four, four squares. squares away, yeah. I think I might've been shooting with him, like oh, within four squares. Uh -oh, Cause I was, I was blasting him with, uh, Bullseye. I don't know if he was outside of four squares or not, but I might have been inadvertently cheating that game, so that might be why I won. But yeah. 
But no, there's a lot of stuff in this set that seems like you get a huge leg up. Spider Supreme's another one. I don't think you're getting that 250 points. I don't think so. So like you're maybe winning, you're maybe beating right. like 50 points out of him, and then all he has to do is kill like 60 or 51, right. you know. enough. But yeah, so I don't know. To me, it was like how fun was it to like actually play in sealed? So we were That's able true. to do like really well with what we pulled. But overall, like, synergy in the set, it is there. So there is good sealed synergy between Spider-Man Family and, of course, Sinister Syndicate. But that is more so to the sub-theme credit more than I sealed gameplay I also credit. think it would have been way more fun if there was more leadership and we needed more, more taxis. Like, more leadership, more taxis. And you had so many low-point characters. Batman team-up had, you know, that Fred that carries, like, three yes. or four or whatever. Um, There's not a single person in the set that carries more than one no. person. Besides Doc Ock, who only can carry his own arms. Right. So... No taxi at all in this set is really tough. Even, you know, I guess Underworld is the only person that has... Right, technically. Uh, technically can carry two yeah. people, but there's only two people in the set that have Underworld. There's only one person in the set, Punisher, that has team player uh, for the first time in Spider-Man's history in a Spider-Man yeah. set, you know, which is really funny. Uh, there's a good amount of prob in this set, though, so I really like that for Sealed. Uh, there wasn't a dry set for prob. There's a decent amount of, like, perplex, outwit, support powers yep. in this set. I will say heavy rollouts are not fun uh, to like play yes, against. That like, is it's, true. Spider-Man's an annoying character. Like that's his thing is that he is annoying. Um, his villains all say that. I think that's like probably they have all at one point in time said annoying spider or troublesome or something. So rollouts are annoying. So thankfully like that does fit. But it's not fun to like play against and sometimes not fun to play uh, right. depending on your luck. It's purely a luck based power it can be like oh man i didn't make any of my rollouts this sucks or like dude all that guy does is make rollouts i haven't been able to hit a 30 point character and get rid of him this entire game so that's you know to some credit of seal play and then last was constructed which kind of hit in middle of the road above average uh, it ended up being a 14 out of 20 i don't think there's a ton of stuff for like meta constructed stuff to play out of this set i think like the support yeah. stuff that's really cheap is really good so like you know um aunt may really cheap really good support easy i think i do think we're gonna see a little bit of venom surfer i think he might be messed around i honestly think penny parker might get messed around a little bit maybe it kind of depends well, what the world kind of looks like here's another wild thing about um that that spider penny parker uh that is amazing mastermind fodder. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It gains right? immobile and immune. If you can stay next to that thing right. and like Penny doesn't die. Like if you can yeah, if you can, can hide Penny, Penny away Penny somehow. Alive, yeah. yeah. Um you just keep masterminding to this immobile immune figure yeah. that's stuck on its like well, it's not I, even stuck I on its last click, it's healing every turn. Right. That is kind of wild. Yeah, I think there's definitely stuff to mess with with like key phrases and abilities like that. So overall I don't think it's bad to say that it got a 63. We are still going to probably play in one more pre-release at least this week. Uh, so look out for that video. So we already kind of shout out the video that we already did have and up on the channel. That'll be in the link below where me, Ian, and Simeon all play. How you spell Cassidy. Uh, I know, dude. This dude super messed it up a lot. I, mm. I think it's with another S and a C, not a it's K. A, yeah, it's right? definitely a C. Yeah. I think a C, uh, two S's and an I instead yeah, of an A. This dude, dude, Caden, bro. I think he's just, he, he knew we were going to use this thread. He somehow of, knew and wanted to be littered with as many random inconsistencies and problems as possible. Yeah, it is. Cletus, oh wait, no, that is how it's spelled on. Wow, never mind. That's how, okay. Well, I'll take that back. Picnic. Sorry, Caden. Um, anyways. That's not how it's spelled in the but comics, though. take a look uh, for, the video should be up later this week. If we do end up going to three pre-releases, it's a maybe. But uh, I have kind of a blog, vlog video of our first pre-release. And then Simi and I are going to be going to maybe two more, but definitely one more pre-release this week. So hopefully we can get the full Dial H crew a pre-release win. Uh, wow, I'll be darned. I'm just, this is a, what, what do they call that? The, uh, no, like the uh, the Berenstein bear effect or what? The Ma oh, Mandela Bern effect. Berenstein bears? Berenstein? Yeah. yeah, it's the Mandela effect to me right yeah. now. I could have swore that was a C and two yeah. S's. And, okay. Cassidy, was, Cassidy was spelled different. Mm -hmm. But that is the Spider-Man set. Um, I guess we normally ask, how much are you buying of this? I'm not going to buy any, which is why I'm going all these pre-releases. I sadly need two chases, mm -hmm. but I'll, I'll probably get a curse set of this set. If I get anything, I'll probably just get a curse set because there's not many super rares I want. I don't need any of the primes. I already got Spider Supreme. I only need to eventually just trade 
for those chases, which I'm I'm not dying to get Gwen Merica or I actually Carnage Cap. think I really want the Ingwenable Hulk now. Like <laughs> I, I didn't want Gwen like Stacey. really any of the chases. If maybe I if I pulled her, Surfer, I would keep her. Yeah, you know, and I'd mess around with her a little bit. It, I mean, it's just but, fun yeah. having like a big beef stick that like it is really deals cool. a ton of damage, but. Uh, I'm still down for a case. Well, I, I've already pre-ordered okay, a case, so, you're so okay. I am at a case. Even though I think I scored lower than mm. I scored the set lower than you as I think total overall, yeah. <laughs> but um, no, the bread and butter for me is the super rares. There's so many cool super rares, and then also the generics. I'm a sucker for generics. I guess that is a big part of a set too. If you want to yeah. buy a lot, I don't need any of these generics personally. I don't need hand ninjas, symbiote, or uh, a police guy. But I think if you like really want to run a hand team, mm. you want to get a bunch of generics. That also helps you sell yourself on a break. I, and yeah, we in our six boosters the other day we had two, three hand. hand yeah, yeah, we had ninjas. two of the whatever ones, and then one of the other one. So yeah, two uncommon. I don't know what the mix was. But we had two of yeah. one kind and then one of the other kind. Two uncommon, so, yeah. one common, something like that. But yeah, I really want the also like the objects. Even though I don't need most of them, probably right. won't use most of them. I just do like having objects. So they're a nice option. But, yeah. all right, guys, that is our review of Spider-Man Beyond Amazing. Let us know what you thought. You can go ahead right into the show at dialhforheroclicks at gmail.com. You can email us your thoughts and opinions on the set, or you can message us on Facebook or Twitter where Dial H for Hero Clicks, all spelt out on Facebook, or Dial H for the number four, Hero Clicks on Twitter. If you want to go ahead, join our Patreon and support the show. I'm not too worried about that right now, though. I would more want you guys to donate to the International Player Foundation. Uh, we have a link to that in the description below. The whole goal of that, I know you guys have probably heard a ton about it, but it's about getting players from international countries to worlds in Memphis this year. This is a fund that is going to help get plane tickets and help travel costs to get them there. It's not going to necessarily pay for your hotel or a visa or all your food. You have to already have your visa. You already have to be able to travel to America. Yeah. But we will help get you here to the best of our ability because we want a more diverse group of people at Worlds because we had such an already great diverse crowd at Worlds last year. We want that to stay the same going forward. And we want to be able to bring as many people as possible. And if we're doing like visa and food and ho like we'll try and right. do hotel, but like it'll just kind of depend on like where we're at. Um, the biggest price point is going to be the plane is ticket. The is the flight. Yeah. So... So that'll be the biggest thing, but I mean, as if we can get as many people as possible, like, yeah, we're, it kind of means that we're not just like allowing anyone, but at the same time, like right. we can't because that just financially, it'd be a lot fewer people if we were right. covering everything. Well, sadly. If you want to donate, if you're from America or from someplace and you're already going to go to Worlds, you don't have to yourself worry about trying to get to Worlds. Or if you're not going to go to Worlds, you want to donate. And basically I'm saying, if you want to donate, please do so. Anything helps. You can also have a chance to donate and play and win some awesome prizing. April 1st, we're going to be doing a tournament and the Bradcast, Brad Broyles tournament server, yep. uh, his Discord. There'll be theme probs you can pay for to get theme probs. I think tournament entry is like $10 or $15. I, Got some I cool prizing. There's some really good prizing. There's a uh, Calder's, God Pack. Calder's seen my... Well, not the not the trophy, but yeah. he's seen the, uh, the prototype yeah. of the trophy. So that's going to be really cool. Yeah, winner's going to get a trophy from that. Uh, we're going to be giving away all sorts of cool stuff for that tournament. So if you want to support the IPF, you can donate straight up. You can enter the tournament. Or if you are an international player that would like to try to qualify for the IPF, I believe you can send us either a Facebook message with a video or an email with a video uh, kind of saying why you would like to be chosen to uh, get some of your trip funded to go to worlds yeah i believe right yeah if you so. want to know how to do how to like send a video you right. can if you have a youtube account you can upload the video and just have it private or unlisted no one else will be able to stumble across that except people that you send the link to so you can just send us the link that way or if you just upload the video file and attach it to the email um, yeah. there's a lot of ways you can do it, but like if you like Facebook message and the video is under a minute, you can also just send a video that way yeah. for like a Facebook message. If you have discord ultra nitro. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That too. Extra caffeine express nitro discord ultra premium 
Yeah. You can put like Yikes. a 20 hour video up. If you want something to. like that. But yeah, know. guys, uh, that's the IPF. So like I said, I'm not really worried about us getting Patreon donations right now. Sure. If you want to, but I would more focus everybody, even people that are on the Patreon to go and donate to the IPF. I think it's a really awesome charity we're trying to do for the hero who's player community. And that'll be the end of my rant about that. And you can find more information on that. Again, we'll have a bunch of links in the description below to the IPF Facebook page where you'll have even more information. Yeah. And if you want to save money on this set so that you can donate more to the IPF, Ooh. use code DIAL5 and go to Cool Stuff Inc. Oh, I've been off screen. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed that half of my face this whole time. Uh, use code DIAL5 at Cool Stuff Inc. When you're uh, buying your Spider Man Beyond Amazing, you'll save 5%. I am so close to level nine, which, as you know, is the level Ooh, cap for cool stuff. Really? It's, yeah. See, it, you spent so much money on I Hero know, Clicks. It is Good job. Disturbing how close I am to having spent, like, yes. what is it, like, $5,000. $5,000 $5, is what you need to get um, to the top I will level. be at 15% off of all singles, <sighs> and I will be at 5% off all products, period. Um, and if you spend that much money, eventually you'll get there too. But yeah, use code dial five until you get there. You'll save 5% off of everything you order and then free shipping over a hundred dollars. But yeah, they have cool stuff in stock every day, including this set, the latest of hero click singles and sealed products. So check them out at coolstuffinc.com. Happy trails. So if you're looking for emotional satisfaction, my advice to you is seek professional hero clicks now. Are you serious? Again? How many people even play this game? Like a hundred? Instant deadpan humor. Over oh, okay. six yeah. people yeah. think I am funny. It's the hard day's work. Not that you know anything about that. Which you absolute fools, it's not Witcher nonsense. I'm gonna make hero clicks like that forever. Are you kidding me? Hey Google, attack someone. Let's attack Simeon because he's a jerk. Happy trails.